It was actually very entertaining. Moonstream yesterday was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. And I'm, God, I'm almost sad that I have to stream today. So I can't watch the stream. Uh, yeah, sorry. The way I look at this, is, so I went to my mom's. I spent the day there, right? Like two or three hours. And uh, I was going to come home and do some role play when I got home. But I realized that every time I log in, it's essentially clocking into a fucking job. And I'm pretty much stuck here for six hours. And I, I, I was energized enough to stream for two hours. But I knew I wouldn't be able to go on longer than that. But I, I, I would be locked in. Because like, hey, oh, Kevin, hey, man, I got some questions about management. Hey, Kevin, hey, hey, Kevin. Hey, uh, I think about getting a promotion. Hey, Kevin. Hey, someone died. Hey, Kevin. So I wouldn't be able to leave. And I just was too tired to do a full-on session. So, sorry about that. <sighs> Alright. Let's get out of here. Boop. Fucking night time, the fuck? Good morning, sir. Hello, how are you? Absolutely awful. Ready to start my day. Hopefully you feel the same. Have a good one. Oh, my day's been pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Lenny and Kenny are gonna become fucking cops. I can't... Well, I'm assuming that Kenny is gonna make it as a cop, but he's got his interview today, God help him. Get a job, loser. Uh, my name is Zach Pillow. Sir, can I ask you a question? Uh, it depends on what the question is, man. What's up? Are you voting in the upcoming mayoral election? I don't believe in politics. <laughs> Neither do I. Fuck politics. Uh, well, potentially. Okay. You know, it depends on what I get out of it. All right. Well, lucky for you, we have an upcoming yeah, you know. running mayoral candidate, Andy Jones, who's pacing nervously. Yeah. Is, yes. is that is that you, Miss Miss Andy? Andy yeah. Jones? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Wow. So, what makes you think you're worthy to become the uh, president? Well, it's not the president. Mayor. It's the mayor. mayor. What's I don't think the I'm difference? Ready for president. Mm, quite a bit. Well, go president ahead and explain to me, Miss Politician. Oh, well, the president runs the entire country, and the mayor runs a certain segment of the state. What oh, the? Ah! Oh God. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. I've been here. Oh my God. Time. Miles, please. Awkward, you Was know, that? Well, <laughs> uh, you see, Miss <laughs> Andy Jones. I work at a burger shop. I, I'm, a, I'm the manager there. What, what could you do for me to make my life better? Why should I vote for you? <laughs> well, I don't remember. I, I, I meet a lot oh, of people. I was I don't the one remember. who came and uh, we were going to talk about doing a job fair. A job? What the? A job fair? Mm-hmm. Mr. Whippaloo. Oh, hey, okay. Agent Nighthawk. I see oh. you're uh, out of uniform. I am, yeah. I thought, you know, I would take the time to see if I can engage in some sensitivity training. There's been some complaints about, oh, Kiki always trying to murder people and smash their head in with a crowbar. And oh my God, oh, yeah, you know? Yeah, I hear you, I hear Jeez, you. Jeez, fucking, well, people are so sensitive. Well, Kiki, oh. this is uh, Andy Jones. Andy here is running for oh. president. And uh, president. Mayor. President. Mayor. You're running no, for mayor. president, Andy? No, mayor. Huh? You trying to step no, on my mayor. fucking toes? You trying no, to step on my fucking step, toes? I'm not trying to step on your toes. Why do you think I would step you're on your toes? Fucking, you listen hmm? here, all you're right? You're trying to intimidate you listen, me. I'm just going to tell you this, all right? If you and your fancy mm -hmm. little presidency interfere with Mayorship? Mr. Whippaloo or Burger Shop. Why would it? I'll, I'll fucking try it. What's it? What's it? Oh my god, I'm not trying to fuck with it. I would try to help it. You want to fuck with it? Ah, crazy. No, I would try to help it. All right, fucking watch that attitude. Yeah. So, so how could you help us at Burger Shop? You know, you, you ever got to that yeah. point? Yeah. Well, what Let's do you need it. help with? 
I personally believe the government and the citizens well, shouldn't have a symbiotic relationship. All right, relationship. let me give you a rundown here. First of all, I'm losing sleep at night because I'm having a hard time managing the amount of employees I have. Second of all, there seems to be a murder happening every minute or so over at Burger sure. Shot. So what could you do for us? Well, how do you, um, how do you work with police right now? Do you guys have a relationship with the police? I pay them. You pay they get the paid police. off. Yeah, we pay them off. Yeah. Wait, you pay the police? Of course. For what? Well, um, for burger shop promotion, of course, such as, you know, the handcuffs are now referred to as whippaloos. Uh huh. Okay, great. What if you allowed the police to eat for free at burger shop? We already or, do that. You already do that? Okay, good. Well, not free. Uh, they mm -hmm. pay the base cost, which is $8. You don't, I never, I never told you the base cost. You never heard that from me. The hmm. base cost? Okay, well, perhaps if you offered them food for free, they're extremely struggling with their financial department over at the police department. They would be yeah. encouraged to eat there more, and you guys would be safer from all of the craziness that happens. Well, Wait, are, did you just, hold you on, hold on, hold the fuck on. Did you just say mm -hmm. we dropped the price from $8 to zero? For police? Sure. That's, that's your yeah. first... There's some of the holy the Okay, okay, hey, there's everybody calm down. Salaried well, employees just, in the just, fucking just, city. Listen, there's 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 you guys charge a lot for normal well, citizens. Well, ma'am, so as acting president, your first thing is to tell Not me president. to lower my prices. Wow. No, I'm not. Way to look out for the business owners, huh? You don't have to do any of the things. I'm you know, Mr. Whippaloo, I don't mean to jump to conclusions, but this is starting to sound an awful lot like communism to me. I agree. Oh, you know what? I'm just Ma'am, are you a communist? I'm just no, gonna say it. Not. Jack Cortero wants to defund Burger Shop. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. for Andy Jones Jack. is a vote for Burger Shop. Jack, oh, are you kidding Jack me? Who, what the fuck? Cortero. Sounds told me like a vote for Andy is a vote for the hammer and sickle. Jack Moore, uh, Jack Jacko terrorist. That's what it sounds like to me. Mm -hmm, I don't like this man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen, so I just want to make the city a better would, place. Yep. I'd like to interject here and mention that a part of uh, Miss Jones' campaign is to actually provide more funding to the uh, Los Santos Police Department, right here, doing great here. which in turn would provide a better response to your facility yeah and allow for better uh management of the situation at hand well, all right gonna... hey kiki i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a rundown of what i think here okay, okay you yeah. tell me let's if i'm right or wrong let's hear so it. it seems to me we have to choose between a communist and a terrorist mm -hmm. that's exactly what it sounds like to me what's up with all a these terrorists what's wrong what's, what's, what's up with all the terrorists well, let me let me ask They're you this what, fucking lamb. what do you want from your mayor well, you know, I, I think that's up to you to decide what I want. Isn't that your job as president? Isn't that your job? I'm I'm not running. Oh, oh why aren't you? Oh, how the story changes, well, huh? Well, I have other things to do. It's almost like you understand that it's a corrupt institution, Tessa. Is that what you're trying to say here? Hey. No, I'm an Sorry, officer shit. of the law. Well, wouldn't you agree that as a communist, maybe we should all run for president? Wouldn't you agree what? that we should all be president, huh? That's the first rule of the KBB. Okay, We're all comrades. There's I... not everyone is equal. Just some people are a little bit more equal Listen. than others. I Listen. feel like this is anarchy that it? you're suggesting. I don't even know what that means. It means okay, lawlessness. These are, these are, these are uneducated Probably voters. Anarchy. You just need to. You just need to. You just need to. Educate. Listen, okay. I'm just gonna throw this out there. As far as I know, mm -hmm. only one person in the circle has actually been mayor, and that is yours truly. So I think I'm in the best position here to decide what a mayor should and shouldn't stand for. Oh, and let me just say right now, your bizarre socialist, seemingly anarchistic ideals, I'm not sure that I can support it, Andy. And now you work at Burger Shot. Okay, no, I don't work at Burger Shot. I work mm -hmm. for Burger Shot. There's, that's that's a, right. That's a, that's a pretty big drop off. Oh, uh, you're gonna shit talk our, our jobs wow. now, huh? Yeah, let's, oh, let's I see. Not you're gonna call I mean, I'm not running for mayor, so I can't. Huh? Well, well wow. sir, what? what's your oh, job? Lord. What's your job, huh? What's not my job? Hmm. <laughs> That's, I mean, look. Sounds like you're unemployed. Yeah, listen. No, I'm not. Dude, I'll give love advice out don't, there. I'm don't with you a tell me how basically. to do my job, and I won't come to your workplace and smack the toilet brush out of your hand, okay? Oh, my God. Listen. Hmm. What, what do you mean you work for Burger Shire? Are you, like... Uh, I mean that KBB, like, the Kiki's Bad Bitches, Close Protection, Private Investigation, Security uh -huh. Services are contracted on a consultation basis. That's a lot by more Burger words than that, than that You could only dream to be as good at your job if you had one as Kiki is at hers. That's right. You could only fucking oh. dream, sir. Okay. Well, I respect your confidence. I don't respect yours, ma'am. Oh, Maybe Mr. Whitlow should run for mayor. 
A little oh, too God. late for that. <laughs> Mr. Whipple should be mayor and the manager of Burger Shot at the same time. Now, I I'm what already losing that? sleep, Kiki. I don't think I can handle that much on my play. Is, is the yeah, winery looking for management? Maybe he should take off, you know, management of the winery as well. Winery, Burger I Shot, mayor. Boom. Well, well, I am manager of the winery, actually. I, I do I do run both of those what, facilities. You're really? Yeah, it's, it's passed oh down God. from my family. Yeah, but How do you feel no about one really goes there skills? anymore. How do I feel about driving schools? Yeah, uh, I could use a manager. Uh, you, you want me to be manager of a driving school now, too? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm a pretty goddamn good driver, I won't lie, but as I said, I got a lot on my plate already. Have you met any of my employees? Besides Kiki, of course. Have you met mm -hmm. the one that refers uh, that I insists on being Jordan called Steel. bitch? Yes. Sounds like a really good work environment. Uh, well, I mean, it's, no, it's awful. It's actually hell on earth. Listen, ma'am, if you need a manager for your driving school, I would happily oblige. However, oh, I will tell you that it will become hell on earth just like Burger Shot. <laughs> Noted. So if that sounds uh, enticing to you, you'll get a lot of customers, but you're going to you're going to lose sleep. It comes yeah, at a cost. That's all manage it. Come okay. on. I can manage I it. I'm sure easily. Listen, I'm the best driver in mm. the city, so I might as well manage it. You know, Kiki has my full approval. I think Kiki would be a stupendous fit. See, um, Listen. Just file it in the maybe category, you know, put it in the back seat for now. Yeah, I'll just I'll just log that away. So what, we'll leave you on this. So what, right? what what makes you think we need a driving school in this city anyways, ma'am? Uh, <laughs> Great question. Great question. I don't know how much uh, driving around you've done lately. Um, I realize you've been you've been very busy uh, stuck at the uh, the burger shop. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> it's a it's a epidemic. It's an epidemic. What do you mean? It's, Elaborate. It's bad. It's bad out here. Well, uh, I mean, it can't be as bad as it is at Burger Shot. I mean, the police are there 24-7. You, you know, that's true. Um, you went I mean, to bury nine bodies two days ago at oh, Burger Shot. I mean, allegedly, hypothetically. You do realize you're telling the potential future mayor that. Yeah, and, well, you know what? I would hope the future mayor would have some. Speaking oh my of the, God! Okay, speaking what are you gonna, a doctor. Speaking of the future president, ma'am, I need you to work on your posture. You got to be a little more confident in yourself. Yeah. What is this shit, huh? Oh. Mm. You got to you got to stand up straight. Well, yeah, you got to put some back into um, it. I was thinking. I was thinking I might be now? the. Oh, that's yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, see, that's better. Nice. I'm God gonna be the motherfucking mayor. Okay, watch the language. First of all, not appropriate. Not appropriate. Okay, yeah. what should I say? Teach me. Can you help me with my confidence? Well, you might as well be mayor at this point, Kiki, but go ahead. Yeah, sure. If you're looking for a way to engage the people, it would be something uh -huh. like this. My fellow okay. citizens of Los Santos, I come to you now not as a leader, but as a fellow my citizen. fellow citizens of Los Santos, yep. I come to you as a leader, not as a citizen. That's right. No, 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 no. That's I come right. to you no. not as a leader, but as a fellow as a citizen. As and as if you don't citizen. follow every single one of my dictates, the okay. fucking Cobra's coming out, bitch! Jesus Christ. I'm gonna rip that oh head straight off your shoulders and out, shit bitch. down your neck! I'm gonna do that! Exactly. That's how you do it. Except I think you need to include the other part. Wait, the Sir, what part? is in your burgers, yeah, that burger shop? Part. Uh, $50 worth of ingredients, sir. That's... Just, just Wait, what was the question? Very. Well, I was asking what's in the food at Burger Shot just because she's very hostile. Well, so, Mr. Whippaloo, I don't mean to, you know, I don't mean to, to cast any auspicion anywhere, but uh, I found out that your employees make, you know, a couple thousand dollars a day. I yeah. get paid Whoa. $75 a day to defend the Whoa. establishment with my life? $75? Okay. Mr. I... Fucking Whippaloo! Oh. Okay, $75 Kiki, listen. $75 a day? Listen, I guess I'd take of gas is 250. Tables are flipping around. I need to work for three oh, days geez. to afford oh, most God. of a tank of gas. Okay, Kiki, listen. Okay. We can talk about that. We can talk right. about it in depthly. I will say that uh, we have recently had to pay our taxes and have received oh. a lot less money. But oh. I agree that you should be paid more. That's all right. You know, I'm not worried about it. I'm so. just happy to serve. Andy, okay. take fucking note. You like that, Andy? Okay. okay. Uh huh. Yep. So Take now notes. I assume you two are Andy's advisors in a in, of a sort. Um, no. Well, no. I'm I'm just here to give 
friendly advice. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just out here helping our campaign, dude. Not like oh, an official okay. campaign advisor. You're not, you're or anything. Not really well, a that that is what an advisor is. Right, but like not officially. Like I'm just being like like good. You're not as like terms. a job. You're all... like, no, you're not. Okay. like Kiki, I'm not getting paid, you know. But why haven't you guys, uh, you know, helped Andy as much as uh, you, you know me and Kiki are? I mean, That's I stopped right. you in the streets and asked out. who you were voting for. Well, that's true. You did do that. I don't know. It's, uh, Andy, what you got on the, that notepad so far? Oh, I was writing the stuff about um, shitting on people and confidence in my posture. Now, when you said shitting on people, do you mean like in a figurative term or like Rose a literal? Kiki screamed it about shitting on someone's. Something no, I said see. threaten that if they don't follow oh. your dictates, then the cobra okay. will come out and you'll rip their head off and shit down their neck hole. Oh, shit down their neck. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Like a Play-Doh okay. factory. Mm -hmm. mm. You ever thought about that? Adding some assertiveness to your to your voice there, Andy. Uh, no, no. Hold on. Really. You know what? Listen. Can I suggest something that Should might I... seem a little bit cringy, but okay. might help? Why don't we do something? Why don't we do a little bit of role play? Okay. No. <laughs> it's not a sex thing. I know. Oh, I know. That's gonna be so I know. Cringe. I know. It sounds oh. cringy, but just try. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say. Get, just give a little speech. Let's say okay. uh, there's been there's been <laughs> uh, a terrorist attack on a park cage, and you're addressing your concerned citizens. And I'll uh, I'll play the part of someone in the crowd. Okay. Wait. It's, there's. There's been a terrorist been a attack terrorist on an arcade. On a parkade, a parkade. A parkade. And the concerned citizens are standing nearby. Uh, just don't worry. That's where you park your fucking cars, Andy. Jesus. Wait, a parking You're gonna be the fucking... A garage? Okay, listen. Okay, a parking... What do you call that That multi-deck where it says uh -huh. park here for only $69 a, a day? Okay, a parking garage. A parking. Let's say there's been an attack on the parking garage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play the part of a concerned citizen, okay? So you're addressing the crowd. Okay. And just, just, I want to see training, some right? I'm not yep. going to like... That's right. Can, okay, um, let me find my stance. Is, is this... Good stance. Good that's stance. good. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's good. Women, am I right? What kind of terrorist attack? Uh, let's say that someone someone set off uh, a bomb, <laughs> an anthrax <laughs> bomb. A bomb made out of anthrax. Anthrax bomb. Yep. Citizens of Los Santos. No! Fuck you! Over the street where there was anthrax and Kiki was Kiki was the one who did it, apparently. What listen, would you just let me talk, please? Shut up! I'm trying to inform you of important things here! That's good. That's good. Excuse me, Mayor. Is this uh, person in the crowd bothering you? Do you want me to beat them to death? Yes, they are. No, I do not. Oh, what to death? No. no. You don't have to Maybe off. remove them off the premises, please. Well, but okay. if they don't want to hear important information, then they won't. Oh. oh, oh sorry. My. Uh, sorry. That was oh really my. mean. No, no, don't apologize. Don't good. apologize. Sorry. Oh God. I'm Step sorry, Kiki. Commit to it. So you do want me to beat them oh, to death? Okay. No, I yeah, do not you want, want you to beat, beat them to death. death. You want Mr. Whipple to beat me to death? Just no. to death. She's Both not hands. Worth the time. Okay. How about I beat them senselessly so they can't speak ever again? To no, you. I want you to pay them only fifty dollars. You're cutting minimum wage by thirty percent. That's your Whoa. response to resistance to your dictates. Only is to cut you. minimum wage by. <gasps> I mean. That's a low blow, Andy, even for me. I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't really know what to do. Don't yeah, apologize, like Andy. Like don't apologize. Okay, I'm not sorry. Don't you earned this yourself. If you don't want consequences, don't commit the action. Oh my God. Yeah. You're going to talk to me that way? Hell yeah. That's kind of yeah. messed See, up. What are you going to do about it? Well, not, what I want you to do is uh, What, are you going to okay? fight me? Operate on the basis of 80% solution, okay? If you're 80% sure of your decision, commit to it. Right or wrong, commit. Why are you still screaming at me? You want me to shit down your neck hole, Kiki? Maybe Ooh. I do, huh? How do you know? Maybe I'm oh. into that sort of thing. Oh, oh, I'm... Oh. <sighs> you got a 20% oh, no. uh, chance to mm. fail on this one. You want to commit? Oh my god, do it. Uh, oh I don't know, it's so crazy. Oh. Oh. Anyways. Do you feel yeah. like this has been a fruitful exercise, Andy? You I can do. sort of see what I mean? Yeah, let me You gotta just... be prepared. You're gonna, you're gonna encounter yeah. a lot of resistance, <laughs> okay. believe me. Yeah, people booed me yesterday. But by the end, they what? were clapping, so I think I handled it well. Where were yeah, you? Some where they dude said you? he wanted to fuck a uh, shark a yesterday. What? Yeah, my yeah. friend did say they. Well, what else do they have shark. a blowhole for? Sharks what? don't have blowholes. Those are whales. Um, listen, I've watched every single episode of Shark Week for three years now, so I'm they just definitely do have blowholes. They definitely do no, have blowholes. It's kind of like that one scene in The Boys mm. where that girl puts her fingers in 
the deep skills. Uh, oh my god. Uh, fuck. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't yep. get me. I'm still worked up from the As training. mayor, you need to be able oh. to take some punches. Oh. That's I'm just good trying practice. to catch you off guard, yes, dude. Okay. Now, I, again, I, I have seen the scenes where the, the shark goes to the surface and it's like its fin is kind of poking out. Dun, uh, you know, like that? Dun, mm -hmm. out. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing is, they're actually going up to use their blowhole. That's right. No, That's no. exactly right. It's just not mean, intimidating. Where is the blowhole? When you I think of aquatic life, any hole is a blowhole if you try hard enough. You know what I mean? What are you, hmm. what are That's you right. trying? I'm just saying, there's Consent a few reasons that I can't go back to SeaWorld, and I don't really want to oh get into God. details, but any hole can be a blowhole if you try hard enough. Sea sponge, tell me that that is not the fleshlight of the sea. <laughs> tell me. Tell me that a sea cucumber is not the fleshlight of the sea. Am I right or am I right? Am I right or am I right? I think you're absolutely right, Kiki. Keep it out. Thank what you, is, what, is, what, are what are those crabs that can punch super hard? Those are uh, mantis shrimp. Yeah, a mantis shrimp. Can that yeah. be used as a blowhole? You know, I would not recommend. If you were to use, a, if you were to tie a string of them together in a, in a cylindrical pattern, uh, why not? As long as you try hard enough. The only limitations are the ones that you impose on yourself. It's goddamn right. You hear that, Andy? Um, I yes. Mean, I yes, would, here. I would recommend not posing things on yourself that cause you bodily harm, which that absolutely would. I don't think so. I think that could be a slogan, Andy. Anything can what? be a blowhole as long you as you go. try hard enough. Mm, Andy don't... Jones, 2021. Being the only female candidate, I don't know if that's the position. You're the only? You're the only? Take. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe I should, uh... <clears throat> Dust off the old uh, mayoral epaulets and oh, uh, see if I can. Uh, the deadline. What the wait? What the fuck do you mean? It's past yeah. the deadline. Sorry. The application's closed. I think an hour ago. But what if someone decided to take your place? But maybe. You uh, can good afternoon. Wait. What do you mean? Are you gonna body snatch me? No, I'm just. I'm just saying a possibility. But you're maybe not you should fear for your safety. What if someone? Me, right? What if someone just you know decided what? to take the life of Andy Jones what? and become? Yeah, what, hap what happens? What? What happens I, if someone I, didn't really I like the, the, the speech would get that you gave? You'll get doing caught. Yeah. I mean, caught by who? Was, uh, oh. The police yeah. are already pretty bur busy at Burger Shot. That's I don't know true. if they have time. But they, that is they like me and my true. plans. So Anyways, help me. just food for thought. I'm going to go uh -huh. ahead and get to work. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Something to keep in mind, uh, Andy, okay? Yeah, no matter who you Good vote luck. for, make, make sure you get to the polls. I'm not really Voting sure what we, if we got his vote or not. But I, I mean, don't know. Maybe. It's very ambiguous. No, I don't think you did at all. Like, you, you literally told the guy that you were going to cut his funding. Fucking damn it. You know, Andy, it's all oh, right. These uneducated that's, voters. Uh, Mr. Whippaloo, I think there's something wrong with your car. What? Oh, well, what's, what's that? Come in. You, uh, I, don't he, I don't know if he can hear us. Well, what's wrong with my car? <laughs> He's here. There we oh, go. There he is. Okay. What, what's wrong Wait. with my car? Say it to my face. Oh, nothing. Uh, it's nothing. It just, uh, we thought we saw a scuff. Oh, mm -hmm. I understand. All right. Yeah, everyone's having weird visions nowadays. Good luck, oh, yeah. the mayor. Thank you. God damn it, I'm spinning more than I want to. <laughs> Stop it! Jesus! <laughs> Wicked brother. <laughs> Sick burnout, brother. <laughs> I'm on my way to the bank to see how much money I have. I have no clue.
but I'm absolutely taking away the ability for my managers to fucking to pay out of my fucking account. I swear to God. Fuck. I abs so I got nerfed recently. Um, before the way it worked was people would bring every time any fucking person in my entire uh, at Burger Shot earned a receipt. Uh, receipts are earned by selling burgers in time, essentially. The account would gain sixty dollars. Simple as that. And they would bring receipts to me, and I would count it, and I would send them payment. Uh, I would send them thirty dollars per receipt. However, recently they made it to where you turn receipts in. I don't know who you turn receipts into, um, but you turn them in and the money goes in your account personally. So I can no longer only take $30 or make employees only get $30 per receipt and I get my cut. At the city bank is where you go. Uh, so yeah, now everyone gets their own personal money for each receipt, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I can no longer fuck them. The only way I make money, I think I get more money per receipt. And I get all the money for the burgers we sell. That's where I get more money. As manager. Uh, let's see. Alright, not bad, not bad. Withdraw. Ama or no, let's transfer. Mm -mm -mm. 3664. Uh, let's see all the withdrawals here. Jesus Christ. Kenneth and James have been buying crazy... Dean Watson, what is going on here? Huh. Alright, let's go ahead and transfer 30k. To... 3664... Nice. Alright. But yeah, we got heavily nerfed because, and they are not wrong, we made too much money in comparison to everyone else in the city. It was getting a little crazy. I still make more money than most everyone. Amused to seeing the I need to go to the bathroom. negative 16k bank account. It's nice to watch a rich streamer. Well, all you gotta do is not go to jail. And like fucking, yeah, God, I can go on. It's not hard. I gotta poop. It's gonna be a second. Give me a moment. Employees all get $60 a ticket should be 30, right?
Uh, okay, so yes, I have been in scamming my employees this entire time. So I heard the Texas speech while I was pooping. Each receipt is $60. I was told that employees are supposed to get $60 per receipt. I said no. I said, I'm going to give you 30 And they still took the job. Will Just you like... upgrade your car? I don't know. Maybe if I ever feel like it. Um, just like the fact that I sell hamburgers for $50 a burger and it costs $8 to make it. Same shit. <whistles> the fuck? Stop it! Was fucking tier two subs or something? Oh my god. It's gonna make me fucking lose it. Oh my god. Is this a joke? I need to repaint my car. Burger shot colors. Love your ride, hon. Oh, what the? Good morning, Excuse Bog. Excuse me. I yes. need your frozen bags. What? My frozen bags? Yes, I would like to buy. 10 bags of you, please. Okay, what do you need these bags for, Bog? Secret. Okay, how much are you gonna pay per bag? You gonna charge your janitor? How do you feel on that Gordon Lisa? Absolutely not, Bog. Follow back with me. Oh, fuck. Shit. I mean, what's harm, uh, what's harm with the bag? Uh, good morning, team employees. Why is there no one manning the front desk? Because you weren't here. Unfucking believable. Okay, give me a moment. Stop it. Christ. I don't know what he's going to do with these bags, but I hope he gets some good content out of it. All right, Bog. You want to you wanted some bags from Burger as Shot? As many bags, as many bags. As many bags. Okay, like give me more. All the bags you got. All right. Well, there's nine bags for you, Bog. I hope uh, I hope you get good use out of them. Hopefully, they help you with your job as janitor here at Burger Shot. Only nine. You need you need more than nine bags, Bog. Stop. You, look at me in my face, and you tell me you need more than nine bags. <whistles> I cannot yes. hear you. Yes? That, that's yes. all you have to say is, yeah, okay. All right, give me a moment. Jesus fucking Christ. Excuse me? What? what hello? Yes? 
Oh, uh, that wasn't me, but I'll talk to you uh, when he's done. All right, give me a moment. Okay. Sir, what the hell are you doing back here? Mm. Sir, what are you doing back here? Look, I have all these receipts. You, you got what? I have all these receipts from working the other day. Oh, well, that's... Uh, give me one moment. Just hang tight. Nice. All right. I'm going to scam this kid. <whistles> kid doesn't realize he can turn them in for $60 per. I'm going to buy them for 30 each. What a dipshit. <laughs> yes. All that's right, so Bog. I got you more bags here. Okay, buddy. Show we had them, was, oh, thank you. Yeah. This is gonna be going really well with my new business. Don't you have like one K receipts? No, no problem. There's uh, there's ten I'm more bags for you, Bog. Them. I'm opening my own burger place right next door. No, you're not. Well, you just that gave might me be the bags. difficult. Okay, but they are burger shot bags, Bog. You cannot have, open your own burger. I have tape. Bog, you work here. Not anymore. Oh, jeez. Hello, have you seen? Hey, I'm just getting a much better. <laughs> wait. Okay, good. Wait. <laughs> good um, one, Bog. What is your name, Box? That was a great one. Hello. Hi, how's it going, your buddy? Friends, uh, how's friend? it going? How can I help you? Welcome to Burger Shot, home of the burger and not the murder. Uh, I talked to Robert earlier and I showed him a nice commercial that I made uh, for your fine establishment. And uh, we oh, talked yeah? about possibly doing some advertising. Could I play it for you? I would, uh, I would be more than appeased a, a to uh, go ahead and watch that, sir. Uh, you want to go ahead? Okay. All right. It's, let's uh, see it. Here, play it. I got my radio in my bag. Okay, here we go. Tired of looking through all that healthy crap you bought when you weren't hungry? Sick of hearing this shit from the family? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Well, tell those stupid heads to shut the hell up and get down to Burger Shot already. Yummy. Would you like fries for that? Of course they'll want fries to die. And maybe even a shake, too. Just remember, at Burger Shot, if you come in a murder, come eat a burger. Yeah. That's pretty good, man. Uh, oh, yeah? I like that. Right. I think that's good advertising, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what'd you have in mind? I don't know. Uh, Robert said something because it's difficult to clock in here, and he said we'd probably send me out into the field and get some uh, business. But uh, Definitely. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how payment would work, but it's got to be better than fishing. That's all. That's all I want. Okay, uh, better than fishing. Well, what do you get for fishing? You know, I don't get a lot of time to leave uh, Burger Shot let's here. See. Uh, Jesus, I don't even know how much you get. The fish are bullshit, and then you get about what is it like 500 doolers or something for. It's a lot of work, though. I mean, in, in, in the span of about one hour, how, how much are you making, would you say? Yeah, about uh, five fifty. Five fifty an hour. Yeah, that's. I think that's about right. Now, how much time would you say you're spending getting out there, getting it ready, etc.? Are you including that time as well? Yeah, I think that's about what it takes when I'm doing it solo. I have to get hmm. the damn boat. I have to get the hell out there. I have to avoid the uh, not having a license part, and then I have to be hush hush if there's any exotic meat. So it takes a lot of work. Okay, I believe I, I, I hear you. I just don't believe you uh, in the slightest. Now, okay, for, for payment, uh, I can offer you uh, your time for advertising. You'll have to check in with okay. me, Lenny, sure. or Robert uh, as to when you're checking in. And I'll assume okay. that when you check in and you're going to go out and advertise for us, you are spending every second of your time. Yes. Dedicated Absolutely. to burger shot and advertising. I am a professional. Absolutely. All right. I think the uh, one of the best places to do that would probably be the apartment. Uh, a lot of people there, a lot of listeners would love Absolutely. to hear it. Um, we can work just, up, you know, three hundred dollars, uh, two hundred dollars an hour. Okay. With uh, maybe room to grow, possibly. Room to grow, indeed. Depending on how oh, your advertising okay. goes. And then just so you know, I'm legit. I actually made one with testimonials from Robert and uh, Marcus St. Marco. I think his name was. Or James Marcus St. Okay. Marco. Well, let's see. I think it goes like this. Uh, let me press play again. All right. Come to a burger shop or you burger need. 
We have best burger in town. And if you don't go to burger shop, then you are burger shit. Yummy. My name is famous film director James Marco San Marco. And nothing helps me wind down from a hard day of filming like a bleed of burger uh, into milkshake for burger shot. Just remember, at Burger Shot, if you commit a murder, come eat a burger. That? Yeah. Now, sir, what is your name? Uh, my name is T. Veeman. T. Veeman? Yes, sir. All right, well, T. Veeman, if you look around here, there's absolutely no one buying any burgers. That's true. I, I'd expect you will change that. Absolutely. All right, let me That's go ahead my... and get, let me get yes. your number. Here's my card. Wait, how do I fucking do this? Did you get that? Let's see. Uh, give me one second. I'm putting it in now. T no V man. Yes, sir. T E E space V E E M A N. All right, T V man. I, uh, yes, sir. I went ahead and added you in. Uh, are Perfect. you are you going to go advertise uh, for us right now? Actually, I could. Yeah, I think there's a storm coming here pretty soon, if I'm correct. But uh, I right. can do that right now. It's, Here's what we'll uh, do. We're yes. going to go ahead and clock you in as soon as okay. that as soon as that storm passes by. We'll go ahead and clock you in. That sounds great. That sounds like a plan, TV man. Okay, I'll go work for free right now and see what I can drum up for business for you. All right, TV man, you have a good one. I'm going to go ahead and send All you right. a text so you have my card. Okay, and what was your name again, sir? Sorry, I don't think I got it. My name is Kevin Whippleu, the fine uh, owner and manager of this establishment here. Kevin Whippleu, okay. Kevin Whippleu. Okay, Whippleu. Thank you for pronouncing that right. Beautiful. Pleasure to meet you, right. TV man. Thank you, sir. I'll see you later. Uh, next, sir, in line, uh, are you here to buy a burger? I, I have someone in the back I'm going to need to talk with first, if you wouldn't mind. No, you can wait. Okay, give me one moment. Oh, oh God. G give me a moment. I have no em employees here at the moment. I got you. I, uh, I, I work here. Hey, uh, boys, just get in line. I'll ring you guys up, all right? Sounds good. All right, give me a moment. Is no one here right now? Absolutely not. I just got here, and I'm pissed about it. All right, let me take care of this, yeah? Of course, do your thing. Gentlemen, welcome to the Burger Shack. All right, shack. sir. Uh, you got some hey, receipts for me? I tried to open up a four, but you look like a biker. Have the keys you look like a back here, so I understand. I apologize. Are you uh, are you on the payroll by any chance? I think so. Mr. Kickass and Dean were here when they hired me because nobody right. else was working. And you got did. your uh, you got your state ID on you. What's your name? It's Zip Thompson. One moment, sir. Okay, so you uh, worked here as a volunteer, it seems. There you go. Zip. Mr. Kick Thompson. has asked for my ID as well. I understand they asked for your ID, but I don't see you on the uh, employment tab here, Z Mr. Zip. Oh, I worked for like four hours the other no, day. No, I understand. You worked as a volunteer, sir. And that's, that's completely fine. You got those tickets on you? You can go ahead and hand those to me really quick. They're right there on the ground, sir. All right, 21 tickets. All right, and uh, your state ID number, please. Uh, one moment, sir. 21. I'm going to tell him he got, he got $210. Let's see what he says. Uh, you got that? You got that number for me, son? It's three zero three eight. All right, so twenty one tickets. I can uh, I can get you two hundred and ten dollars sent to your account. Does that sound okay? Wait, Mister Kickass said it was going to be thirty dollars a ticket. Let's make it twenty per ticket. How's that sound? As a volunteer. Uh, okay, but wait, could wait volunteer? I don't work here. You're, uh, well, let's see. I don't see you on the, uh, employment tab, Mr. Zip. Uh, he did not add you. If you go ahead and open your employment tab, or f app, I should say, and, uh, you, you look for Burger Shot. Do you see it on there? Let 
You got a job, son? How was my, uh, how was my service today? Uh, Mr. Zip, can you, uh, do you see that app? Pay him 30 weird champ. Silence. I, I have something to do here. I got an idea. <clears throat> Mr. Zip. Yeah, I don't have anything in that app right now. All right, here's what we'll do, Mr. Zip. Since you worked here as a volunteer and I see you've earned 21 tickets, you must know how the ropes here work. And as you can see, we are currently unstaffed. I'm going to give you $20 per ticket, but I will add you to the payroll. And from now on, you may get 30 per ticket. How does that sound? If that you'd like to work great, here today. That sounds great, mister. All I right. absolutely want to work here. And I can work when people, other people can't. That's, that's what I like to hear, Mr. Zip. Well, you just got yourself a full-on founded job, which uh, is, seems to be rare in this city. I, I'm, yeah, it's very rare. I appreciate it so much. I have to pay back my college tuition. I lost it because of Reddit. Well, well, Burger Shot is the place for you. Now, uh, let me go ahead and get you employed here. You said 3038, correct? Yes, sir. All right, now you go ahead and open that employment app for me really quick, and you go ahead and check and uh, see if you see Burger Shot there now. Wow, it's there, sir. That is so awesome. You're the best. Uh, well, I am the uh, the oh, owner good. and manager of this fine establishment. So, sir, you are now a full-fledged employee. If you wouldn't mind doing me a favor um, and picking up the Burger Shot uniform, uh, and you, you don't have to wear it, you know, at all times, but while you're on duty and working, I'd prefer if you did. I don't care what pants you wear, but I do mind the shirt, and I do mind you not having on your hat. Okay, I, uh, wait, I'm not wearing a hat. Uh, yes, but you will need the burger shot hat. That's my, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Now I will, uh, I will happily oblige and pay you for those. That'll be about $250. That'll come out of my pocket and, uh, go ahead and repeat the slogan after me. Or actually, no, not after me. You go ahead and just do it. Okay. Uh, in, in, in burger shot, enjoy a burger. Don't do corporate mergers. That is correct. And what do we do after we say our slogan? We... Dab. Go ahead and do the dab, sir. sir. Oh, I'm so bad at dabbing. Hey, I'm here? not really that cool, sir, but I'll do it for you, sir. Thank you very much. Hey, there it is. And now, you may not look very cool doing it, and you're not doing it for me. You're doing it for the customers. Every customer who comes in at least gets one dab. Of course, sir. I will dab to my fullest ability, sir. All right. I will become now, the coolest dabber for the customers, sir. I will serve them as best as I can, sir. Uh, I absolutely promise you will not become the coolest dabber here. There are many, many cool dabbers. Um, however, I do appreciate the... Uh, that's that's a very uh, nice dab there, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, but you go ahead and run down to the store. I'll go ahead and uh, PayPal you some money to pay for a shirt. And uh, you go ahead and get back here. You can start your shift. Oh, they have them at the same place as the ingredients? No, they do not have them there, but there's a short shirt store right down the road. Oh, okay. All right, great. I'm going to go do that. Um, As soon as I wake up after the storm, uh, I'll come on down to work, okay, sir? Sounds like a plan, Mr. Zip, and you enjoy your day. I hope to see you, you soon. Hey, uh, I don't think I've properly met you yet, sir. Name's uh, Nino. You know Chavez? Nino Chavez. Uh, who hired you? I was hired by yourself, actually. I hired you? That's right. When the hell did I do that? Uh, two days ago. Oh, God. I've, mm -hmm. I'm a busy man at the, the manager imagine. here. Jesus so, Christ. Uh, I don't want to make uh, stir up a big deal, but this uh, shift in the morning has been really tough. That's why the food's been uh, empty and, uh, you know, customers have been waiting on the outside. That yeah. said, I got some hungry individuals that are desperate for a job. Uh, very right. business-minded and uh, hard-working. They're actually waiting right outside uh, outside the gates right over there. Okay, sure thing. Uh, let me go talk with them. You're not wrong about everything you just said. 
Uh, good evening, mm. fine sir. Uh, hey, sir, I got Nino here saying and vouching that you guys yeah. would be some fine employees here at Burger Shot. That's right, Mr. Whipple. It's me, oh. Tony. Hey, Tony, I didn't recognize you without the chef uh, hat. I, I'd like to make a complaint. Something happened the other day, and well, well, now I don't have my jab anymore. Oh, no. Hey, Gentlemen, we don't have any problems here right. at the Burger Shot, but maybe uh, if you want to make your way to the back office, uh, you know, you can have your conversation over there. I, I'll I, uh, go I help out these uh, happy customers. Yo, perfect. Come on in, fine sirs. All right. Listen here, Mr. Whipple. There's not yes. a lot to be said, so I'm just gonna send you the audio recording of what took place yesterday, all right? Okay, okay. You know Lenny? Uh, I know two different Lennys. You mean the Big manager. boy Lenny. Yeah, Big I know boy Lenny. Lenny. Yeah? Well, guess what? Go to watch this goddamn audio clip, and you're goddamn... You'll see what I'm going through right now. What's your phone number? Let me send this over to you. All right. Uh, my phone number. I'm going to read it to you, okay? All right. Go ahead. All right. It's going to be 415-645-3183, sir. Go ahead and watch this audio recording. I think Lenny discriminates against Italians. He, hate, he, hated, he hated me ever since I oh. fucking sat awake in here. Uh, I think I gave you the wrong number. Uh, give me one moment. Boy, Tony's a hard worker. What's your name, man? It's 415-645-3181. I think I messed up the last four, four there. 415-645. Yeah, 3181. Boom, go ahead and watch it. All right, give me one moment. Let me go ahead and check this go ahead, out no here. No problem. The fucking Facebook link. Hey, yo, Sab, you got an extra, man? I didn't know they allowed smoking in here. Oh, we want to do it. take it, and then we should... Italian discrimination and it's fine. Hey, I got you. Thank you, brother. Who did you cap... What do you want to do to him? We should take him, and then we should decapitate him. I was wondering why there was a smoke... Who did you decapitate Tony? Decapitate him? Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, just to decapitate him. You want to cut his head off? He's a whole head off his shoulders. Ah, uh, where do you want to do it, though? I think we could probably, like... Boy, down here. He's going to be here. Let me know. Down here? Yep. I mean, Lenny, hey, listen, yo, he's gonna get to you keep, otherwise, uh, you know? Rolls of money out back here? Fuck? I see that. Oh, hold on, people here, right? Jesus Christ. What the hell? What the that? fuck? My God. Tony, how did you come by this recording? I had a good friend of mine, Eugene Filmit, who also got fired as well. Yesterday, I was waking here at the Beggar Shack early morning. Next thing you know, I take a break. I go on a little fishing trip. A guy comes up to me in an all black suit, kidnaps me. Puts a gun in my fucking hand and says, we're going to rob the beggar shat and you're going to get me into the bank. Oh, God. Puts the gun in my hand. He drives the sap. We go in. Obviously, I don't want to fucking die. So I'm pointing guns. Next thing you know, fucking guy runs out. I'm fucking there. I got guns pointed at me. I got fucking oh, guns God. pointed at them because I don't want to fucking die. Long story short, I got tackled and fucking shat. They think I fucking came in here and wanted to rob the joint when really I got fucking took in hostage. I had oh, no fucking God. choice, Mr. Whippolo. I, no, I had I, no choice. Listen, you're not the first to bring complaints about Lenny to me. All right? Now, you know I our slogan, no Tony. You know our slogan? I know the slogan. Go ahead and say the slogan. I know the slogan. <laughs> the go ahead, go ahead Tony. Say, Commit a made it. <laughs> and come get a bag it. That's, that's close enough. There, there it is, Tony. Listen, right. we're going right. to get this all handled out for you, Tony. Squared away. Um, we don't do murder here, and based on this evidence you've brought me, it sounds to me Lenny, one of the managers, was thinking about doing what we don't like. Murder. That's right. That's right. It's just, it's very sad, you know what I'm saying? They're discriminated against Italians. It's just fucking damn. I, I don't know if this is discrimination against Italians. Uh, I really, I don't know about that, Tony. All right. I, I don't, I don't know all if right. this has anything to do with you being Italian, but okay. we will get to the bottom of this. I appreciate it. Thank you, all right? Is there is there anything you want done? Uh, I just to love to have my job back. Oh, you got fired, huh? Yeah, you fired me. You fired me. I, I, Tony, Tony, I did not fire you. It sounds to me Lenny did. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Lenny fired me. Well, here's what I'll do. All right. Now, getting a job in this city is is rough. It's it's there's not a lot Very of rough. jobs available. Um, that's right. 
It, it seems to me you can really just make burgers or work as a cop or go fishing. And fishing seems to be hell on earth. So exactly. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and rehire you, Tony. And uh, I'll oh, even... So based Thank on you. the fact that we are understaffed here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hire your friends, too. Uh, it oh, seems Thank, you, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My only, only requirement is each of you re rehearse the slogan to me and you buy yourself a burger shot outfit. You understand? All right. No, no problem. problem. No problem. Now, uh, hey, speaking of uh, employees, Kiki, Agent Nighthawk. Welcome. Hello, sir. Good day, Hello, Agent you. Nighthawk. Well, uh, go ahead and meet some of our new, newly staffed employees, uh, Miss Kiki. Who are these, How uh, you who doing, are these Kiki? How are you? Hello, What's going Nitty on, oh, This is, uh, this is oh. Nino, we got Tony, and we got two new fine gentlemen. What's your name, sirs? Clayvon Stab. Oh, yo, hey, yo, Clayvon Barks. Oh, yo, we're hired just like that? Yeah, oh, we well, got a job. Well, I last thing I want is getting sued for racism. So, yes, you are hired. To, we don't want to be looked at as hating Italians. Isn't that right, Tony? That's right. That's right. Okay. Yesterday, we came in here, and they were discriminating against us. I'm not going to lie. They kept All right. yelling well, gabagool at us. Hey, M Mr. Whippaloo, listen. These floors will be shining like never before. You're goddamn right they will. There's a lot of blood on the floor. You can go ahead and mop that up. That happens here frequently, but it's probably just ketchup. Just a, just a dab of ketchup, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it, has been, it has been approximately 13 hours since our last work-related fatality. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. No! God, my joke was so goddamn funny, it crashed the entire server. Everyone was laughing too hard. Laughing so hard, it caused an earthquake. And everyone died. <laughs> the final dab. <laughs> Fuck. All right, let's go ahead and reboot this game. boop a doo Boop, 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 boop. Oh my god, my password to everything. My social security number. Frick. I owe this person a $20 ticket. PogChamp. So it looks like I'm going to have these motherfuckers working for me today. Ooh, this is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. Lenny's not going to be happy. Lenny might be out of a job. And or demoted. And Lenny's going to be extremely sad about that. But I've gotten complaints of like 15 different people complaining about Lenny. And it's going to be a very sad sham, but it is what it is. Why is he so sketchy? I don't, I don't, the thing is, I actually do not know if Lenny is doing things that are is sketchy or not. I mean, out of character, I actually have no clue. I can't tell if he's getting framed repeatedly or if he's doing sketchy stuff. Either way, I've had like 15 people complain to me. He's getting framed? Well, welcome to RP. He's getting framed. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to have Bitch take his place. <laughs> Fuck, but I like Sheldon and Shelly, too. They're actually the best. Those three are amazing. They're like my best employees. Fuck, I'll probably promote, up, promote all three of them. Just call it a day. I need some more managers. I'm tired of doing all this shit my damn self. I got to make sure these managers know that they have the ability to do shit them, themselves. I promoted Robert and Lenny, and I swear to God, they kept bringing shit to me. I'm like, yeah, you can handle that. Yeah, yeah, you, you can handle that. Yeah, that's your job. You can do it. Do, 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 do.
Robert has been also amazing. All right, let's go ahead and get back to work ASAP because I kind of want to pick up where we left off. That sounded like a very fun arc for the uh, the lean boys. I think those are lean boys. I don't know. I know lyrics in there. I know Tony. Dude. Hey, Nino. Man. All right. Get in the bike. Huh? Gotta, Man, those budget costs really hit you all hard. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck oh, you, yeah? Kevin. What are you driving, Kevin? Huh? Uh, let me, let me, hold on. Let me get my car out. Okay. Jessica Parker. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I got to get in my goddamn vehicle. What the... Yeah, excuse me, sorry, I gotta get in mine. Oh, sure, eat that shit up. It must, it must suck being a police officer. Am I right? right? It must <laughs> suck being a cop. Fuck. I swear to God, this car is permanently on ice. Like I'm actually ice skating. I want to make sure I'm there before the uh, the clean boys is apparently their name now. I want to make sure that when they all show up, I'm there and ready for them. Hello, what you want now? Have I made even one spiked milkshake yet? Uh, I made one for one guy. Now, I was told that the spiked milkshakes are, like, the best stress relievers on, like, the server. And I haven't had a chance to really pick up the RP on it. Um, what do I mean by spiked milkshake is I can get Kevin Whippaloo wine from the vineyard. Only I can. I can get as much as I want. And I can combine that with a burger shop milkshake. And apparently it's an uh, amazing stress reliever, uh, which is a big deal for criminals and whatnot. But I sold one to another person, and he said it didn't do shit. So, not sure how to work with that. I should test it out. Well, I've never even held, I've never had a single gun in my inventory before. So, I haven't been able to test it myself. I don't even know which one stress is out of all these bars. I need to eat some food. Fuck. How much money do I have? I currently have 30000 On me right now, probably $80. I don't carry a lot. Oh, it's the last one? The brain-looking one? I see. Oh, there's an ATM, like, right there. That's right. All right, I'm fucking poor now.
You could have uh, them escort you to turn in your tickets. That might get interesting. Well, I don't have a lot of tickets right now. I think the uh, devs remembered that I had like a thousand saved up. Morning, Mr. Kickass. Ah, K Dog, just the guy I wanted to see. All right. What's going on? Well, I don't got a lot of time because, uh, you see, my landlord has an issue with my new workout setup, so I got to hash things out with him. But I just want to give you an update on a uh, certain few situations, all right? I appreciate that. I've been, uh, I've been busy, so I haven't been around. What's going on? All right. So, uh, first off, uh, the Tony situation. Remember Tony, the chef? Yeah, I rehired him. You what? Yeah, I rehired him and his friends. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and demote Lenny because uh, he sent me evidence of them, uh, Lenny, plotting to kill Tony. And, you know, that's against our slogan itself. Well, that is literally the worst idea. Why is that? I don't know if you happen to remember the uh, debrief we were going over uh, yesterday, two days ago, about uh, Mr. Tony uh, taking cash from a man in a suit uh, out in the back alley. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, well, after that, the uh, shooting seemed to happen over at the front counter, and uh, Tony seemed to be involved, unharmed, by the way, with the shooting. Uh, after that, I get a report from Lenny uh, and Sheldon telling me that Mr. Tony and a couple of his goons came through and uh, held up the joint and robbed both Shelly and Sheldon of their oh, receipts. No. Lots oh, of money geez. lost. Okay, now... Well, I, I, as manager, uh, you know, it's my duty to handle these types of situations. Uh, I think you would agree. What oh. if we simply oh, yeah. hired them so they can't yes. rob us? I mean, that is certainly a decision, but what's to stop them from just uh, robbing them again, even while still being hired? Well, I don't think they would do that because they would not dis, you know, discredit the courtesy I right. give them of, of giving them a job. They totally wouldn't. Yeah, so I think I think I'm gonna go through with the uh, hiring process. I just bought some ingredients to show them around and teach them what they're doing. Who who was that at the door? Um, uh, let's see. Go ahead and check that out, kick ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What the? What, who is that? Let me in. It's it's me. Oh, oh, it's unlocked. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, Excuse hey. me. Uh, why I, I returned to work this morning to work the shift. And I found my keys had been taken away. I couldn't find the locks had been changed. Did well, you know what happened? That wasn't me. It was one of my managers who I'm actually going to be demoting soon, Jerry. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, one of my managers uh, seems to have uh, gotten caught. And uh, you seem to have filmed him, actually, uh, pl plotting to oh. kill Tony. Oh, that. Oh, that must have been why he fired me then. I see. Yeah, he's going to get demoted, uh, Jerry. Um... Yeah, I appreciate you bringing the evidence to me. You know, we don't do murder here. Shelly! Hey, good morning. morning. What's up? Morning. We don't do murder. No, we don't. Well, uh, well Shelly, you can go ahead and get to work. I got some ingredients over there. Uh, you're welcome oh, to good. clock was, in. Okay, I was going to go buy some, but that's perfect. Well, there's not a lot of ingredients there, Shelly. Um, I don't know if you've oh, okay. heard the updates, by the way. You are uh, able to turn in your tickets yourself now to get paid. You no longer have to go yeah, yeah, uh, 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 bitch told me about that, so I, I, I ran and turned a bunch in the other day. Oh, well, I'm very and, proud uh, of you, Shelly. Yeah, and I made a bunch of money the other day, so you keep uh, it I'm up, pretty Shelley. happy. You are in route to get a promotion. You are, <gasps> Lenny God. is, uh, Lenny's unfortunately going to be getting you know, demoted. You know, the initiative, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You know, um, I did show good oh. initiative, ran right, didn't I? I protected the company. Did, did, uh, I don't know uh, about you protecting the uh, company there, Jerry. Excuse well, me, I got a phone call from the owner. About protecting the company. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna get to work. Uh, I'll, I'll be. I'll be around. Uh, hello, Dean. Good morning. Hello, mate. How you doing? Hey, it's going. Uh, going great. Just. Uh, just came into Burger Shot. Ready to start my yeah, well, day. Uh, you're up a bit early today. You're doing the early shift, mate. Making sure it's running well. I like that. Good dedication, mate. It's gonna be. I like that. Yeah, well, I recognize I didn't have any morning employees, so I thought, you know, in order to get those, I yeah, got to be there myself. Uh, that's fucking fantastic, mate. I love that. It's great, great attitude from a manager. Anyway, I just want to give you a quick update. Um, you know, those. Uh, so we got some manager uniforms in now. You don't have to wear that fucking stupid pink shirt anymore. Oh, thank you can go God. get yourself. 
I'm well, I, I just didn't want to wear the same thing as my employees, but that's great. Absolutely, absolutely. So if you got, it, it'll be it'll be on aisle three five two, all right, mate. All right, three five two. And I'll, I'll go, be taking uh, out. I'll, I'll take it out the expenses of the burger shop count. You don't mind, do you, mate? Uh, y yeah, of course I don't mind, Dean. Of course it's no big deal. All right, deal. mate. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, keep all up right. good work. Thank you, Dean. All right. Well, hey, we got ourselves a manager <laughs> uniform in. <laughs> Wow, manager uniform. That's, yes, uh, sir. That's pretty big. So uh, when Tony and his friends come by, I was going to give them a rundown, get them hired and squared away. Um, I'll mm -hmm. go ahead and pick out my uniform while I uh, get them all suited up, you know? Yeah. Right, so what's going, where's sense. my job gone? Um, well, you know, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to talk with Tony on that one, Jerry. T what do you um, mean, Tony? Tony shut the place up. Are you crazy? All right. You know what, Jerry? You, uh, you're the one who came by with that evidence. As long as... Uh, mm. I will happily give you your job back as long as the oh, evidence uh, is deleted. Oh, wait, you want it deleted? Deleted. Wait, well, why? Well, because I just don't want that ever coming to surface. That, uh, you know, someone that managed Burger Shot ever it was uh, potentially going to kill someone. I also don't want to entirely lose Lenny. I'm just going to demote him. All right, agreed. I'll delete the footage. All right, delete the footage and you can have your job back and you can start working right now. Gone. All right. How do, you, how do you delete stuff on the mobile phone? I don't ah, understand geez. these mobile phones. Can you do it for me? I don't understand. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's. We'll will go. I put it, if I put it on Twitter, will that delete it? No, no, Actually, no. Then, then you can delete the tweet afterwards, right? Okay, Bradley, you want to take this? I'm not good at phones either. Uh, I think this is best left up to the uh, the young kiddos. Maybe uh, Ooh. A pill boy. Uh, when he's oh, around, there it is. Uh, send to uh, if no, I no. There's post. send to no. the recycling bin. You got recycling no. bin oh, on your phone send there. Send it to the recycling bin. Right, of course. Hey, go ahead All and right, put there, it in there. there. It is. All right, delete, delete. All right, it's gone. Perfect. I think. All right. Hey, I Sheldon. Right. Oh, I think. Hey, Sheldon. Good morning, my friend. Hey, Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the to the to the workplace. Fabulous. Uh, he's he's got to work on his ears there. All right, no, let's go ahead. Uh, in, huh? All right, Jerry, yeah, let's let's get you rehired up here, my friend. Give me your state ID number. Oh, it's a uh, one one six seven. Bloody Lenny's trying to sabotage the business. We have to keep a close eye on him. Uh, you're goddamn right, I do, Jerry. So you're goddamn I, can right. Can I talk to? Can we trust these two here? Absolutely. Sheldon is one of my most trusted employees, and Bradley Kickass is one of my more trusted uh, security officers. Well, speaking head of, of which, logistics, really. <laughs> speaking of which, Bradley, uh, I've got some bad news. Yeah. What's that? Well, we've got some priority issues uh, when it comes to clocking in. You are yeah. welcome to be clocked in, but I, I have to. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, if someone wants to clock in, that's willing oh, to yeah. flip burgers, I, I would ask that you kindly give up your spot for those people. Oh, yeah, no worries, bro, Chacho. All right, I appreciate oh, that. Speaking of security, I have an update on my security team. Sure thing, Bradley. None other than Hawk Security. That would be Lenny and Kenny Hawk. Uh, they happen to come in here. They're going to need $1,500 each for their week of service. What? Seems a little steep right yeah. now. Yeah. Do, nah, do, do, do you know how much I pay good. Kiki? How much do you pay Kiki? $75 a week, Bradley. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and how much shit does Kiki get done? Actually, quite a bit, Bradley. Didn't Kiki Since stop when? a murderer yesterday? Didn't she tackle Absolutely. I don't know how many heads what? have been bashed in with a crowbar and not wow. killed them, simply just hit them. Mm. God, you should have been around oh, uh, oh. <laughs> yesterday afternoon. It was three robberies, right? But no murder. True, no one died, yes. So I have some information for you. Yes, Eugene. Lenny is slowly but surely trying to take over the business, and when he finally gets a high position, he's, he's, threat, he's going to kill you so that he can huh. take the burger shop from you. Oh, wow. All right, That's well. That's what he told me anyway. He told you that. Yes, he told me that. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Well, hey, good news is he just got demoted, so he is, uh, wow. he's going uh, backwards. <laughs> He's going in reverse. Oh, there he goes. What if Let's go ahead and, he'll kill you sooner, though? I'm going to go ahead and just demote him now. Yeah, I mean, not to add on to the pile, but he was totally throwing a bunch of employees on the roof yesterday. To what? Deal with their garbage Wait, truck situation. Hey, what? <laughs> yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? Surprisingly strong. Oh, what? Jesus. Okay, Lenny's demoted, and I'm going to have a personal talk with him. Uh, I'm waiting on these boys to get here so I can take them down to the clothing store. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Jer Jerry, I'm I'm told you're definitely not able to put a, a uniform on because of your wrinkly skin. Oh, my wrinkly skin, it uh, doesn't fit inside of the clothing. I have to fold it up inside, you know? All right, I, I understand, but I, I oh, would oh. ask that when you work here, you do put on some type of uniform. All right, I'll, I'll, put, my, I'll put my outfit back on, oh, sure, no problem. Fair enough. That would, I would appreciate that, Jerry. That is simply company policy. Company, exactly. You, you can't be not wearing uniform where uniform is required, for that will equal death. Uh, maybe not as strict as death, but, death. uh, but yeah, yeah. Well, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and get your uniform on there, Jerry, oh, and right. clock in when you get back and you can start working right away. Wonderful. Can you hear me? Oh, oh, I can hear hey. you, man. Hello. Oh, good morning, good. Sheldon. Good, good morning, everybody. Sorry about that. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good, good after, good night, well, late night evening. Uh, I should let you know, Operation Secret Agent BK is still underway. I've been working with the LSPD very tightly. We've been getting shit done around here. God. All right, Bradley. That's good to hear. I need to make yeah. sure that the uh, we got the cops under wraps, you know? Oh, yeah. I got them wrapped around my finger. Just me. Well, this, is what you're, this is what you're paid for, Bradley. This is why I've got you as one of my top security officers. <laughs> that's right. Oh, logistics officer, actually. Logistics officer? That's the uh, that's the title you want to go by? That's, logistics the, that's officer? the correct title, yes. What does logistics mean? Uh, it means I'm in charge of everything going in and out. Uh, the outside, the inside, the outside, the inside, inside, the outside. You know how it is. What about the perimeter? The what? The perimeter? I don't know the meaning of the word. Okay, so the inside and the outside, but not the perimeter. Look, if I wanted dictionary.com, I'd open up my Google phone. Okay, well, that's the thing. Go ahead and open your Google phone and look okay. up perimeter. Uh, how do you spell that? P-E-M-I-N-E-T-E-R. A little slower. P E M P I E N E T M Pement E R Pementer. <laughs> um, nothing's coming up. That's weird. Well, maybe Google doesn't know the definition of perimeter. Yeah, maybe. Huh. Oh, give me a second. Let me ask Sheldon. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Sheldon. Or Shelly. Uh, either one of What's you. What's going on? Do you know what the def that? definition of perimeter is? Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't know what are that you, means. Is that like a personal bubble? Something like that. See, we tried to Google it, and we couldn't, uh, we couldn't find any information as to, even Google doesn't know the definition of perimeter. Huh. But it's definitely a word that I know. I just, I, I thought maybe you two would know, being as smart as y'all are. I, I, I don't know how far a peri perimeter is, though. I, I maybe know it's, it's a thing. little bit, uh, maybe it's a little bit bigger than a meter. Okay. So... Bradley, mm, you, you mm, think mm, you can handle the perimeter? Oh, easily. Okay, just a little bit more than a meter then. Right, a little bit more than a meter. Well, that's like barely even the size of the kitchen. Yeah, it's true. So you definitely handled that. How do you spell perimeter? Yeah. Uh, didn't you say it was P-E-M-I-N-T-E-R? No, it was P-E-M-I-N-E-T-E-R. Oh, is, isn't there an mm. A in there? Per I think is there? there's an A in there. Okay. Uh, can you spell that, Shelly? Well, anyways, oh, is it I gotta deal with my new? landlord, so I'm gonna be out of here until uh, later in the afternoon. All right, well, okay. you uh, have a good, yeah. uh, good luck dealing with that landlord. Uh, it can right, be real tricky sometimes. Yes. All right. Well, if our day is just about to get started, you two. Uh, we've got new employees coming in. Tony, we've got uh, who the hell is that? Oh, that that's that's Ricardo. Oh. And he got uh, plastic surgery. surgery, so he's all bandaged up. Mr. Kevin, uh, uh, Tony's gonna get uh, fired today. Tony, oh t no! I just rehired him. Uh, he uh, uh, he he robbed us yesterday, and, and then he got shot. And then they found out it was him that uh, that was robbing us. Ah, <gasps> oh, jeez. Well, well, that's the thing, Sheldon, because Tony, uh, Tony brought evidence to me that Lenny was uh, planning on murdering Tony, and oh. it was based off oh, of my racism. Gosh. Uh, against Italians. So with that evidence, uh, I went ahead and rehired him and his friends. Is are we oh. all okay with that? Uh, I guess so. I'll just get uh, robbed all day again. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, just don't get robbed and make sure you keep working, okay, Sheldon? Uh, I'll keep working uh, no matter what. 
All right. You that's... got the best employees, sir. That's uh, that's right, Ricardo. So uh, their friends are going to probably come in. There's about three of them from what I saw, and there's three of you guys. So really, you guys are on even terms, right? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Like, you, you three can hold your ground against those three, right? Yeah, sure. We got a girl uh, with I, a burger mask. This. We got me all bandaged stuff and Sheldon. Of course. Uh, we got this. That's good to hear, you three. That's good to hear. All right, I, can one of you make me a burger? I'm, I, I feel so oh, yeah. S starved. Yeah, I, I, I made a few right here. Let's All right, uh, I'm gonna make some French fries. I'll go ahead and grab one, Shelly. All right, I'm gonna start working on our inventory, get everything stocked up, and then we'll send out some tweets. We'll get some um, business bustling and going. That's great to hear, Shelly. Make that you, money. You and Sheldon are on your way to promotions, let me tell you. I can't wait. That's going to be pretty, you know, we, I've got some plans, Mr. Whipple. We're going to really get this place up and running. You know, I'm work, I, I'm I'm thinking about writing an erotic novel called Burgerotica, and it's going to become a number one seller. With that information, uh, you two just got yourself promoted. Congratulations. <gasps> oh, my <gasps> God. Oh my god, are they managers now? They are absolutely <laughs> managers. Oh my god! What was that? Uh, specifically, assistant to the regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. Uh, congratulations, Shelly. Uh, you deserve it. You too, Sheldon. You got it too. Well, well actually, oh. uh, excuse me, my ears just popped. I can't hear anything, but Sheldon and Shelly, you both got promoted. Give me a moment. We, oh! We did it! Congrats. I can't, I can't hear anything. My headset just died, so I don't know what they're saying. Fuck, let me plug it in. Hang on. Okay. Uh, manage roles. How do I delete roles? Delete roles. Uh, delete. All right. Cool. And bitch too. Yep, I'm also gonna promote bitch. I've got too many employees, you can see. So I definitely need a lot of managers. I'm Ursari. Change the role, motherfucker, to assistant to regional manager. Congratulations. Uh, let me also do one more thing. Uh, edit role. Assistant to regional manager can no longer pay employees. Only I can do that. While people go inside and vote, they're going to come outside hungry after they thought real hard about who they're going to vote for. It's absolutely perfect. Where the hell are these fucking clean boys? Like, I want to go, I'm going to go, go in and change outfits right now. I was going to wait for them, but I'm just going to go my damn self. Wait, fuck, I need to, I need to get money out. The spaced out. Tony's helping him out. All right. Good morning, Tony. Welcome hey, to work. Saying, brother? Clayvon had a uh, he had a mental therapy uh, appointment, and then Sam's on his way here right now. So. Okay. Well, hey, I was about to head down to the clothing store. We can get you all uh, clothed up with the appropriate uniforms. Yeah, hey, sounds good. I, Sam's at that one right over there down the street. So if we want to walk over there. Oh, cool. All right. Let's go ahead and head there. Yeah. I uh, I got myself a uh, manager uniform as well. All right, is that what you're now or when? No, no, no. It's, uh, I, I can stop wearing this. This is my casual attire. 
My work attire, I need hey, to go man. pick up myself. I thought I'd do it with y'all. Is that your cane? Uh, yes, sir, it is. It's a really nice cane. Was that a night blade, I think? Some shit like Some sort of nightshade. I, uh, yeah. I wanted to paint it, you know, the colors of Burger Shot, but I didn't have any money on me at the time. <laughs> so, uh, I'll go ahead and do that at some point when I get free time. But, you know, work is work. Right, right, right. I'm excited to see these new, uh, manager uniforms they just got in. Oh, okay, yeah, we're going to check them oh. in. Look, Mr. Whipple, I really appreciate, the, you know, the opportunity, you know, it's just... I just can't... I can't get over Lenny, you know what I'm saying? It's just really got me in a twist. Well, did you, uh, did you tell him what he, uh, what happened with me? No, I didn't. Why don't you tell him? So, uh, I tried to save his life as well as a bunch of other employees. There was 15 people I hustled into the back. Because there was a ton of customers, right? So my first yeah. reaction when the woman came in, some woman in purple, was to, uh, hustle everyone in the Shall back, I? lock the doors. Um, some, uh, dumbass yeah, opens the back door, allows the woman to come in, shoots up Lenny. So, oh, and then runs outside. So my first reaction was to pull the gun off of Lenny so that I could, uh, you know, keep everyone safe. It was guys. Well, 30 minutes go Good by, way. and I get pulled up, uh, pushed up against the wall. Lenny's like, I know you got my gun. I'm like, hey, I wasn't able to get the gun. Like, some people busted through. So he got to go all up in my ass and started trying to, like, uh, he had me put my hands up, and he started robbing my ass, and the cops oh, came. Luckily, I was able to de-escalate it and tell him, like, listen, no, I agreed to this and whatever, but... I think he's a good guy. It's just, uh, you know, I think uh, maybe it got to him a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, that's the thing. I'm, uh, I'm going to deflate his ego. Um, he's already been demoted. Oh. Yep, and I promoted three new people in his place, three of my best employees, Sheldon, Shelly, and Bitch. Um, oh, gonna... Bitch Wait. is amazing. Yeah, Bitch is one of my best employees. And uh, maybe one of you three could work your way up to that status as well if you impress me enough. Of course, of course. I'm a hard worker. I can see you're already in here. Uh, what's your name again, sir? Name is Sab. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, say it again, slower. Sab. Sab. Nice to meet you, Sab. I see you're already picking out a nice uniform. We don't have a Jersey boy yet. Oh, okay. Maybe I can be the mascot. Yeah. Hey, listen. As long as it's got that Burger Shot logo, it's fine with me. And uh, you're even wearing the, uh, the the classic Shelly face mask. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. Give me, give me one moment. Let me go ahead and pick out my uniform. Uh, what was the number? Three, five, two. God damn. Oh, God damn. This is the employee shirt. Okay, we're going to go with this. Uh, let me fix the shirt, though. I am the burger boy. Should I go blue? What's the burger shot slogan again? <laughs> yeah, I probably should. All right, we'll go with blue. That's the slogan? All right. Oh, look at that. The, uh, yeah, it's, oh, fuck. uh. Wow, that's pretty nice. It's kind of spiffy, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Hey, it's a pretty nice half you get there. Oh, boy. If you boys will excuse me, I'm getting a call from none other, none other than Lenny. Oh, oh yeah. All right, uh, all right. Give, me, time. give me a Speaking moment. There you go. Hey, uh, good morning, Lenny. So, Whippaloo, is that you? Hello? Yes, sir. This is Kevin, Lenny. What's up? Uh, Lenny, what's Lenny needs on? to speak to you right now. Sheldon's just gave Lenny the update. What the fuck is going on? Well, you Why see... have you rehired Tony? He fucking tried to rob the place. Okay. Lenny has proof. Well, listen, and my logic to that is if I hire the people robbing us, they can't rob us. He was already hired when he robbed us, you donut. Well, 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 why do I have evidence of you plotting to kill Tony? What, what's the evidence? Yeah, Lenny did shoot Tony down because he tried to rob the store. Why and is there tried, evidence he, he, of it? He had a good point at Sheldon and Shelley. Lenny, why is there evidence of it? Evidence of what? You're not explaining to Lenny what the evidence is. I, I Mr. Whipple, Lenny's at Lenny's at work. Just get down here so we can talk, please. Lenny, uh, Lenny. Uh, uh, all right, oh, I'll see you God. in a second. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All right. Listen, you three, uh, Lenny's over at Burger Shot, and I need to go talk with him and handle this situation, if you boys don't mind. 
Yeah, more Absolutely. Crambling. Would you like me to uh, show them how to make food or uh, anything like that? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind showing them the ropes, that would be A-OK -okay if I'm not All there right. to help them. All right, you All right, boys. Yeah, the for the jam. yeah, let me go ahead and get you guys hired I up right now. Yeah, wait to get started, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, Tony, I need your uh, ID again. 1095. You go, I mean. You ain't. All right, Tony, you are rehired. Welcome back to Burger Shop, Appreciate sir. it, brother. Thank you so much. Now, uh, Sab, I need yours. Uh, state ID 1207. All right. Welcome to the Burger Shop family, home of the burger yes. and not the murder. I won't let you down, sir. Thank you. All right. Me. I'll see you in the shop. And we'll see you over there, right? Oh my god, you're, you're not doing a good job as a manager. Uh, Denny's a good guy and they're bad guys. You're so stupid that you don't know that. I've been watching all the streams and I'm, I'm telling you right now, you're making a big mistake. You're making a big mistake, Kevin. Just <laughs> the fuck up. I like this fucking battle going on right now. This is great. Someone's gonna lose and they're gonna be upset. Please no. All right, hey, good morning, Lenny. Come on, let's go. Yep, good morning to you, boss. Yep. He's so mad. <laughs> What, wait, no, no, Lenny needs to speak yesterday. to Kevin alone. I Lenny needs to speak shooter, to Kevin alone. The shooter is coming in. Right Kevin. Now. Uh, listen, we can all, we can, let's, ten, all right, Lenny, you no, tell no, me, no, tell no, me no, what's no, going no. on. Lenny, Lenny needs to tell you his story before they try and manipulate right. and, and try and twist the story. So, all right, Lenny. Okay, Lenny's going to, Lenny's going to start Roy from the start. Okay, we started this business. Well, you started this business and Lenny, Shelly, Sheldon, uh, and bitch, uh, we all joined you and we all helped you and we did it because we love this place. Yeah. Not for any other reason, we did it because we love this place. And, right, we started employing people, and that's fine. Because we needed people to employ. Yeah. Obviously, you start employing people at certain points. People, there's probably going to, we're probably going to realize that there's certain people in the, in the establishment that are going to try and betray the establishment. And one of those people is Tony. So, Tony, you, you employed Tony, what, a couple of days ago? I he also worked hard. rehired uh, his friend, Sab, and uh, I'm going to hire his we friend, Clavon. Sab wasn't... And Sub I wasn't, also uh, well, going has to never hire back Jerry and or Eugene. So Eugene, so okay, so let's just get <laughs> to Tony part first and then we'll go on to Eugene. Okay, understood. So, so Tony, Tony robbed the store. Lenny has proof. Lenny has an officer Zose in his phone and he can contact him right now if he's away. He can get him down here and he can confirm that Tony tried to rob the burger shop. And uh -huh. Lenny said, uh, Kiki knocked Tony down and Lenny shot him down. And, and and save the business. Okay. So the fact that you're trying to trying to twist this and tell say that Lenny is the is 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 I'm, the one that's in the bag here. I'm I'm Sheldon's not twisting anything. Everything. I just Sheldon's told Lenny everything. Yeah, I believe that. Listen, I'm not twisting it in any way. I'm really good with math. Okay. And I have three people telling me one thing, and then I have you telling me the other. That's three against one, Lenny. Yes, yes. Do you realize who? Well, so who are these three people that are telling you these things? Well, like Tony and his friends. Yep. Tony. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you listening? Are you listening to yourself right now? Well, again, a three boss? is a bigger his number friends. than one, Lenny. His friends. <laughs> Lenny. Okay. Have you listened to Sheldon and Shelley? Those are Lenny's well, friends. Of course, why I listen to Sheldon saying, and Shelley. So they're sticking up for Lenny. So why is Lenny? Well, why is that? Why are they right. not on Lenny's side? All right. Let's let's add Sheldon and Shelley to the mix. Okay. Now yep, you've got I'm a bitch. team of three on your team. Oh, I'm I don't bitch. see. I don't see bitch here. Okay. She, now let's sleeping. let's she add Jerry that. to the team of Tony. Okay, that's four against three. Mathematically, you're losing right now, Lenny, and I have to go with the odds. Okay, Lenny loves <laughs> this place, right? And you're you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna destroy this place if you keep going this, down I, this route. Listen, 
This, I... They're gonna, have... they're, they're gonna sabotage this place and they're gonna ruin it. And you know about Eugene as well? He was a, he, okay, so he's going for mayorship right now. They had a mayorship meeting and then he heard from like 20 people that he yeah. has been saying that we sell dog meat and our, our food is poisonous. That's who, why then he got rid of Eugene. Who, listen, well, it's. We literally he's... lost so many customers yesterday because. I, do you have proof of this, Lenny? Yes. Okay, you gotta bring me the proof. Did you film okay. it? No, then he has people that told him that they were there at the, at the meeting. Who are these people? One of them was Jack, you know, the mayor that we sponsor, that we're sponsoring. Okay. Yep, him, police. Police were there. They, they, they vouched for Lenny. And everyone else that was there. We could probably just ask people that were there. All right, now that, listen, if you bring me the proof that he's been selling dog meat and you bring the officers and the mayor to come in, and speak to me okay. personally to tell me that that man has been trying to sell dog meat. I will personally fire No, he hasn't been man. selling dog meat. He's been saying that we sell dog meat. But but here's the problem, Lenny. And, and here's where you need to see my position. Okay. All right? Eugene has proof that you are willing to murder him. Okay? But or to not murder him. Who? Tony, Eugene? Tony, 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 Tony. Tony? Now, and they're going to claim it's based off of racism. Against wait, Italians. Wait, what? This is ridiculous. You listen to this. What? Okay, wait. Kiki's right here. Kiki, Kiki, come here. Yes, Mr. Large, reporting wait, for Kiki, duty, sir. Kiki. All right. So sorry, Kiki. It's okay. Yes, so Kiki right. was a brave warrior yesterday, and she took yeah. down one of the robbers. In fact, that robber, Kiki. I don't know if you knew this, but that robber was Tony Carolone, who our boss here has just rehired. You know oh, that? No. Kiki, I let did, me let me yeah. give you the rundown, okay? Yeah, give me the rundown here. All right. So, from what I'm gathering, I hired Tony, and Tony uh, has been, you know, as Lenny says, been a little a, a bit of a bad boy, and Lenny sure. tried to, you know, put him in his place, and sounds to me kill him. However, Wait, no, 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 Lenny never want to kill Tony. Well, that's not what the evidence that Eugene has filmed and sent me, and there, and Tony was willing to sue us based off of racism against Italians. So- Wait, what, what footage? Can you show Lenny this? Please show this footage Well, I, I had him delete it for now, but I gave him my oh. word that they'd have his, their jobs back. So here we are. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so basically, so uh, after sake. the incident yesterday, you're saying that, well, what's the racist part? The racist part is because you wouldn't hire him or because I tackled him during a shootout? Apparently because he's Italian or something. Yeah, but I didn't even realize he was Italian. Okay. I don't listen. I don't know if it's a matter of racism, but you know how the court would take that. Well, here's here's my question for you, Mr. Large. Okay, listen. Yes. Did yes. Mr. Corleone attempt to rob this establishment? Yes. Yes. Did Mr. Corleone attempt to kill you? Yes. Did yes. Mr. Corleone enter the property with a lethal weapon with the intent to use it lethally if he required? Yes. That's correct. Did yeah. he then threaten to murder me after I tackled him? Yes. But Correct, yeah. do you really want to be the type of person that runs a business that doesn't hire ex-convicts? You really want that? <laughs> but huh? he doesn't want that, that on our record. Store. You want to be known as the, the franchise that and, won't hire former convicts? If it was, this, if it was any of really? a store, it's fine. And, it was and, a specific and listen, store. Listen to my logic here, Kiki. Okay. Yep. Tony yep. Me with it. has three friends. Okay. Three friends. Okay. Four people total are on Tony's side. All okay, right. Okay. Four people Lenny totally, yeah. has two friends. Three friends. people total are on Lenny's yep. side. Three people four total. is a bigger number than three. Four is a bigger number. No, that's four just, listen, side. I there's don't know rocket appliances, but that seems pretty straightforward to me, Wait, Mr. Lenny, okay? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, uh, okay, let's, it looks like you're not going to get, you're not going to give up with this, uh, Mr. Whippaloosa. Well, what's the plan here? What's, what's the, well, what's the here, plan? Well, here's the plan, Lenny, all right? I, I had, I, I had to demote you because I don't want to be a racist. Wait, what? Oh, you yeah. get, wait, you're going to demote Lenny? That's you, fair. You, You've already been, you've or, for this. now, you've already been demoted, Lenny, and I'm sorry. Was, yeah. Now, de, right. de, Lenny, get back here! Lenny! I'm very, very disappointed with you, Mr. Whipple. Lenny, get back here now! Lenny, you get back here now! Don't make me bust out the Cobra kid! Lenny, Lenny has worked now, so hard, day in, day out, I, for this business, I, and this is how you treat Lenny. I, I understand that, Lenny. But this is that, how you treat him! <laughs> Lenny? I'm it's very fine. sorry. Lenny's worked so hard every and, day and in your, the same office. <laughs> listen, your pay is the exact same as it was before. It has not changed. But simply, your status is now below Sheldon, Shelly, and bitch. Oh. And me. Wait, what? And Kiki. Uh, yeah, you everyone, everyone, everyone but me is below Kiki. That's true. Okay, fair you enough. Do, you do realize that Lenny, Lenny can't have that. Yes, yeah, Lenny's going to have to have that, Lenny. Le is there a, okay, all right. Uh, this is bad. You've Lenny, up, listen, you, you, listen, Lenny. Lenny, Hold no, on. No, Lenny can't do this right now. Lenny listen. can't do this. Lenny, all right. 
<laughs> think of it like this, okay? You're in a base. You're in a baseball game. You're the lead running back. It's three holes from one. You're on an 18 hole <laughs> <the background>. yard. <laughs> and what are you gonna do when you're coming to the finish line? You gonna get a hole in one, <laughs> or are you gonna double dribble? Huh? You need to ask yourself that. Now it's you don't know what that pounce, means, Kiki. Okay. You don't well, know what that means. I I'm here for security, not for motivational speeches. Okay, I'm just doing my best. So so Lenny, I need you to just you know. Yeah, stand Lenny's just gonna sit in the background and wait until this place burns. That's pretty much. What it, that's, this this okay. place will not burn, Lenny. I going to burn down. Kiki will time. make yeah. sure of it. I've already inspected this entire place, top to bottom, and it is not flammable. So absolutely not. That is cement, Lenny. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? You think cement can burn? It can't burn. Please don't mock Lenny at the moment. Can't Lenny can't is the do... smartest person in this which, establishment right well, now. Which number is bigger? Four or three? Four or three, Lenny. You tell me. Like, we, we, we could have ended this discussion in about three sentences, but you decided to drag it on this whole time. No, because there's a reason behind everything that Lenny does. Lenny wants the best for this business. Those people out there they've rehired don't want the best for the business. Well, Fair enough that you... You know what? So, Lenny so you want me to just be racist you. then, Lenny? It's not and, racist and, and if you is, if you okay. if you fire somebody that robbed the establishment and it's not racism. This is what I want to understand. Are you do you really mean to tell me that you can that you can deduce everything you need to know about a person based on the fact of whether or not they held you at gunpoint and robbed your livelihood and said they were going to murder you and everyone that works for you and they're going to bomb the establishment? Put his life on really? the line for this place and he's been demoted for something for being stitched up by people that want to burn this place to the ground. Uh, we already established that it cannot burn, Lenny. We've established that, Lenny. Okay. Okay. It, it, can, it can be knocked down then. Like a, like a construction thingy have coming you... over and, and dabbing all over the over the place. Have you had a bleeder before, Lenny? Okay. They practically sell themselves. We could have a monkey with a typewriter up front, and people would still buy the burgers. Oh, oh, ha, ha. Yes, I'll have a bleeder, please. Mm, just put that meat between my lips. You know what I mean? They sell themselves. We're just here Lydia, as no, a what medium the fuck about, between Kiki? the burger and the people. What are you talking people? about right now? What, yeah, I'm just talking. Damn, I'm in a little talk real Play quick. Right so right yeah, we are in a fucking talk over here. Leave. Hey, what's going on in there, Lenny? I think, Lenny, I think... Screw you, Tony! I think, Lenny, I think the conversation for now is over. This is ridiculous. Why are you discriminating? Lenny's having today off. Because I'm Italian. This is ridiculous, Lenny. Lenny needs a day off. This is fucking ridiculous. You see this? Don't oh, worry, just mad at me because I'm we Italian, are not racist. Right? Jesus we, we're Christ. not racist. Lenny, you're acting like a diva. Come on. You're fine. You're doing let great, me, Mr. Whipple. You're so doing great, great, okay? Thank you. There thank you. Go. Thank just you. Let, the let the tension flow out of thank you. You're doing thank great. you. Thank you. Oh, that feels good. Thank you. All right, listen. We've we, we've talked with Lenny, and we all agree that we here at Burger Shot are not racist. Well, I'm glad to hear that because I goddamn swore. Lenny was starting to act like that. I mean, you know, I brought my Italian friends nearby and he started to act the same fucking way, you know? It's just Lenny, Lenny, ridiculous. Was, Lenny was trying to claim that, the, that this whole place, uh, after hiring you boys, was going to burn to the ground. But Kiki and I are smart enough to know that this place is not flammable. That's right. It's made out of concrete. Concrete can't That's light right. on fire. So oh, Luke. Oh. He, was, he was very set on that. And we also established that you have three friends and he only has two. And you're, you and your friends say that you're right, and him and his friends say that he's right. But four is a bigger number than three. That's we right. all know that truth is decided by consensus. That's it, right. It, it's truth in numbers, baby. Literally basic math. That's how the and camps Lenny, do it. That's how the camps do it. So if that's how the camps do it, why not? You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I, I don't expect people to have a college education here at Burger exactly. Shop, but you know I expect, what I'm you know, basic, you know, multiplication Common of sense. math. Four is bigger than three. Just multiplication. You should be able to handle that. Right. Well, look, Clay Vines here. He's back from his meeting. He's ready for his interview, Mr. Whipple. All right. Hello, hey. Mr. Whipple. Uh, good evening, Clay Vaughn. All right. Interview time, huh? Uh, did you guys show him the ropes at all or no? I was actually uh, just acquainting myself with the areas. I was looking around the establishment. All right. Well, I'm glad you got yourself acquainted here. Uh, if it, so you don't know how, to, how anything works here at uh, Burger Shot? I uh, know. I mean, I know how to make a mean-ass burger, though. Okay, Naturally. all right. Yeah, we well, our burgers are very nice, sir. That's what I want to hear. Perfect. That's well, yeah. I would like to hear that too. Now, do you know our slogan, Mister uh, Clavon? I do not. I need a rundown. Okay, so you decided to come into my interview without already knowing the slogan. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh it's my a, God! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a burger. Don't do the murder. <laughs> sorry, I had to call. It's Bless been a you, rough Kiki. day. All right, I had a medical emergency earlier, and I'm stressed. All right, I'm stressed. I, I need this job. I, I understand. I need it. I understand. I'm a sorry. lot. A lot of people need this job. 
Um, and, and a medical emergency is going to be a I'll casual the experience here at Burger Shop. It. Well, that's good to hear. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get your state ID number as soon as you rehearse to me the uh, the slogan, sir. I missed it. Get, get my what? I'm sorry, sir. My ears. Your your they your, hurt. The slogan. Go ahead and rehearse it for me. Oh yeah, it's uh. <clears throat> uh <clears throat> Tony, ah, what the fuck is it? You know? Take your time. I mean, Ivan, hey, let me burger. let me. Come here, come here. Don't murder your burger. Eat the get a down, burger. Down, don't do the down. murder. Eat the burger. Don't murder the burger. Now, what do we do after we say the slogan, Mr. Uh, Clavon? We greet our... We dab. We dab. I go, remember. Go ahead and do the dab, sir. Ooh. That's right. Yep. Ooh. Now... Dab an animal. You can even uh, work your way to employee of the month and or promotion if you ask each customer if they'd like a dab of ketchup. I will make sure every customer has an ample amount of ketchup. Just mult if they ask for more than a dab of ketchup, you ask them if they would like multiple dabs of ketchup. Should it's I charge them more per dab? Well, you could charge them as much as you as you like, uh, as long as it's you know well over fifty dollars. All right, all right, seventy-five cents per extra dab. All right, I'm gonna study this tonight. All right, I'm gonna study this. That's good. Now let's get your state ID number. Let's get you uh, hired up. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, let's, let's get your state ID number and we'll get you uh, hired up, Mr. Clavon. I didn't, I don't think I said that on accident. All right, perfect, perfect. Uh, it is 1163, Mr. Whippaloo. Goddamn flip phones, give me a moment. 1163, you said? Yes, that is correct, sir. That's right. All right, you are now a fine member of this here establishment. Now, would you be able to fit yourself with the uh, Burger Shot attire? I will get on that right away, sir. Yeah, I have I one being tailored man, right now. Man. Well, that's uh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, you are now an employee. Let's go ahead and walk over here. Here is where you will uh, clock in. Round of applause, brother. Round of applause. Woo! Congratulations, Thank brother. You. Welcome Round to the bag of shot, man. Welcome to the fucking bag of shot. <laughs> I will say, I, uh, we beautiful. Not, I think the uh, the um, the air conditioners might be uh, causing your voice to go. Ah, uh, hell bit. yeah. We just sorry about that. The uh, it happens. It happens. air conditioning happens. So this is where you will clock in. Uh, we can only have about six people working at a time. I have instructed security to please prioritize the burger flippers. However, we have a lot on staff right now as you guys bring on four yourself. So, perfect, see if you can perfect. clock in. See if uh, see if it works. I actually did clock in earlier, so I'm all set there, sir. I'm all set. All right, perfect. Now, if you'll follow me. All right, right here is where we go ahead and keep our ingredients. Uh, the ingredients can unfortunately go bad very quickly, so it's important we don't overbuy, and we use it once we get it. And it, uh, yep, it goes right in there. It might smell a little iffy. Mmm, mmm, nah, nah, it smells like, a uh, delightful bread, actually. Smells like anything but murder, isn't that right? Exactly. All right, and over here by, uh, Sab, you can see that's where we make our fine burgers with nothing but love and niceness, not meanness, as you, uh, said before. Beautiful spread, beautiful spread. All right, we got the lettuce, uh -huh. the tomatoes, ooh, a bit of mushrooms. Doesn't what is that right there? Mushrooms, clarify, apples? I think uh, despite, despite oh, rather tomato. stringent hygiene standards, uh, Mr. Whippaloo is the only person permitted to wear flip-flops in the kitchen. That is true. We I also actually, don't, we don't talk about my flip-flops, but I do wear flip-flops. I understand. I was actually going to say something about how your flip-flops are beautiful. I noticed that when I first walked in, that was the first thing I noticed about you. Shut your mouth, Mr. Clavon. I already told you we do not mention my flip-flops. Oh, I'm sorry. So, if you'll follow me over here. This is, uh, this is where the donuts are made. The ingredient, we simply don't make them. We just have an infinite storage of donuts. If people want them, officers uh, specifically request these commonly. You can uh, supply that for them. Okay, all right. Donuts, donuts. Over here, we have the uh, the drink maker, if you will. Uh, very similar to where we make burgers, only instead, it's liquid. I can take the next customer. All right, I understand. Can we mix drinks on request? Someone wants a Sprite and a Pepsi? Uh, want? Yes, yes, you Sarah, may do that. I can take the next customer. And then uh, once you make things, you simply drop it here into uh, this little slider in the... Lovely people at the front will uh, handle the orders. Now, if uh, uh, kindly you will follow me to the front, we're going to go ahead and serve a customer. Uh, Mr. Uh, Whippaloo? Uh, yes, Sheldon. Do, do me a giant favor. Mr. Tony. 
you're talking uh, very loudly out of the kitchen, and I can't hit a uh, customer. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheldon. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll keep my voice down. My bad. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. In, in, in uh, fact, Sheldon, if you wouldn't mind, uh, is this you? I think Clavon would like to uh, oh, practice shit. serving a customer. You, would you mind giving it, showing him the ropes here with this fine gentleman? Oh uh, yeah, sure. I can. I can show him, Mr. Clavon. All right, go ahead, Sheldon. What's the slogan? Uh, Mr. Whipple, uh, Mr. Uh, Clavon, uh, uh, if you'd like to come uh, over here, I can, I can help you with give this uh, okay. man an interview. I actually would uh, recommend him. Right, He's perf. very, very, very. Uh, Fit for the job, I say. Right. Sure thing, hey, Shelly. Uh, uh, hello, make sure Clavon uh, handles his uh, shot. Don't commit handles a murder. His... Eat a burger. Watch Clavon for me. Uh, okay, sure. There we go. It's just maybe if I. How you doing? Uh, hello. Is this uh, is this who Shelly recommended? Oh, uh, yes, it is. How you doing? I'm doing a okay, sir. If you won't mind following me. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. Ah, uh, just go ahead, go ahead and pop a squat, sir. I would love to. Um, maybe. All right. Well, let's go ahead and use a different booth. This one's a little dirty. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. How about this one? This one looks good. Yeah, this this will do just fine. Uh, oh gosh. All Holy right, shit. sir. So, what brings you to Burger Shot? What makes you want to work here? Well, I've been to the establishment uh, before. Uh, I've I've actually ordered food from here quite often. I usually come here a couple times a day. I happen to enjoy the food and the uh, the workers and the environment. And honestly, after uh, after being here so many times, I just I I, I figure you know what, I kind of want to be a part of it. Well, I'm, I'm very good know. friends with Sheldon and and, uh, and Shelly. Well, that's you know what that's very much appreciated. Uh, and Sheldon and Shelly happen to both be managers here, so I typically don't do interviews. We are currently overstaffed, but the fact that you've got recommendations for both of some of my best managers, I will. I will see the time of day, and I'll hear you out. Awesome. Perfect. I appreciate it. Yeah, you seem like a, a good, hard worker. Um, just one thing for me. Do you know our, do you know our slogan? Um, you know, I've only heard the slogan once. Well, you said you've bought multiple burgers here, correct? Yeah, and I, I've only heard the slogan once. I, I usually don't get Sheldon or, or, uh, or Shelly. Who, uh, if you don't mind me asking, who's been, uh, who's been serving you? I believe it was Eugene. Interesting. And he, uh, he doesn't say the slogan to you when he sells you a burger? No, actually, he says, like, uh, he says stuff like, Vote for me as mayor, you bitch! So, you know, I, I, I usually have to go off that. All right. I appreciate you, uh, bringing this information to me. And because, yeah, no of, b because of Mr. Eugene, I will, uh, I will exempt your not knowing our slogan for this interview. Our slogan is, uh, go ahead and eat a burger and don't do murder or something along the lines of that. And then eat you make burger. sure to don't do murder. Okay. dab afterwards. Of course, that the, the dab is very important. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and have a talk with Eugene on that. I, I don't need a whole lot more information from you, considering, uh, again, you got a recommendation from two managers. It can't get better hmm. than that. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and conduct this interview or okay. end the interview. And I'll go ahead and get you hired squared away. Perfect. Uh, and, and and your first name was Kevin, right? Uh, yes, sir. My name is Kevin Whippaloo, and I am the manager here. Awesome. Uh, Flop Dugong, it is a pleasure to meet you. Floppy Goo Ugandan? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, Flop, Flop Dugong. Floppy Ugandan. Yes, Floppy Ugandan. Uh, some people say floppy disk. Other people just say uh, asshole. But, you know, I, I guess it really comes down to, to personal preference and judgment. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and name you Floppy. We like nicknames here at Burger Shot. Perfect. So uh, go ahead and give me your state ID, Mr. Floppy. Not a problem. Uh, uh, it, that is going to be, I believe, one one two five. And I'll go ahead and flash by ID for you real quick so you have it. All right, there it is. That yep, Floppy Uganda. Now, Floppy, uh, uh -huh. if you wouldn't mind, today mm -hmm. we obviously we can only have six employees at a time. Uh, I, at some point, if you'd like to come in for work, I recommend you get yourself a uh, Burger Shot uniform. I don't like anyone working without it. Of course. Um, you can have Shelly or Sheldon show you the ropes at some point, but right now there's just a couple too many bodies back there, I think. I got you. No problem. That, that's, so, that's fine. But uh, at some point, come in whenever you'd like. That's uh, not overstaffed. We can have six people working at a time, and I'm sure if, if, I, if I'm not here, Shelly or Sheldon or anyone there will happily show you the ropes. Awesome. I look uh, forward to it. Uh, Mr. Whipple, any possibility I could get your number? Yes. Just in case. Sure thing, Mr. Floppy. Uh, I'll read the number to you. 
Yep, no problem. Uh, give me one sec. All right, I'm ready. All right, my number is 415-645-3181. Uh, 415-645-3181. Yes, sir. That is correct. You can send me a text, and I'll get you at it as well. All right. Good shit, Mr. Whippaloo. I greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, again, uh, in conclusion, come in uh, any time other than right now for a uh, briefing, and make sure you get yourself a uniform. Okay, not a problem. I do have to ask a, uh, a, a semi-maybe m- might be personal, but maybe not question. Sure. Do you, uh, do you always wear um, sandals at work? <laughs> All right, now rule number fucking one: Do not talk about my flip flops. I'll let this. I'll let this slide just this once. Okay. All right. No problem. All right. That's fine. I, I didn't know if that was just kind of a joke on 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 me because my name's Flop. You know, flip flop. But you know, I, I, I was just making sure. Yeah, you do not talk about my flip flops, uh, especially near any customers. That's important. Okay. No problem. That's that. That is perfectly fine. Mr. Smoke, smoking inside is fine, but flip flops is where I draw the line. Of course, of course. Bars. Smoking inside is, is, yeah, of course, bars. All right, you have yourself a splendid day, Mr. Floppy. You as well, Mr. Whippaloo. You take care. Hello, oh, you new here? Uh, good morning, bitch. Oh, my God, uh, Mr. Bussman. Oh, dear me, so I'm uh, sorry. Yes, yes, bitch, you are sorry. Now, hey, listen here. Uh, hello, yes, Got a couple I'm changes. listening. Open my ears. Number one. Okay, change, good change, bad changing. You got a promotion. I got the promotion! Oh, ah! no, no, no. oh, oh sorry, beat the shit out of her. No, no, do not, do not. Oh, listen, sorry. Mr. Uh, Sab, this is bitch. I, to, I can't contain my, my excitement to bitch and yeah. happy. Yeah, bitch is very Wait, her happy. Her name is actually bitch? Like, I'm not going to offend you if I say bitch? No, her name is no, actually my, bitch. I'm a, my first name, I, my last name, I'm sorry, but you can call me bitch. Yeah, it's her. just oh, okay. for you. Nice to meet you, bitch. Yeah, her full name nice is to too much of a hassle, so we just call her bitch. Now, oh, okay. All right. bitch here is manager, so this is actually uh, your boss, manager! Mr. Sab. Me manager? Nice well, to meet you, Well, assistant boss. to the regional oh, manager. I'm so excited. Me is so bitch is so happy. Yeah, bitch happy is bitch. best bitch Mi- ever. Mr. Wipaloo. Uh, yeah, Shelly. Uh, we have a competitor that's opening a business, and he, he really would like to speak to you about uh, our, you know... Maybe, I, I don't know, he, he just has a lot of stuff he wants to ask you. God fucking damn it. All right, where is the Shelly? He, he's right over here. Oh, no. Here we are. Get out two burgers, bro. Is this the, uh, is this the one, Shelly? Uh, yeah, sir, this is, uh... Yep. Uh, this is the one, uh, yeah, uh, I'd like to speak with you. Course. Wait, this high schooler here runs this joint. Yes, yes, this high schooler here runs this joint. What's your name, sir? My name is Lang. What is your name? All right, Lang, my name is Kevin Whippaloo. I'm the manager of this fine establishment. Uh, Eat a burger and hashtag don't do the murder, hashtag dab. What can I help you with? Well, I'm going to be your competitor now. I'm about to put you out of business in about a week and a half. So I was just asking a few uh, questions on how you run this place. Okay, and if you're going to be my competitor, why would I uh, I tell you how we run things? I mean, why not? You know, doesn't mean we can't help each other out here and there. That's by definition not what a competitor is supposed to do. Sir, how do you price your menu? Well, why don't you go ahead and get in line and find out? I Wait, eat go. here three times a day, motherfucker. I'm a loyal customer. Okay, well, then why... we? Well, as you would know, we price our burgers at about $50 each. So how come when I come here to get a double cock meat sandwich, extra uh, cheese, side of curry, diet, the water, the price changes every day? That would be... Uh, it's depending what? on the weather. The weather changes yeah, and yeah, thus yeah, the uh, prices change. It's a stock market, so supply and demand. Yeah, Shelly. Right. Shelly, well, Shelly told me she's gonna work for me because I'm giving her a better position. No, I didn't, so, are you interested in working I, I didn't say that. I, Shelly has recently gotten a promotion uh, just a couple of minutes ago. I, I highly doubt Shelly would take a job oh, somewhere. Oh, we're giving else. her a better position with a better salary, sir. No, I didn't say that. Shelly, I got big. I got big plans here. I got the Burgerotica coming out. Yeah, her plans I, I got, are to uh, actually uh, shut you down from the inside out, my yeah. friend. Yeah, Shelly. I got a street performance we're gonna be doing called. Uh, it's going to be really exciting, so... Shelly, are you trying to overthrow my business? Uh, not at all, sir. I would never do that. I, I got big plans for big burgers. 
I see, you know, if Big you would have said that about just about any other of my employees, Mr. Uh, Lang, I would have believed you. But Shelly here, I, I just don't think she's got the heart in her to do something like that. Yeah, sure. Keep thinking that. Now, how do you price your menus? I, I, I oh, again, the burgers fluctuate from about thirty to eighty dollars, depending on what. Well, the weather. All right, no problem. Yo, where the fuck are my fries, man? What the fuck does that mean? Well, to be honest with you, it's it's really complicated. Not really anyone knows how the stock market fluctuates. It's kind of a hard thing to follow. So, I wish I could give you a more definitive answer, Mr. Uh, Lang, but I, I I really can't at this time. Yeah, plus, right, plus Mr. It, it, are you the owner here? currency exchange rates and stuff so there's a lot that goes into I, the pricing yeah it, there's a listen i'm not the owner but i am uh i i do run this place oh so do you want to come work for me a better position in salary well well that's that's the thing you know i i'm i'm willing to come look at your place however i i highly doubt i will give away my position here at burger shot as i am a 20 grand a day hmm twenty thousand dollars a day Yes, sir. But I've developed a very, uh... <laughs> I've, I developed a very nice relationship with my people like Shelly. I could never betray people like Shelly here. Shelly's been nothing but good to me, and I've learned to love them like I love my burgers. Really? But she's going to work for me in a week. I... Oh, definitely not, because we're, we're passionate for Shelly, Shelly, to the burgers. We're talking here, all right. Respect I... your boss. Listen here, Mr. Lang. I, what if I told you I already make more than $20,000 a day? I meant $20,000 a day as bonus on top of your hundred grand a week. I, Sir, I, I, I've been working in the burger business for a long time. I just don't know if you're going to be making that much money selling burgers. <laughs> this place is a shithole compared to what I'm running. Would you mind if I came down to your place and checked it out? If you, uh, if you, if you feel so confident about it? No, not at all. When do you want to come by? Well, I can, uh, you know, I've got a lot of new employees here. I could come by in about half an hour if you wouldn't mind. Oh, don't worry. I'm also equally a very busy man with tons of employees and a lot of money I have to take care of. So here, take my car. Okay, let's go. Ahead. Let's, yeah, we'll exchange my information. My name's Lang. A I run the Rooster's Rest up in Vinewood. Come check it out when they're free. And we're hiring. All right, contacts. And you guys might want might want to rethink whether or not you want to work for me because in a week this place will be out of business. I promise you. I, well, uh, I, I, like I said, in thirty minutes I'll come uh, I'll come check out your place and I'll, I'll see what you're working with, Mister. How about Mr. you call Link? me first, sir? I'm very busy. All right, let me let me give you a text. Not right now. Call me when you're free, motherfucker. Oh, well, I thought you were wanting my number, so I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna I'll take text a number you. from poor people. No offense. i just call me when you're free. All right. Have a good day. Okay, Mr. Lang. Okay, have a good day, sir. What the fuck was that? I... I don't know. Did he just call me poor? What a, what a jerk. Well, Shelly, as you're gonna see, being manager here at Burger Shot is a very stressful job. You need to be able to handle situations like that, just how I did. Yeah, well, I, I tried to, you know, do the best I could. But, you know, that guy's been in here the, every day the past week ordering a cock meat sandwich and... We just, we've just been serving him a torpedo. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just uh, Agent burger. Nighthawk. Uh, yes, Mr. Whippaloo, sir. If you wouldn't mind stepping a little closer for me. Yes, of course. you can get another job somewhere. All right, Agent I'll Nighthawk, uh, you, you see that, you see that man over establishment. there named Mr. Lang? I see that, I see that individual, I'm yes. Well, in about half an hour, sir? uh, Mr. Lang wants me to come down to his establishment and, uh, check out oh, our competitor, as he says. The amount that you could pay Interesting. <laughs> what, what is his, what's our competition? What are they called? What's wrong with you? Uh... Cock roost or something? Cock roost. Okay, I think, I think it's called that. cock roosters. What was it again, Shelly? Uh, so, uh, something like that. Roosters, cocks. Yeah, I think it was like roosters, Sorry. cocks. We've got a security situation. Just give me one second. Go here. ahead. The hell's going on? Uh, uh, sir, would it be okay if I discipline the new uh, re recruit with the burger mask? Because uh, I feel a little disrespected that he went and put the mask on right away. Uh, well, and I, I'd like for him to earn the right to put the mask on. Well, Shelly, as manager, that is up to you to handle it how you see fit. You are the boss here when I'm not around. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Of course, Shelly. All right. I'll, I'll be sure to speak with him. Yeah, you, you go ahead and handle that. Oh, hey. All right. Now, Mr. Whippaloo, I think uh, probably best for security reasons that I accompany you to this meetup, you know, could be that they're planning a, a gangland assassination. 
Yeah, well, I was going to ask you the same thing, Kiki. If you wouldn't mind accompanying me in about, uh, I'd say about 25 minutes or so, I was going to give him a call and meet up with him just to check Absolutely. it out. Absolutely. Would you be able to accompany me outside for just a minute? I just, you know, I think I think it would be best when you approach this, uh, this business meeting for you to uh, be in a car that suits your stately position. If you would just come with me for just a minute. Sure thing, Kiki. You just want to get in the other side there, Mr. The hell? Go ahead and unlock it, Kiki. All right, so what's going on? Hold on. There you go, Mr. Whippolo. Those are the keys, okay? Oh, I think my. this is uh, this is a bit more befitting your station, so uh, when it comes time for the meeting... Uh, I think it'd be best if you take this. What do you think? Well, well, how did you get your hands on this vehicle, Kiki? Mr. Whippaloo, listen, okay? I'm here to provide for your needs. I'm not here to burden you with unnecessary uh, issues or logistics. All you need to know is that this car is absolutely the property of uh, Burger Shot Enterprises, and uh, you can consider it your work vehicle. Understood, Kiki. All right, I will go ahead. We will take this car over Abs to uh, Cockroo Sandwich Place. Absolutely, Mr. Whippaloo. Now I'll get back in there before things devolve into another security right. nightmare. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna take a I, cigarette break. Just a, just, just a quick question for you, Mr. Whippaloo. I, th I thought of sort of a catchphrase. You know, we've got the catchphrase uh -huh. for Burger Shot. I thought maybe we could have a little a little catchphrase for the different menu items. What do you think about this for the money shot? Uh, you know, if someone asks for a money shot, you can say, come on, girl, give it all you got. Open up that throat. Here comes the money shot. Ooh, man. Yeah. I might have to give you a second job when it comes to uh, advertising there, Kiki. It's got a little pizzazz. Anyways, uh, you let me know when you're ready to depart for this rooster cock. Show me your cock, cock shot, whatever it is. And uh, we'll proceed over there in a secure and uh, orderly fashion, okay? All right, I'll let you know, Kiki. I need to I need to have a cigarette. Have a I smoke, gotta, Mr. Whippaloo. I got a fucking pee or poop. Be right back. Get rid of that. Ugh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did anyone talk to me while I was AFK? No? Okay, good. Oh, hey. Hey, Mr. Whippaloo. Mr. Whipple. What's going on, fine sirs? Hey, Clave, I wanted to open a business proposition to you. Hey, uh, so, uh, we were thinking about it. By the way, thank you again for hiring me. It's it's a great honor. Well, uh, no problem. You seem like a hard-working employee. 
Uh, so uh, we were thinking about it. We were running the numbers, and uh, it would be beneficial if uh, we opened up that drive through window in the back. We were predicting like 40% gains. Yeah. You know, you're, you know, electricity might be up, but the amount of money we put in and get out of the burger shot, it will be worth your time, sir. Well, Clavon, you know, I appreciate you bringing this to me because you're not wrong. I would love if that drive through was up and running. In fact, I may even appoint you as head drive through man. If oh, that's, look uh, at that! Oh my, oh my god, this is Sir. powerful. Sir. I, again, I'm, I'm tired of the crime in this city. And you uh, you boys seem like you uh, you stand with me to, uh, you know, uphold anything against crime. Right here, Sam. Uh, exactly. Right here. Absolutely. So, you know what? We what? have been tempted to rob, steal, maybe murder. But it that's is. not us. We Good. live on the right side of the law. I agree. Oh. And here at Burger Shot, we are on the right side of the law. And you, you boys seem like you uphold those beliefs. Yeah, but right. with that being said, uh, unfortunately, uh, I've had, I've talked with maintenance about it. I've been told we cannot use the drive through at this time, but I want it up and running as soon as possible. Believe you me. And uh, when it gets up and running, I will make sure to appoint you fine gentlemen as the uh, chiefs of the drive through window. You are oh, a goddamn fantastic yeah, man. manager. Thank, Thank you, you, Thank you so yes. much, boss. Yeah, you you bring that you bring those uh, issues to me, and you know I, I see you guys recognize what I recognize, and that's uh, no crime and selling some honest burgers. It's fucking right. That's right. Beautiful. Beautiful. I uh, again, I appreciate y'all bringing this to me. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the status of the drive-through, um, but for now, you boys, uh, go ahead and get back to work. All right. Thank you, Perfect. Mr. Perfect. Perfect. I appreciate Thank you, right. sir. Thank Enjoy you. yourselves, fine oh, gentlemen. Fuck, excuse me, sorry. I had some of the babies. Honest burger, zero murder. I don't care. Oh my god. Hey, hey, they're criminals. Okay, they're criminals. You shouldn't use. You... God, you guys are fucking losers. No shit there, criminals. I need some cigarettes because I am stressed. I am the manager of fucking burger shot and I hate this job. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, excuse me, Lenny. Yeah, what's up? What, uh, what, what you got going on, buddy? Lenny was just gonna get some ingredients. Oh, well, that's that's lovely to hear that you're uh, back into work, Lenny. Yep. Anything else, boss? No, sir, Lenny. Keep up the great work. Okay. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Fuck. Nothing like a good smoke break. Hey, evening, Lenny. Hello. Tough, tough Lee day on the job? To... You could say that. You could say that. <laughs> Lenny yeah. just wants to say now, right? Lenny wants this. Lenny's going to squash this right now. When the, when the business does go down in flames, like, you know, the, not the building because we established that that can't happen. But yeah. Lenny's going to be still here for you, okay? Well, uh, it's, it, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear you're still sticking around, Lenny. Burger shot wouldn't be the same without you. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. Lenny's literally put his life on the line for this place. I, uh, uh, have you I spoke believe to Lenny's... Sheldon? Have you spoke to Sheldon at all or anyone like that? Or, or you know, the main people in this society? You know, in yeah, this... I just oh, I just got talking. done having a conversation hey, with Sheldon. Shelly. Hey, Sheldon. 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 Well, as you can see, Sheldon's not in the mood to talk. Yeah, no, he just, he, 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 I think he wants to have a conversation with you, but he saw that we were speaking. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, Sheldon got himself a promotion. I, I talked with Shelly. I talked yeah, with Yeah, no, he tried to give it to Lenny. He said he said he wanted Lenny to be the, the manager, not not him. But Lenny said that's not, you know, obviously that's not up to him. Well, you know but what? Sheldon's a nice guy, you know, just like Lenny, the, you, the main uh, people in this. After dealing with me haggling you down and 
talking down to you like I did and everything. Mainly it was just for looks for Tony. I don't want to get looked as a... I don't want to be a racist, Lenny. No, well, nobody's a racist in the establishment. If anyone's a racist, it's probably Tony. Well... He's racist against Burger Shot employees. Well, as much as I'd like to believe that, it's all a matter of what happens in court, Lenny. Well, so, he's got nothing to do in court. We've got police proof. Listen. This is what Lenny was trying to tell you. Lenny's got police proof that Tony tried to rob the establishment. Really? Yes. Well... He's, there's, a, there's a whole report based off it. Lenny well, was there as a witness. I, I, as much as I believe you, Lenny, what's done is done. Now. Yep, yep. yep. I, uh, I like to say you stuck around even after getting haggled down. I demoted you. I did that mainly for show for Tony. I wouldn't mind re-promoting you. Well, like Lenny said, Lenny's gonna. Lenny's always gonna be here for the business. So, Lenny's gonna go get some ingredients anyway. It's busy. All right. Um, there's no hard feelings, Mr. Whippleu. Uh, there is, but there isn't. If you know what Lenny means. I have no clue what you mean, Lenny. It, it means that Lenny's very angry at you, but Lenny is all, no, Len, no, not angry. Sorry, Lenny's just disappointed. Lenny's disappointed. But, you know, Lenny's, Lenny's just going to hold the line and eventually Tony and his little bunch of criminal friends yeah. will probably fuck up or shoot you or something. Um, I, well, you know... And then uh, Lenny will be there to save you and you'll, you'll be crying in Lenny's arms. Saying, I don't, oh, Lenny, I don't think you, anyone's going to shoot me when I've got this uniform on. I just, I feel it's so goddamn it's nice actually looks really clean nice. and spiffy that it would deflect it's, bullets. Look how tight it is. It's so nice. When, yeah. did, when, did, when did you get this uniform? Uh, it's funny you should ask. I, uh, I simply went and just gotten, got it picked up just a bit ago. Looks pretty good, doesn't oh, it? Oh, okay. No, it looks really good. Is that the, uh, is that the managerial uniform? This is definitely the manager uniform, sir. Oh, nice. Okay. You might want to get Sheldon and Shelly and Bitch to go and get the arm. They, yep. I, I think they should. The red version is definitely what they should be wearing. Oh, okay. So they're going to wear... Oh, okay. That makes it's sense. this, okay. but red. Let yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. All right, uh, well, Lenny's going to go to the gym and lose some weight for when, you know, the time comes where you do promote Lenny back after they betray you. And then yeah. Lenny can put that tight, that nice tight blue, no, tight red version of that. Anyway. It's uh, good to hear, Lenny. Goodbye. Okay, let's go talk with Kiki and Sheldon. Let's see what's going on. Hey, uh, Storm hey, Sheldon. In the 1800s. Oh, hey, Mr. Whippaloo. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Whippaloo? Hey, I just got done talking with Lenny. He said you had some uh, words you'd like to share with me. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm about to uh, share about uh, attorney work at Magda. I don't feel safe anymore. And it's put my family at risk, and I can't even clock in right now. Well, why do you not feel safe, Sheldon? Yesterday, he put a gun uh, to the back of my head, and it took out my thing. Did anyone else see this? Uh, yeah, everyone in the store saw it. And who's, who was everyone in the store? Uh, Shelly, uh, I think Ricardo was there, uh, Dino was standing right there, and then, uh, he's, uh, and then he shot him in the front of the store uh, with his uh, pointing a gun at him. So, Mr. You... Whippolo, I, I just want to point out that we can't, we can't exclude the possibility that all of those people were racist. That's true. You're not wrong. But, Sheldon, are you telling me you don't feel safe with Kiki around, Sheldon? No, no, I, I don't do enough to make uh, you feel Kiki. safe. My Be job honest. at neutralizing the threat yesterday was not enough for you, Mr. Sheldon. Oh, no, it was. Uh, Kiki and uh, Mr. Uh, uh, George Steele only was, uh, in my opinion, he gave a result. Uh, Mel kind of just uh, sits out there and yells at people, and then, and then everyone else kind of just runs around with hammers. Well, Kiki's running around with a crowbar. Yeah, that's right. Uh, she said that's just a back scratcher. Yeah, it scratches uh, everyone's back. It'll scratch yeah. your back, it'll scratch mine. Um, uh, yeah. it'll, it'll also, uh, what else could it do, Kiki? Can you be used to open a can of beans? And uh, in a pinch, it can also be used to satisfy a sexual urge that hasn't been scratched in a number of months. You just got to be real delicate. Uh, what's a sexual urge? Don't worry about that, okay? The point is here, what can we do as a corporation to make you feel safer? How can we make sure that you are feeling as safe as possible? I just want to make sure that uh, none of my family uh, gets robbed again. Well, uh, listen, Sheldon, if you, if you get robbed again, you can tell me the names of those people and all of them will be out of the job. Oh, okay. Uh, you're, sounds, you're the, you're the manager good. now. You weren't a manager last time you got robbed, so I don't know if I can really trust your words uh, from when that happened. But now, 
your oh, manager. Okay. So now, when you tell me you get robbed, I'm gonna believe you, Sheldon. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, right now, I'm gonna uh, make sure everyone's. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, you should get back to work, is what you should do, Sheldon. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't clock in. Ah, oh, hell. Yeah. Uh, Shelly couldn't clock it either, so I made sure I clocked out so she could clock it. It was and... it was unfortunate, Sheldon. I, I came in the store today, and there is literally no one. So I hired a bunch of people to work, and after I did that, all of my uh, originals came back. So uh, yeah. So here we are with, you know, two teams working burgers, and it's it's that's my fault as manager. You should take what I've done and, you know, don't do that. I, I do. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday you weren't really around, and it was okay. And I figured, you know, you'd be around today, but a lot of people. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Again, I, again, I, I'm suffering too, Sheldon. I, I don't well, get paid well, now. I don't get paid unless I'm clocked in, and I'm even I'm not clocked in right now. Yeah, well, Mr. Sheldon, let it be known that I've been getting paid seventy-five dollars a fucking day. A tank of gas is two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Uh, Mr. Wibblew, I wanted to uh, talk to you about uh, the pay slips too. The, the, okay, so the pay slips now, your receipts. Uh, I, I think I'm getting paid a little bit uh, too much uh, for the job I'm doing. You think so? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I really do. Well, you know, you can always give me that money and or you can pay my security. You're a manager now. You can distribute money where you see fit. Oh, yeah. I, oh, good. I, guess I, I can go to that. you about my pay slips now, Mr. Sheldon. I shall do that. Uh, yeah, if you uh, come to me, I'll make sure uh, you, get, you get paid. Okay, excellent. Oh yeah, uh, so random guy came to the store last night with a gun and told me that he wanted me to pay for his pay slip. I, I don't know his name or uh, what all that was about. I just want to give you a heads up. What the hell? And he said he had a uh, uh, 60 pay slips and he wanted me to pay for. It. And I said uh, I don't have the money or I, really, I can't do that. And he always shot me, so I gave him free well, food. Here's the deal, Sheldon. Pay slips can now be turned in. Our receipts are turned into the bank, and the bank will give us money. With that oh, being yeah. said. Uh, we could get robbed of our pay slips. However, if, if someone comes to you with pay slips uh, and tries to sell them, I mean, you should buy them for $30 a pop and then go sell them for 60 I guess that's a pretty good idea there. I uh, mean, I, I had some jackass this morning come into work who was a volunteer. He's like, oh, I've got 21 pay slips. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy them for 10 each. And he took the deal. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> had no good. idea. Just go turn them as idiots in this city, I'm telling you. Well, so, uh, also, uh, we had a lot of poop yesterday again. Uh, so I make sure today I will try to keep the poop uh, to a minimum. You mean you had a lot of poop? What does that mean? Uh, we had a homeless guy come in and poop, and I tried to get him out, and it was a it was a fiasco. Uh, Bell just kept carrying him to the road, and they kept coming back and pooping, and they just back and forth and, and back and forth. Well, that sounds like a really shitty situation. And oh then, my God, uh, Mr. Whipple, Mr. Pelvis uh, tried to pull a prank <laughs> on me and told me he's gonna start pooping in my in my company drink. So every time I, I get my cup, I gotta look for poop. Ah oh, hell. Sheldon, well, these are a lot of personal problems. Okay, it's not the company's responsibility to make sure there's not poop in your drink. That's your responsibility. Well, You're drinking uh, some of the poop. Whose fault is that? I look every time. Uh, so far, there's been no uh, media loafs in my drink. What did you What did you call them, Sheldon? Uh, media loaf. <laughs> A meaty loaf. Oh uh, yeah. The like media did not use that kind of language in front of customers. Okay. Do not refer to them as uh, yes, meaty loaves. Uh, no, I just say poo. Uh, I try to not say that for the customers either. What do you your help? Uh, a homeless guy, drunk, looking for liquor inside. Okay. Uh, I'll take care. We're wearing all green. Hey Kiki, isn't this the car you brought to me? Is this the company vehicle, Mr. Whippleo? Yeah. I'm gonna need you to exit vehicle. that vehicle. Uh, I said I I find on the street by yeah. uh You're fishing not, place. You did not find this on the street by the fishing place. You found it here, ma'am. No, that's lie. That's very lie. Me and Lenny just oh. made up. Uh, hold on. Me and Lenny just made friends again. What the hell's going on? Do you uh, want to buy two hundred dollars? Oh wait. Wait, you're you're actually not wrong. I, wow. wow. <laughs> That's There's actually a duplicate. Oh my god. Mr. Whippleo, I swear I had no idea. I thought we I, had the only model. It's I, nothing. It's, it's fine. It's, it's okay. I it's give right. you. You have two now. For $200 only, you keep it. Well, uh, for $200, that's way cheaper than the dealership, ma'am. How are you going to make a deal like that? Ah, uh, because it's like a rental. Like, you, if you don't want to crash the main one, you have this for all of the day for $200. 
Well, you know, we we charge $25 per parking spot. You know, it's gonna take up our parking spaces. I don't I don't know if I see the real value in this. I'll buy it from you for $25. How about uh, 175 or how about free burger every day for one week? Well, we sell burgers for $50 a pop, so I don't see that uh, as a good deal. Listen, I'll, I'll buy it for $50, final offer. How about you give me uh, one burger for two days in a row? $50, final offer. Okay, I'm very good at lock picking. Okay, give me money. What's your uh, PayPal number? Uh, it's 195. Ah, oh, hell, looks like I act I don't even have $50. I don't have $50 on me, it seems. Uh, you get from security, bitch. No, 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 no. Sorry. I think get I, it from security what? Huh? Uh, get it from security what? Nice ladies. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. That's more like it. Well, ma'am, I'll be honest. I was going to... I actually don't even care to own this vehicle considering I only have one. I was going to pay you $50 to fuck off. Okay, I'm going to wreck your store now. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm well, gonna have a fucking field day with you. I'm gonna stick my crowbar up your ass and work it like a puppet. Well, a well, Agent Nighthawk, this is for you. Sap, what's going on? What up, Oh Kiki? boy. Uh, I would like to file a complaint against oh, a colleague God. in the workspace. Oh, my sure. God. Who is it? What'd they do? It's Shelly. She's not making me feel comfortable in the, in, the, in the space environment that we have here in Burger Shot. Well, I, I, I can't wear my Burger Shot mask. Yeah, Shelly did uh, come to me with this issue and say they felt threatened with someone else wearing, uh, you know, her trademark mask. And I said, uh, as manager, she can uh, do with her employees as she sees fit. Okay, all right. So I, I'm, no, I'm not I'm trying to step on any toes or overstep any boundaries. I'm just trying to make an honest living. That's all it is. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I saw a second mask in there uh, in the store that you could wear. Oh, okay. Maybe you maybe come in with I'll... a different mask. That's a good compromise. Good idea. I'll be back. Thank all right. You. Busy day, huh? I still gotta go do that thing with Buddha. Mr. Rebelo! Oh! You're gonna be late for your appointment, sir. Oh, God, I was just... God, thank you for bashing in my backbone to remind me. Of course, I just wanted to make sure you weren't late. Would you like me to get the car for you, sir? <sighs> yes, ma'am. I think right. so. I'll be right back. Did I not add Lang? Did he text me? I did, didn't I? Why don't I see Lang? Am I blind as shit? I thought I, was, I didn't know it was in alphabetical order. Oh, there he is. All right, give me one second, Kiki. I'm going to give Lang a call. Of course. No rush, sir. I'm just gonna pop to the uh, convenience store and get some bandages because I was just struck by that insane woman in a Porsche. <laughs> uh, good evening, Mr. Lang. This is Kevin Whippaloo. I was just calling for our meeting today. All right, when do you want to have the meeting, sir? Well, uh, I was me, me and my bodyguard, we're gonna head down right now, actually, if you were free. Uh, give me about five minutes and I call you. Okay, you want us to be there in five minutes or leave in five minutes? I want you to leave in five. I want you to wait for my call to leave in five minutes, sir. Okay, I will. Uh, I will let Kiki know. All right. All right. See you soon. Oh, your number it doesn't save uh, numbers of poor people, so just call me in five minutes. Yeah, I, I would appreciate if you stop calling me poor. Well, I call as I see it, my friend. Well, I'm I'm absolutely not poor, sir. Okay, your uh, your sandals in the. Uh, you know I, would, I would sure. also appreciate if you don't talk about my sandals. Yeah, your cheap sandals. I get it. Poor motherfucker. Okay, yeah, yeah. God damn it. Uh, Mr. Barksdale, are uh, are you are you on your phone at work? I say Barksdale. Mr. Clavon. Oh, look at you two. You're twins. Yeah, I see you're on your phone at work here. Um, 
I also oh see you're God. not responding to your overall overseeing manager asking you to put it away. We're going to have a talk later about this, Mr. Uh, Clavon. Oh! No, no, no. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Sir, sir, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Miss would... Bitch told me to take a picture in front of the burger station to post on Twitter. Okay, all right. Well, that's I was, good. I would never be on my phone during business hours, so I, I'm not that type of person. I mean, again, if you need to take a, a break, maybe, uh, you know, have a cigarette. Maybe uh, instead of bringing out your phone. I, I'm i sorry. I apologize. This isn't going to be a warning, right? Please, I need this job. Please. No, no this isn't a warning. I, uh, you simply just started. I understand you're going to make mistakes early on. Just, uh, just wanted to let you know what I saw, and I wasn't okay with it, and you fixed it. Oh, oh, okay. All right. We're all good here, Clay. Right, right, awesome, awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I'm just confused. You know, everything. I don't know who to follow. Miss Bit told me to take a picture and post it on Twitter, and then hello? Mr. Hello? Manager, okay. Boss Man, saying, "Hello, I'm hello? doing something wrong." Shut up, yeah, bitch. We're talking. Doing? Yeah, bitch. Oh, you I'm need a, to shut I'm up. A, I'm a what? Oh, what are you doing? M Miss Bitch, I was supposed to put take making... a picture and put it on Twitter, oh, right? Doing, you're doing. You're doing taking picture photo burger. M Mr. Manager says selfie? I was I was I was trying to take a break on the job. Well, I well, can take no, the no, next you, customer right here on the right. Who you who you say you're doing this? Okay, who's bitch. saying you uh, taking break? I tell them I tell them you're not uh, taking break. All right, I don't know what oh. she said, so we're gonna ignore bitch for a second. Well, well, Mr. Well. Clavon, all I ask is that if you're gonna be taking a break, you go ahead and uh, pop See a cigarette. I understand. I understand. Well heard. Well heard. All right, Mr. Clavon. Is there a ghost here? Uh, okay, bitch, there are no ghosts here. Clavon was simply on his phone at work. Oh dear, maybe. And, uh, maybe. and I don't I don't mind that very much, oh dear, but I do I mind if he's uh, gonna to not go. respond to me while he's on his phone. Oh, actually, uh, now that you're here, Mr. Manager, uh, we are actually low on lettuce, cheese. Uh, could I oh, potentially dear, uh, neither, tap neither, into maybe. the uh, burger <laughs> shop <laughs> bank to uh, go get some goods? Uh, well, you know, you can go ahead and tap into your own bank account to get some goods. It's not very expensive. Uh, will I be compensated? Well, I you have to pay you, rent. You are getting $60 a receipt, Mr. Clavon. I think that's very, uh, well compensated. Oh, all right, all right. I'll just go ahead and spend my own paycheck, um, burger shop patties. Uh, there you go, Clavon. Uh, I might need help, uh, hauling I'll walk to boxes. the store with you, don't worry. All right, all right. Fuck. I could I... have the next customer here on the right. Oh, I'm scuffed. I need to jump. <laughs> call Lang. It's time. He said he would call me, so I'm waiting. I want to tell Kiki because I know Kiki's ready. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Are you uh, you having a hard time there, sir? Oh, I am perfectly fine. All right, this is uh, this is normal for you. Is this one of those new BMX tricks? Yes. You see, I'm running for mayor, so I'm just trying to practice for my campaign video. Okay, uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, practicing in a different parking lot, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't oh, mind that. I am so sorry. I, I support Burger Shot. I actually did a big party for you guys at the Playboy Mansion. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I yes. do remember that. Okay, okay. Yes. Well, I, I, um, I will go now, sir. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead and just stop, you know, scuffing up my here uh, parking lot, sir. Of course, of course. Vote for Party Hardy. All right, vote for Party Party. I go ahead and party the fuck off my parking lot. <laughs> Lang doesn't have my number? I fucking called him. He can figure it out. Tough shit. He said he would call me. I don't care. You can bet all you want. I'm not calling him.
Buonasera. Uh, good day, sir. What's going on? Uh, well, uh, I'm a bit disappointed, if you want me to be honest with you. Okay, what are you disappointed with, sir? How can I help you? Hey, how long is this going to take, Well, huh? my name is uh, Dr. Giovanni Palombo, and uh, I'm a health uh, hey, go data fuck scientist. Yourself. I just want to burn you, asshole. I've surveys, and I see that your health selection here... Uh, okay, yeah, I can take healthy. the next mess Who customer would mind coming right with here? me to follow me here? Yes, sir. You don't suck on this. Okay, sir, uh, have you met my, uh, my associate Bradley Kickass by chance? Uh, actually I have, and, and uh, him and I, uh, reached an agreement the other day. Uh, before anything, uh, let me share with you my credentials so you know who you're speaking to. Okay. Name's uh, Dr. Giovanni Palombo. All right, let me go ahead and check this out then. Show happening on the road right now on the road what the hell's going on on the road I hate to break it to everyone here. oh god guys I hate to break it give me a second my t witter is blowing up yes sir do your thing sir you guys coming I got business to attend to bog but you have a good one In a medical researcher. Okay, he's legit. Okay. All right, I see uh, you're pretty legit, sir. So what can I help you with? Look, uh, I'm not here uh, to judge uh, your business or what people eat. At the end of the day, people choose what they want. Uh, but what concerns me is, uh, you know, they don't have uh, more healthier options. I did see you have your uh, meat free, but unfortunately, it's uh, it doesn't feel like it's a meat free to me when I bite into it. Uh, why is that? That's because it's a. Uh... It's absolutely not meat-free, sir. What, what are you saying? It, it has some sort of meat? Absolutely. We do not sell any vegan food here at Burger Shot. Then why did the uh, uh, person with the uh, thing is in the face, uh, the uh, tape, uh, told me that was uh, meat-free? It was uh, lettuce uh, on lettuce. Well, that would possibly be because uh, they lied to you. Ay, mamma mia, that is no bueno, sir. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I need to, I've got to, listen, I've got a lot of employees coming in. Uh, everything's been going very quickly. I haven't kept most of my employees up to date. But I assure you, I will have a talk with each and every single one of them when it comes to the vegetarian meals. Look, uh, I just want to ask you one more thing, okay? Sure. I'm just uh, conducting a small study. Uh, first, uh, doing a survey on the people. I have four very simple questions. If you could fill them out for me. How many It'll questions? Be now or later. It's four questions. You can do them online. Okay. I uh, I would happily fill those out. Where do I fill them in? Here, I'm gonna send them to you. All right. Here you go. Uh, it's very simple, you know, for simple-minded people. Hopefully, with this, uh, we can uh, prevent uh, some uh, bad disease from uh, spreading in the city because people eat very unhealthy food. You know, uh, we just uh, want people to get uh, better selections out there. Uh, you know, we want them to continue eating a burger shot, but at least to know that there's other options. Uh, All right. Well, uh, if you wouldn't listen, if you wouldn't mind telling me what these other options are when they come to surface, uh, that would that would be a great help. Just so I, I know, I know this uh, one place uh, by some uh, uh, far east people called uh, Sushimoto. Sushimoto. Yes. Why, the, why uh, the hell would people be eating sushi in America? You know, uh, many people here have uh, taken on the, the fishing game. Yeah, I, I understand the, the whole fishing game, but why the hell would they eat the fish? What the hell is the point in that? It, the fish is healthy, they say. But uh, you know what's uh, so funny? That there's a lot of microplastics in the ocean and a lot of fish in the ocean. And still people eat these animals that eat that shit. Yeah, no, I, we listen. Why we we walk on land? We rule the land. Why are we eating things that live in the sea? That's not natural. You get the point there, sir. Uh, have you ever seen an octopus? Absolutely not, sir. You know, uh, the thing is so disgusting. I think it has even a uh, three or four hearts, and people eat that thing. Yeah, you see, that's, sir. You and I are on the same page. Okay, I that is not right. That is not natural. Not like Burger Shot, where we uh, we support burger and and land meat. You know what? Uh, 
After I speak, uh, what is uh, your position here uh, with the burger shot? Well, I am the uh, I am the current head manager here, sir. Well, you know, I think I'm speaking to the right person. So you know what? Uh, I'm gonna give you guys uh, another shot, and you know, because uh, at least uh, the important thing is that we're all uh, out of sync uh, with uh, what needs to be done with the health. You know. Yeah. Uh, I, you're definitely talking to the right person. If you wouldn't mind, give me your contact. I didn't need your number here. If you could read it out to me, because I'm an idiot. I, I I can't. I need I need it read to me like my mom used to do. No worries. Uh, six two eight four four seven seven five seven four. Now, and your name, your name was what? Giovanni Polombo, or you can call me Dr. Polombo. What is uh, your right. name, uh, sir? All right, my name is Kevin Whippleu, sir. Hey, now, nice uh, to meet you, Mr. Kevin Whippleu. Ke Kevin Whippleu, I'm, I'm going to send you a text, Giovanna. Uh, you're welcome to save my number. Now, as the head manager, I have a lot of business to attend to. I'm getting a call right now, if you wouldn't mind. No, go ahead. Have a nice day. Show. Uh, buonasera. Ciao, ciao. Arrivederci. All right, Lang, what's going on? Hey, I'm driving my Ferrari over to the establishment right now. You want to come? Uh, sure thing. Do you, uh, could you, do you have room for my assistant? Uh, I don't let poor people in my car, my friend. It'll only be me and, uh, my friend. <laughs> You see a rich and you don't even know a fucking Ferrari. He's a two-seater, you dumb Hello. fuck. Hello. No offense. Well, oh, oh, I thought you said four people. Well, you know. I said we I have my Ferrari. I'm driving to my establishment. Well, well, if you're so inclined to not be in a car with a quote-unquote poor person, I can take my own vehicle and follow you, sir. Ah, uh, well, you can just meet me here. You know where Vinylwood is, uh, right? That's where the rich people live and hang out. Oh, jeez. Uh, where, where is it at? Okay, so Vinewood. Okay. Yeah. Near the vault, the big vault where uh, we put our money. Uh, you probably never been there because you don't have that much money, but. Well, well, no, I'm I'm just working all the time at Burger Shot. Uh, see. You know, you, you know. You work us, a lot, us, so that clearly means you're poor. Anyways, okay. uh, you'll see a giant billboard that I pay a lot Jesus. of money for. Uh, it says the Roosters Rest, the big logo on it. The Roosters. Okay. All right. The cock's ass. I will be there soon. <laughs> Let me give Kiki a call. Oh god, this fucking old lady. Good evening, ma'am. Hey fat boy, you buy my car. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ma'am, I'm not gonna buy your car. However I have I have new car though. I, I I as much as I'd love to check out that car, have you seen my lovely assistant agent Nighthawk? I, I saw her last with you. Yes, yes, me, her we racing because we have the same car and we split and the police twenty police chase after her. Okay, so, so she's, she's with the police. She's running from police in the sports car. All right, thank you, ma'am. Okay. You buy my car now? No, thank I you. will not buy your car, ma'am. Oh, okay. God damn it. Boss man, what happens if somebody gives me drugs or uh, food? Well, you, we don't do crime here at Burger oh, Shot, Oh, let Sam. me call the police. Yeah, you absolutely tell them we do not do crime here. Give me a second, I'm on the phone. All right, I'm calling the police, don't worry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Absolutely arrested. God damn it. Boss man, I got somebody over here, um, 
willing to trade ingredients for food? I don't know how you guys do the, the process for it. Trade maybe, yeah. trade ingredients for food. Yeah, yeah. What what is what does that mean? He's got like ham. He got like hamburger patties, potatoes, patties, things like that. And he wants to trade that for food. We don't we don't yeah. Sab, we do not do that here. Okay. All right. See, we, we buy our own ingredients, fresh and whole, and we make it ourselves. Uh, yes, sir. Of course. I'll All get right. Done. I almost feel like I want to wait for Kiki. I definitely don't want to go on my own. Like, how long will it take Kiki to get out, though? God damn it. I'm going to call Lang and let him know. Person want to talk with me? Yeah, uh, Kevin, good question. Hey, yes, sir. What's going on? What the fuck is going Mr. on? Mr. So many cops. Well, you're uh, Mr. Floppy. Welcome to Burger Shot, home of the burger and not the murder, but a lot of fucking cops. Yeah, I feel like every time I'm here, I see like nothing but a fuck ton of cops. Yeah, it's uh, it's literally hell on earth here, Mr. Floppy. Uh, Gotta it, love it. It's uh, it's basically you're signing up to the army and risking your life every day just to simply feed the citizens of Los Santos. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's what it feels like. I feel like for probably the price it pays, which I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for any job. I feel like this is essentially the army. Yep, Mr. Flappy, did you get yourself a uniform? Uh, I did not yet. I have yet to speak to. I, I just spoke to Sheldon. He showed me around, um, and Sheldon's gonna help me with the the uh, the outfit very soon. Well, that's that's lovely to hear, Mr. Flappy. If you'll excuse me, I have to go bail out one of my employees. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, not a problem, Kevin. Yikes. Hey! Officer! Just who I wanted- What the hell was that? I, uh, officer, it's my bad. This car is like it's on ice skates, let me tell you. Uh, okay. Just the man I wanted to talk to. Uh, if you wouldn't, can I pull over me? and come out and talk? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, sure, you can come talk to me. All right, give me one moment. Let me, let me park over here. Go ahead. That's a bunch of- <laughs> Kinda. Well, uh, evening, officer. So, uh, you know, one of my associates, I hear, uh, might have gotten in trouble with the police. You know, uh, Kiki or Agent Nighthawk, by any chance? She's she got in trouble. Well, maybe. Why? You're, you well, work here, sir? Yes, sir. I, my name is Kevin Whippaloo. I'm the fine uh, head manager of this establishment here. Oh, you, you're you the one that sponsored the cuffs and everything, right? Exactly, yes. Oh, I, it's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Officer Dominic DeReddy. Well, uh, Don, Don Mech DeReddy? Dominic. Dominic. Just All call right. me. You can call me Dom. How's All right, Mr. That? Mr. That? All right, Mr. Dom. Uh, Just Dom. I, no, mister. I want, it's fine. Mr. Dom, I would like to talk to you about a future potential sponsorship uh, continuing. Oh, really? Yes, sir. I just, uh, I really need my my associate with me for a uh, right. business meeting, Miss uh, Kiki. I heard she was, uh, she had a situation with the police recently? Uh, possibly, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, you know, I need her now. If there's any possible way I could get her, uh... Right now? Yes. Okay, what kind of... kind of sponsorship? Uh, go for 419. Well, you know, I wanted the last sponsorship I did cost me about a thousand dollars, and I saw you putting in all these criminals in the you like to call them the Whippaloos, and it made my yep. heart warm, sir. But uh, well, you know, I'm glad I, I can warm your heart. I was thinking about a potential five thousand dollars sponsorship, and uh, if you threw in getting my associate back to me, uh, it would really it would really make that deal a lot more buttery. Huh? Uh, give me a quick second. Just sure thing, hang officer. On right there. <laughs> hmm. 
It's a donation. The cops are broke as fuck. I love that the cops don't have a budget. Or their budget is garbage. Uh... So what's going on, officer? <sighs> well, uh, I had some, uh, some news that, uh... I believe uh, some doctor has actually taken over the uh, main sponsorship role. Okay. Well, you know, what's the uh, what does that main sponsorship include? Hold on, they're talking about. Okay. Huh? I don't Just know. Just turn your radio down, it's Yeah, I'm turning that down. So uh, I don't know if you want to fill in your uh, fellow officers here <clears throat> as a situation. Well, it seems like... Yeah, why uh, don't you fill me in drug specialists, ready? Well, this has nothing to do with drugs, yeah, Angel. Yeah, damn. Okay, Plastic well, what, surgery what's it about, uh, what's Mr. Uh, Mr. Whippaloo here has uh, told us that um, he, uh, his uh, employee, Miss uh, Kiki Chanel, is uh, very much needed at a meeting, but uh, has unfortunately been arrested uh, currently, or being arrested. Look, I'm not... I can't tell McCormick to not do his job. That's if true. Chanel stole a vehicle, then I, I don't know what Captain to America. Well, I do it anyway. see, I, I just, I need, I need Kiki uh, as soon as possible. Maybe you can delay, uh, you know, her punishment if possible. Oh, no, you know what? Here's what we can do, okay? You're more than welcome to pay for her parole and we can get her time reduced down by quite a bit in exchange for a higher fine. Ooh, that's, okay. a, good, that's and, a good idea. And you know, this is just a donation. That's what this is. And of course. Uh, I also uh, mm, wanted to discuss. I wouldn't discuss... say it's a donation. Uh, just to, just yeah, you're correct you on that paying one. Her you're, fine. Yes, yeah. you're paying her fine for her. Is what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, I would love to pay her fine and maybe add a little on top of it, and we could. Uh, excuse well, me. Well, well, you, you don't. You don't need to add a little on top. Sir. Well, well, I wanted to talk about the potential sponsorships. You're just the man I wanted to see. It's funny that yeah, you're here. Yeah, I, I had. Uh, I had some ideas of brainstorming. Uh, well, we'll talk about that after this. You know, this little incident here. Okay, well, I would I would like to, you know, pay her fine to get her back uh, in my hands as soon as possible, if that's possible. Nine, right, just a forewarning, it's probably going to be in the five to eight thousand dollar range. All right, so let's let's talk about the sponsorship and let's ignore everything about Kiki Chanel from now on. All right, well, oh, look, fantastic. I, I, okay. Look, uh, you know, Toretti here on the way here. He, uh, you know, you might have been under the impression that you're the biggest sponsor i'm not gonna lie to you you know i'm not going to show you that disrespect i'll be honest that there is one sponsor who is paying us uh, quite a bit of money to have a, a room named after them in mission row but if you want to be our biggest sponsor i i do have a proposition for you mr whipple uh, you see that building right here yes sir that is a uh, that is the vespucci p but uh, how would you like it to be the kevin whipple police department Ooh. for uh, a set amount of time well, I would absolutely love that. However, I, I have a very strong preference in, uh, you know, the way you handle those handcuffs. I like that a lot. Putting them yeah. in the, putting them in the whippaloos. I'm a big fan. Uh, I thought yeah. about uh, renaming your gun. Uh, you know, shoot him with the, like the taser. Go ahead and hit him with the, with some lose, you know. Hit him with some lose. Okay, I'll find it. Yeah, hit him with the lose. What does that even mean? So. Yeah. Tasing? Nothing. Yes. What about oh. so nothing with the the burger keep, shot? Keep, keep, just keep. everything with the. the... Uh, he he's under the burger shot. Look, well, well, it's, I, it's I, burger I gotta go shot for this because I'm the right. uh, I'm the manager here. Right. Okay. Oh, that's can, fair enough. Can we call them the burger shots or something? I, the oh, loses. That's a good that idea, sir. That's a good idea. Hit him with a burger shot. Yeah, I yep. like that. So, you know, uh, the Burger Shot Foundation would happily pay for those types of advertising. When it comes to buildings being named after us, you know, right. I care more about the criminals hearing our name. Yeah, yeah. The cops, I feel, already know my name. You know, I, I deliver donuts there daily. Oh, you do? Absolutely, sir. Okay. Uh, you, you might want to talk with your superiors. Yep, I'm going uh, to definitely they... be doing that. 
where they distribute those donuts. I mean, yep. I'm a superior, and I haven't seen any donuts, sir. Well, I, I've been sending uh, our one of our best employees named Sasquatch so and uh, myself Sasquatch. and Bitch to send donuts bitch. there. Is that their legal names? Angel, have you seen a goddamn Sam Squatch? A Sam Squatch? I uh, must say, but I did get approached by a nice gentleman who offered me a donut. Oh. Yeah, was... That's bullshit. Did he look right, like a Sasquatch? Right, right. That's... I'm not no, he I looks like a very before, small, right. weasley man with stringy arms. Was that pubis? No, it wasn't pubis, actually. It was another man. Hmm. We've got a lot of men with stringy arms working here. Well, it right. is a fast food joint, so I'm not too surprised all the rejects end up here. It's, it's no disrespect. It's true. No, no disrespect. you're not wrong, ma'am. Well, you're doing a service for this, you know, this city by giving these guys jobs so they don't come out and shoot us in the face all the time. That's what I'm trying to do. Trying to, trying to have no crime the, uh, here. What do you think about the Kevin Whippaloo Police Department? What are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I was Go telling ahead. your fellow officers, I have a lot more. Uh, I, I appreciate you calling your tools after Whippaloo and Burger Shot a lot more. So, uh, your officer here had a great idea of calling the uh, the taser the Burger Shot. What do you think about that? That's, that sounds pretty good. I so, you want you want the Whippaloo cuffs, uh, the Burger Shot. Um, how about this, too? Uh, I, I could even throw in, you know, uh, you know, people come in, you know, just about to say, welcome to Mission Row. What if uh, after they say welcome to Mission Row, you know, they see uh, your slogan, uh, don't do murder, eat a burger, and then dab? I believe that. that's what we discussed. Uh, I, I, would, I would love uh, to see these officers hit him with a dab. Molten, can I speak yeah. to you over here for just one <laughs> second? How exactly do you dab? Well, it looks just like this, ma'am. Listen. Oh, okay. So let's, example, eating. let's just okay. say... Never. Hit him, hit him with the whippalizer, and you hit him with a taser, and then right there when you got him tased and you're handcuffing him, you're going to the whippaloo, sir, and then you dab. You All right, so, sir, I'm going to place these oh. whippaloo cuffs on you. Have fun in the whippalizer, like that. There you go. You that you that man was more, stupendous. More, 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 that was really stupendous. cool. Oh, I mean, I, I feel a little bit silly saying that. I'm not going to lie to you. Well, it's, it, it's going to slow down the crime. You think okay. so? Absolutely, ma'am. So... Don't 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 do murder. Eat a burger. Dab for everyone who walks into the mission row. You know when we introduce ourselves. We'll also throw it in at the end of traffic stops. So you know here's your warning or here's your citation. You know you're you're free to go once the lights are off. Uh, don't, don't do murder. Eat a burger. Dab. Hey, you're free this to go guy just abused me, bro. This guy right here. Sound? This cop. He just hit me with his baton for no reason. Bro. I did. I did do shit. This guy right here. This. This guy. Pat, come here. I just started smoking. Hey, Y'all want to handle that, officers? Yeah, yeah they'll yeah, handle, yeah, that. handle that. They'll handle that. Don't worry. That's not a. That's not representative of all police no, officers no. on the force. Please, uh, please excuse whatever the hell's going on there. Does he work for you, by the way? That the hey, that bald uh, man. McCormick, this is key. That, have, you're talking, can you just see where for me? That absolutely not, sir. Okay, fantastic. Okay, yeah, he's a liar. Yeah, I, I make sure not to hire criminals, or I do my absolute. Can, can you just see where the taxi oh, is good. on her phone if if it's hers? Well, uh, like I said, uh, I'm totally down for all these sponsorships. I like all of these ideas. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm willing yeah. to pay a, a hefty price for all of them as well. To hefty keep the, price. Of course, sir, to keep you cops running these streets, keeping them safe. I see you uh, are basically at my establishment more than my customers, it seems. So, you well, know, I feel I, guilty for that. I'll be honest. I've proposed uh, establishing the Burger Shot Task Force with the amount of times we've have to been down here. Mm, the BTF. The BTF. Yep, I'm yep, pretty BTF. Good. Yep. Yeah. You're, uh, you're, you're BTF? All right. Absolutely, so, uh, yeah, sir. Let, let's, let's iron oh. this out here, Toretti. So we, we got the Whippaloos. Uh, we got the Burger Shot. Got Don't Do uh, Murder, Eat a Burger Dab. Uh, when people walk into Mission Row by our uh, dispatchers and people running the front desk. And then at the end of all uh, traffic stops, uh, you know, once they get their citation, as we say, they're free to go. We'll also throw in the Don't Do murder eat a burger dab at the end of those as well yes sir all right i, I would i would throw in the burger shot is uh when you guys use your actual guns and uh you threaten them don't make me use the whippalizer for your taser oh okay. whippalizer for the taser burger shot and is the gun yeah you're like hey hey you're gonna make me use my whippalizer and then you miss um which is unfortunate you're like and he keeps running you're like Sir, I'm gonna have to get out my burger shot if you don't stop running. And then you, you know, pull out the gun I have and a shoot proposal. Him. What, what if we just call our guns the heart stopper? Ooh, that's a good. See, this is why you well, guys are cops. You're smart as hell. 
Look, he looks terrified. I don't know if we want to make it sound like we're, we're murderers, Malton, but I, well, I guess that sir, works. Sir, here you at know. Burger Shot, we do nothing but murder. Oh and I think God. everyone in this town knows it. Oh my. All right, so. Uh, You're talking about animals, right? Uh, no, it's in general. We don't murder anything. Oh, don't murder. Don't. Okay. All okay, right. I thought you said you. All right. It, you know, it's been uh, been a few days since we spoke. I mean, we we've been doing the whippaloos, but uh, you know, if we want to handle some of the, the the back end to get you paid in full, and then plus all this other stuff, I'm just gonna spitball a number here. I'll, I'll even give you two days just so we don't have to be down here bugging you every day for uh, I was throwing a number of five grand to cover the past and the future. That sounds like a solid deal, sir. I would happily oblige. All right, yeah, five grand, and then I don't have to bug you for another two days, and uh, we can right. go from there. Well, if you'll wait here, let me go get five grand out of the ATM, sir. All right, no worries. You don't want nothing me? Hey, sir! Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Hey, quit oh, no. loitering. Uh, yes, sir. What can I help you with? All right. Beautiful. I can't seem you to hear you. Uh, yes, you. Hello, sir. Hey, uh, I work for you, and uh. Hey, Doug. What's going on? I didn't rec recognize you without your vest. Yeah, I, I seem to have lost it uh, somewhere in the hospital. Last, I, I woke up and I had no shirt. Very odd. But uh, Jordan isn't here right now, so I'll be uh, filling in for security. Well, there's, uh, as you can see, there's plenty of cop cars and plenty plenty of uh, security to do. What's our first task, sir? Well, uh, first task is uh, lock, mate. Well, you know, I'll be, the cops are here, so they probably uh, did everything that's overall necessary. Look menacing in the parking lot. How do I look now? God damn it! Maybe, maybe cross your arms a little bit, like, like, like this. Like every person who walks in, maybe say something like uh, the slogan, and you know, scare them, be like, "Don't, don't, don't make me come after you," you know. Sounds good to me. Yeah, hey, have I ever told you? Fifteen years ago, I met a young lad in Kakarot. You remind me of him. Yeah. Well, you know what, Doug? That's that's stupendous. If you'll excuse me, I need to talk with the fine police across the street and give them five thousand dollars for our slogan. Five thousand dollars, sir. Why don't we just hire an attorney for less? Well, no. You see, I'm uh, I'm paying them for advertising. Give me a moment. I need to give this fine gentleman money. Please go ahead. Sorry, sir. My security needed to talk with me, but let me go ahead and give you those funds. What's your uh, oh, no, PayPal no number? Uh, so it's gonna be... 77. 77. And then, if you don't mind too much, uh, I know you called me the other day. Can you send me a text to make sure I have you in my phone correctly? Sure thing, sir. Alright, and uh, like I said, if you're wanting to expand uh, the current deal, feel free to reach out to me at any time if you want to discuss anything. But, uh, yeah, if there's something else, uh, you know, we'll talk about it again in two days. And what was your he name again, was sir? Really, Gonna be a uh, senior Max officer, Lance Mullen, with the LSPD. Im oh, I have you in here as important officer. Oh, I mean that works too. But yeah, if you want to shoot me a text, I'll, I'll make sure you're in there. And uh, now with uh, with that locked in, with the total amount you've given, uh, you you are basically our, our number one sponsor. You're goddamn right, Lance. All right. All right. Actually, you know, uh, I, I gotta go pick up my partner. I guess can I uh, get a you know burger for him and myself? I guess while we're of over there, I'll, I'll buy him lunch. Come on, come back, come on, come on back. <laughs> I feel so bad for fucking Lang, man. Lang's been waiting this whole time, but God damn it, Kiki, you dumb fuck. For a little bit. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ripalil. Good day, employees. What's up? All right, there you go. All right, here you go, sir. I right, appreciate mail? it. Like I said, uh, yeah, just right, shoot me a text when you get a chance. Fantastic and, uh, day for the, uh, a couple of days. And, and, uh, be sure to come back to Burger Shop. Of course, sir. And uh, as any, as always, come in whenever you feel like it. Of course, of course. I've been Why recommending in the world all of people go around telling people we sell dog here? 
Mm. Uh, Sheldon, who's going oh, around saying How you doing, ma'am? Yeah, next up. I don't know. Tesla just came out and said that he was told me so dark here by the blue. You that is absolutely like not true, sir. No, we are not going hard at this job. But people are spreading rumors right like that. Excuse well, oh, oh, Mr. Whippaloo, I just got a phone call. Mr. Lame Buddha. Yes, and I'm waiting he said, on my... He said today. that he's too... That you're too I'm poor for him amazing, to call you. you know, and that he wants you to meet him at the rooster place. Yeah, yeah Cock Palace. I'm going to be there yeah. soon. I'm waiting on Kiki to get back. I, I he won't answer my right. fucking calls. I don't know why he fucking just didn't call yeah, well, you. I guess because you're too poor, he said. Yeah, he won't so, stop know. calling me poor. Listen, I will be at Cock Palace in time, Tony. Also, where's right. your uniform? Well, I can't wear a uniform. This is all I got. All right, all right. I understand it. Uniform doesn't fit everyone. As long as you That's have right. a uniform, oh, this will uh, well, this will work, don't sir. Don't worry, I can help right, you with that. You. I can give you a little, you know, one-on-one -on -one massage earlier okay. with a Maybe happy ending if you Maybe want. Later. Perfect. Oh, very good, very good. Hello. Oh, Mr. Postman. Was, 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 you did was, no fine. Why did you find me? Where's Sheldon? That he was supposed to be. Uh, Alrighty. Well. God damn. Oh dear. What's there we go. Take Bradley? I could, but I, I already committed with Kiki. Oh, here comes Bradley right now. Uh, hello, Mr. Lang. Uh, hello, who is this? This is, this is Kevin Whippaloo. Listen, I, uh... Who's that? Kevin Whippaloo, I run Burger Shot. Oh, the fucking, the dumb motherfucker. Are you on your way yet or what? I'm waiting. I, I know you're waiting, and I, I called to apologize. I had a little slip up with the police, and uh, I should be there. It might take me a bit. It, it, it might take me a bit, unfortunately. Okay, how long is a bit, sir? Well, it depends on when uh, when Kiki gets here. Kiki had a little run-in, and it's, it's causing issues. Okay. What if I send one of my drivers to go pick you up? Well, yeah, I'm not, I, I can, listen, I'm going to talk with my other security, I'm going to talk with Bradley Kickass, but he's a rough one around the edges, if you wouldn't mind me bringing him. What the fuck, him. are you wasting my time on purpose? Huh? I, am, I am not wasting your time, Mr. Lang. I, I listen, I, as a fellow business owner yourself, you should know I'm very busy, and it, it's been rough here. Oh, I see the game you're playing. All right, well, if you're not here in five fucking minutes, you're going to have to reschedule. I'm very right. busy. I, well, God, I, I hate Not to do it to you, Mr. Lane. We might have to reschedule to, uh, I don't know, 20 listen, minutes from now. Listen, I'll, I'll send a driver over there, you know, nice Rolls Royce, you know, leather seats, you know, to pick you up. Uh, all right, listen, if Kiki's here by then, I will take Kiki, but I might have to bring Bradley Kickass. And it, it, Bradley Kickass is a rough one, I, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, you can't scare me with your fake threats, pussy. I'm not, I'm not scared of you. I'm not, I'm not doing threats. I'm saying I apologize for any stupid shit he might do. He's an idiot. Okay, what kind of stupid shit? Well, first of all, he likes to smoke cigars. And two, he's just fucking stupid. I work at Burger Shot. I don't get the best employees here, Mr. Ba Lang. Hmm. Okay, how long are you going to be? Well, uh, you can send a driver here. Act, you, you know what? Give me 10 minutes and I'll be there. 10 minutes. You fucking pulling my leg, motherfucker. I'm not pulling your leg, Mr. Lang. I'm, I'm just doing my best here, I swear. Okay, you got two minutes. Bye-bye. Well, it's not math. Math, Mr. Lang. <sighs> Mr. Kickass. Yeah, All right, we've got a, we got a situation. Mr. What's Lang that? works at a Cockmeat Palace or something. And uh, he wants me to go there to talk business. He uh, He's our competitor, apparently. Mm. I uh, I told Kiki that she could come with me. I needed security with me at the time. However, okay. Kiki has a run-in with the police, and I can't do anything to get her out. So in 10 minutes, we're going to leave here. Uh, if she's not here, I'm going to need you to accompany me. Copy that. And that's the... Uh, I, I don't know what they're going to say. I don't know what they're going to offer, but it's... Bradley, it's going to be a waste of time. Oh. I know. All right. I just wanted to inform you. I also warned him that uh, you're an idiot. Ah. So if uh, you do something oh, stupid, they've that's been forewarned. Cover. Yeah. You'll think I'm stupid, but really, I'm goddamn intelligent. Yeah. Really intelligent, Bradley. You'll underestimate me. That's exactly what you want to be. All right. You, you keep looking menacing at the uh, entrance here to Burger Shot. You're doing a great job. I'll be Very back good. in a bit, potentially. Fantastic. 
I need to get my car fixed. Who's playing Lang? Uh, Buddha. It's actually a really good friend of mine. All right. Now, I want to get this thing looking uh, good as hell. Taxi? No, I don't want to go there. Tuner shop. All right, I need to go there. going on here Jesus Christ Let me stop by the bank here. Pull out like a thousand dollars or something. This is Kevin Whippaloo. Hello, Chuck Kutte, future man speaking. Who, what? Uh, I said hello, Chuck Kutte, future man speaking. Is this uh, Kevin? What? <clears throat> I said this is Chuck Kutte speaking. Is this Kevin? Yes, this is Kevin. What can I help you with? Oh, great. Hey, um, actually, I was wondering if I could maybe schedule some sort of meeting here. Um, Comes my attention, you had some sort of misunderstanding and with your employee Lenny. I I wouldn't call it a misunderstanding, I would call it handled. Well, um actually I have a few things I would like to add maybe to that. Some um, a few things I heard yesterday and I don't know if it'd be things you'd like to hear, but um I'm down here at the burger shop right now and if I can meet with you at some point, that'd be great. Well, uh, I currently have a meeting in about, you know, five minutes from now. I'm going to have to attend to that first. And then okay, afterwards, okay. I could uh, could maybe set something up with you. Perfect. You know, I love that. Okay, well, you just let me know now. And uh, I'll be around. All right, Mr. Uh, Cookie Man. I'll, I'll talk to you later. That's right. Now, later on, Kevin. Oh, my God. Hey, what's going on, Dean? Mr. Dean. Hello, mate. How you doing? You all right? Having a good day? Uh, it's been a very busy day, Dean. Oh, I well, suppose of being a manager, I suppose, right? Yes, sir. You available in a minute, mate? Uh, I, I actually have a meeting with our uh, competitor coming up here, Dean, in about five minutes. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? We 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 have a I have a meeting with a competitor of ours in about five minutes. No, no, I can't I can't seem to understand you, mate. Okay, we we I have a meeting with our competitor. Let me let me let me, let me rephrase, mate. Are you busy? Yes. No, I still I still didn't get that. Oh, uh, I'm not busy, sir. I'm free whenever. Uh, I'm, I'm just fucking with you, mate. Oh, all right, God. all right. Wait, so who's our competitor? We got a competitor, have we? Well, yeah, I think it's called Cock Palace, Cock Meat Palace, Cock Sandwich, something around that with cock. Are you sure they sell food and not other, other services, mate? I, I don't know, sir. That's why I was going to go and scout it out. Oh, good stuff, mate. Doing, you know, that's good. That's good for the brand. That's good for the business. I like it. All right. Well, then I'll give you a call later then. Maybe you're not so busy, all right? Sounds like a deal, Dean. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you. 
my fucking phone rings before I do this, I swear to god. How much do I have right now, anyways? 550 dollars. Okay, I need a little more than that. $500 to fucking paint it. And then I needed some money to repair it. So let's take out another $500. God, fuck it. Oh, it's Agent Nighthawk. Okay, good. Agent Nighthawk! Just who I wanted to talk to. Mr. Whipple! Mr. Whipple! <laughs> yeah. What happened, Agent Nighthawk? They tried to take the company car! I chased them! <laughs> Oh, man. And then the cop, he took me with his handcuffs and he put the echoes on me. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, where, where are you now, Agent Nighthawk? Uh, I, I just got out of Mission Row PD. Now I'm on oh, the man. sidewalk. It is late at night. Well... Are you, uh, are you available for work now, Agent Nighthawk? <laughs> Did you ever think that you had a dream that you want, you wish you were gonna, you did it, you had you what you wanted, you wish you thought you were, you were gonna, you did it, you, you thought you, you want, you wish you were gonna, you thought you, you did it, you want, you were gonna do you so bad you could do anything? Can you repeat that? <gasps> I'm in a glass case of emotion! <laughs> oh, oh, God, there, there, listen, listen, Agent, listen. I'm I'm getting my care or my car, uh, you know, okay. burger shot colors, and yes. I'm gonna come pick you up, and we've got business to do. Can you? Can, are okay. you? Are you? A, <sighs> I'll compose myself. You, got, you gotta be a big <sighs> girl. That's right. Okay, you did your big job. Girls That's what you did. Don't cry. Okay, I'll be ready. You give me a call whenever you're ready, and I'm ready to assist I, you, sir. I, I, I am ready now, Kiki. Okay, we've got I'm ready now. With I'm Mr. Ready Lang. Now. Hell yes, I will be there by your side, and if he tries to pull anything, I will boof him. You understand? That's him what I like entirely. to hear. Okay, That's you give me a call as soon as you're ready. I'll be on standby, okay? Okie dokie, perfect. Okay, love you. Hearts and kisses. Where the fuck do I repair my car here? That ain't it. Is that not it? It's not open, so I have to take this car like this. Go to the one by the dealership. Oh my god. Yes, Agent Nighthawk. Miss, oh, Mr. Whippaloo, I just realized, are you are you familiar with where you can go to get your car painted? Uh, that's a, that's by the dealership, ma'am. Uh, that's exactly right, yes, it's right by the dealership, so I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure that you were aware that's changed since, uh, you know, the last county mandate, so I just wanted yeah. to make sure it's, yeah, it's right by, it's right by PDM, just up the street from it, and, uh, ask if, if there's anyone working there, and there's anyone named Jason, just ask him if he remembers the thing with the baby oil, and the ping pong balls, and the, and, uh, he'll probably give you a discount, okay? Baby oil, ping pong balls, and, yeah. Yep, Sounds exactly. Yep, the, the the ping pong balls, the baby oil, the and I'll probably give you a discount. Okay, just, just like that. All right, just like Good that. To hear. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll Fuck, cut out. <sighs> yes, this is oh. Kevin Whippaloo. Hello, you this uh, Mr. Bossman. What what do you need, bitch? Thank you for giving me promotion. I getting married now. What? 
With who? Yeah, we're getting married. Eugene proposed me. Why? We, we slept we slept together in a burger shop. Do you do first of all? I don't know why the hell Eugene would sleep with you. And second of all, why the hell is that happening in Burger Shot? Hello? You me on dinner. What? What? Did, why? It gave me heart attack meal. That? You listen. We we serve heart. Did you pay for it? Oh, he paid for it. Did he, did he pay for it or did he steal it? Uh, he paid for it. You want me, you want to be uh, my uh, maid of honor? You, do you know, do you, I, you want me to be the maid of honor? Bitch, do you know why we have syphilis? What syphilis again? Syphilis is what we have. Bitch, you might have just gave the we whole- selling? I just got, we, yes, we do sell the syphilis combo, bitch, but I, I was, I just got all of our syphilis treated, and you might have just re-injected all of us with syphilis. Oh, no, 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 wait, you think me sex with Eugene? You just said you slept with him. No, no, we take a nap. You, you think me, you dirty man. I'm not, naughty, naughty. I am not dirty and I am not naughty. You are the naughty bitch who's sleeping with everyone. I'm not sleeping with everyone. You just, just my husband. You, just, yeah, your husband, fucking syphilis Eugene, have an ass, bitch. You need to, you need to fucking put it back in your pants, okay? You need to get back to work. I'm a busy man, and yes, okay, I will be I your maid of you. honor. Okay, okay, I flipped a burger. How the hell do I do this? Where the hell do I go? Up the street? Okay. It's not there, is it? It's the green car? Ah, hell, okay. Well, this works. All right, how the hell does this fucking shit work? Okay, first of all, absolutely repair. Uh, respray, secondary color, matte. Wheel color. Oh my God. I don't even see the change. What? What do you mean installed? It's very bright, indeed. All right, fucking good enough. Let's 
It's my burger shot vehicle. <laughs> Clown car, it's ugly as fuck. I know. All right, let me call up Kiki. God damn, this took two years to do. Fuck. Agent Nighthawk's at the top. What am I doing? Wait. Ah, you son of a bitch! Oh, fuck, start your face! Get, Sir, in, the, the get oh, in the car, Kiki! Mr. Whippaloo! Get in the car! Yeah, that's right. Fuck Run you! Away. All right, Kiki, where yes. the hell is Cock Palace? Cock, Cock Palace? Yes, Lang Buddha works there at Cock Palace. I don't know what it, the actual name. Co well, that's, I mean, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, I, I'm not I'm not entirely sure where a Cock said, Palace is. He said in like Vinewood Hill, Hills or something. Oh, okay, let's head up to, uh, mm, hold on. Let me see if you can see this on the GPS. Okay, apparently I cannot change the GPS. Just head right, towards Vinewood Hills and I'll show you. Just head north. Uh, am I going north right now? No, you're going uh, east. All right, so I'll take a right here. No, that will be going south. So I take a left here. That's right, yep. Wait, that's oh, right careful, or careful, that's- Careful, 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 Beautifully done. Look at that. Look at that handling. Woo, mama. Wow, I see I'm not the only one in here who knows how to handle a stick shift. Uh, yep, I just got done paying the cops $5,000, so we should be good. Oh my God, what the fuck? You paid them $5,000? Well, you know, I'm uh, paying the police. Uh, yeah. Every time they handcuff someone, they're called the Whippaloos. Every time they use the taser, it's called the Whippalizer. Every oh. time they use their gun, they're firing burger shots. Wow, wow, this is... This is America. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go straight through here. Yep. There. Now we don't have those pesky cops on our back. Yeah. True. They they mentioned to me that they're incentivized to arrest more people to make more money. So, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. They've they, got they, they, some get a, they get a that's... cut every time. Exactly. Hang a Raj. Boom. Look at this. You're like a born natural. Now, I don't know if you noticed, I made my car uh, burger shot colors for more advertising. Yeah, that's that's great. You see, you gotta never miss an opportunity to engage with uh, with our with our target demographic, and that is people who like fast food, fast cars, fast food, fast women. Mm. Yep. What keep you going, just said. Uh, yep. Keep going straight up here. Now, there's a couple of places that I've I've got a couple of guesses. We'll see. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever makes you think Cock Palace is definitely it. Cock Palace. Well, you know. Uh, hang a Larry. Yeah, you're doing great. And then up here, uh, go straight through this intersection and then follow the road up to the right. Yes, so up bingo. Hither. Cock Palace. This might be uh, right in there to the... Oh! Damn it! In there to the right, that's where... Uh, that's where sometimes... Uh, that That's one of the... Play Hold on, let's just stay here, okay? I, I, I He keeps calling me poor and I just got this thing cleaned up to look good. Don't don't worry because the driver is all that really matters and you look fierce. Okay, now just Thank stay you, here. Kiki. Stay here. I'll be right back. Okay, so that one is definitely a property, but it's currently locked. So we're gonna have to try another spot. There's two okay. cock palaces side by side. So if you just wanna turn around here, I'll lead you to where we need to go. Uh, God, you're so uh, you're, God. Such a, you're such a pro with that accelerator. It's so smooth. Driving so, this thing is like skating oh, on ice. God, it's like a drunk house cat trying to steer a yacht. Okay, and then turn around, pull a Yui. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah, excellent. This way. Yeah, just keep going this way. Cock Palace, Cock Palace. Yeah, I don't know. He just called it, keeps calling it Cock Palace. Okay. Well, 
He can also ping you. I mean, that just seems like the convenient way to do things, but we'll try to show our 200 IQ galaxy brain he, before he, we do he that. He has been asking for about half an hour and I've been telling him five oh. minutes over and over. Uh, well, you know, you gotta, you gotta draw them in. You gotta draw them in. You gotta make them, you gotta be a scarce commodity, you know? Do you, so you're gonna, do you have Lang's number? I don't have his number, but I can probably acquire. Give me one second to put out a twat. Basically, we're going to be going straight up here until you reach Lost Lagunas Boulevard, and then you're going to want to hang a Larry. Well, well, here, Kiki, I have his number. If you'd like me to give it to you, you just give him a call. Do you want to do uh, that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, his one number when you're ready. Yeah, go for it. All right, it is 415-416-8469. I'm giving him a call now. All righty. Hang on, Larry. Mr. Lang. Hello, Mr. Lang. My name is Miss Kiki Chanel. I'm the uh, private investigator security services or PISS for short for Mr. Whippaloo. You could say that I'm Mr. Whippaloo's PISS and uh, we're currently looking for you pursuant to a meeting that you had scheduled for approximately one hour ago, wondering where we might be able to, uh, to meet up with you. Would, would you be, are you still down for a meeting? Okay. The big, okay, are you able to send a ping, Mr. Lang? Okay, will do, I'll text you in just a moment. Okay, good, we've got it all figured out, but uh, hang a Larry here, followed by a Raj at the next intersection. I'm gonna show you my cock. Ooh, yeah, yes, donuts, baby. I'm not, I'm not even meaning to do that. That's the problem. That's, that's all right. It's, you know, they, that's part of the marketing for these cars. Where, are you, where, where the fuck are you going? I, I don't, I don't Mr. know. Where Mr. am I going? Turn around, Mr. Ripple Turn around. Turn the fuck around. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. Yep. Yep. And then at the intersection. This is gonna be really cool. Watch this. Yep. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Left. 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 Yep. 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 Oh my God! Where? Oh Jesus! No, the other left, other left, other left. Yeah, yeah, straight back. Yeah, that just straight, 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 straight. Yeah, no, wrong, I'm, wrong again. Okay, try again. Oh, Mr. Mr. I don't know. There's a lot of circles we're doing. Ooh, is this the right way? <laughs> yeah, dang, Raj up here. Hey, Raj. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, turn around. <laughs> turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah. 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 Oh God. There we go. Okay. And keep your eyes to the right. Keep your eyes. So I thought he might. No. 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 Don't turn right. Don't turn right. Just keep your eyes to the right. I thought maybe he was just clucking. Ah. <laughs> turn, turn. Turn around. Mr. Ripple. I'm trying. Okay. Take a left. Yep, straight down here. I was already going left. Okay, you're fine. There you go. Now look at the right. See? I thought maybe he meant this cock palace. What is well, this place? Kids this is organic clothing. Kids organic oh. clothing? What the fuck do you mean? Kids says, organic oh, clothing? It says Kiki's. Wait, you have your own place? Yes, of course I do. That's what I thought you were referring to. Kiki's organic clothing. Uh, cock? When oh. you said cock palace, K-O-C? Why, why do you think we're going to find Lang here? I don't know. Maybe he wanted to operate at the clucking bell, which is literally 10 feet behind us, okay? Now, give me a second. Yes, and to answer your question, yes, cock is currently a small business, but I'm sure you're familiar with cock being a small business. Now, give me one second. I'm going to text Mr. Uh, All right. Lang. He's going to okay. give me a ping, and we're going to go straight to him. God damn it. That was stressful as hell. Why is it got to be so damn hard with you? I just alley-ooped. Kiki so hard on that one. Mr. Whippaloo, I make your life easily 70% easier, okay? You make you... it very hard. I make... How hard do I make it? Mm. That, not hard in what? that way. Okay, all right. Well, if you knew <laughs> how many bodies I had to bury to keep you safe, how many people begged for mercy, begged for their fucking lives, and I still sent them to the eternal sleep, how many people cried and said, oh, please, okay. 
I have kids at home. And I said, well, it's uh, the midnight train to the long farewell for you, motherfucker. You have no idea the things I've done for you. That, that, you have no idea. That, Up to my elbows and people's intestines. Do you know what it's like to feel a man's liver in your hand? That you know gets me, that, Kiki, gets me a little hard. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I got the ping. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Head straight north. North is left. North is left? Yep. Is this right? No, this is left. But is it right? No, it's left! I'm going left. Okay, good. Go straight. And then up here, you're gonna wanna hang another Raj. I left, 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 Larry, Larry, Larry. Raj as in- ah! <laughs> What the fuck? Blue. Kiki! What the fuck? What? I'm trying to take my car to look fucking good. Now look at it. Why? You know that you have this really handy second pedal underneath you, sir. That can be used for deceleration. As you can see, this car is like driving on ice. It is, it's it is. awful. It, okay, hang a Raj. Hang a Raj. Okay. I can't believe this car costs this much. It is so bad. I know it is bad. Keep going straight through, straight through. God, it's like, did you, what, are, the, are the tires fucking bald? Did, was it a they, dealership ah! it special to have them coated in butter before they pumped I, it out or what? I, I, I'm about to take it back and ask if they actually yeah. buttered my car. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. Keep going straight ahead. And then at your next major intersection where the lights are, you're going to hang a, a Larry. So Larry here. Yep, Larry here, bingo. It's rough. It's rough and tumble yeah, out here. That's it's okay. Keep going straight ahead. You see? Do you see the mask icon on your uh, GPS? I do see that mask icon yeah. on my GPS. It's, it's going to be at the uh, the turn off right before it. Oh God! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Please! We're just going to do it like oh, this. God. I have better handling this way. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh, hold on. Just give me one second. I'm getting a call from my daughter. Just give me one second. Go ahead. Hello? Hi, Mom. Uh, hi, Fran. I was just wondering if I could play with the chandelier. You were one. Sorry, you were wondering what? I was wondering if I could play with the chandelier. My $3,600 Louis Vuitton chandelier? No, you can't play with that, Fran. Okay, I'm just going to put it back, Fran. I'm going to put it back. I can't reach. Well, then just Fran. Fran, just put it back where you found it, okay? Okay, I'm, put, I'm putting it back. It's just not. <laughs> Gotta go. God, Milton's so good. Oh, uh, gee. Was that your All kid? All right. Yeah, that. I, no, that was, a, that was the wrong number. That was oh. the wrong number. Okay. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, Here we are. Um, It should be right around here, Mr. Whippaloo. All right. Now it's important that we remain strong and assertive as the uh, the the best fast food joint there is. Wait, sorry, but you, you started talking very quietly we, there. What we, was that? We need to make sure they know that we are strong, assertive, and the best fast food joint in the business. Professional. They don't stand a chance next to us. A what? They don't stand a chance. They don't. They don't. They don't stand <laughs> a. They don't stand a, a hope. Hey, they don't stand a hope against us. <laughs> there we go. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, this is this isn't the actual establishment. This is the comedy club, okay? It's over here. Oh, okay. Minus one? How's that minus one? I just didn't hear it. Right up here. Yeah, it should be, Mr. Lang. We're uh, we're at we're at your your first ping, sort of uh, just to the. Hello, Mr. Lang. Can you hear me? 
Well, we we're just we're just uh, east of the comedy club. We're currently looking for you. I did get the ping. The ping was sort of east of the the comedy club. We're at the the big red the big red train car. Can you send me another ping? God damn it. Do you see a, a billboard that says the rooster's rest? I see one that says uh, laser force, uh, shark. Uh, I see. The no, I'm I not see, fucking with you. I, I see park here. Send me send me another ping. I, I, I swear to God, I went to your first ping. Do it right now. Well, I'm staying on the line with you. I'm staying on the line with you. Oh, damn it. Okay, ping me and then I'll call you back. We still can't find you. Jesus, I, Mr. Whippaloo, it's this, the GPS services more. these days. They just don't make any fucking sense. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm just trying to have this damn meeting. It's been hours. I know, I know, I know, I know, Mr. Whippaloo. Don't you worry, okay? We're getting to the bottom of it here. Are we getting back on, in the Mr. car? Come on. Come on, Mr. Lang. Ping me. Ping me, Mr. Lang. Do it. Do it, ping me. Oh, God, ping me. Come on. All right, you figure this out. I need a smoke break. Uh, take a smoke. All right, bring it back. I'm going to get a drink. What is Kiki doing over there? Oh God! Jesus Christ! Kiki is in Africa. Do I have to run all the way fucking over there? I'm gonna go grab my car for this one. It's in. Okay, I found him, Mr. Whippaloo. We you were got close. It. Straight ahead. Oh, God damn it. Jesus Christ. Okay, you see it? You see it up there? You see the billboard that says the rooster's rest on the left hand side? It's got a yellow car parked oh, down beneath it. Hell. That's the fucking one. I'm getting a call from Shelly. God damn it. That's fine. Fuck Shelly. All right, fuck Shelly then. Here, there. So right there to the left. Yep. Pull a cool. Yui. Yep. Yep. Fuck yep, you yep. out of my way. That's right. Get the fuck out of here. And then it's right here on the right. Bingo. See them up there? Shelly, you're the best, oh but God. I'm busy right now. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All right, here we are. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Wow. Nice little. Uh, Welcome to the Rooster's Rest. How, tuxedos. How Thank you. We've got a we've got a meeting with Mr. 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 Lang. Yes. Oh, of course, welcome, you, welcome you do to have. Our yes, welcome to our cock block. The, I, I see you. I told you it was the cock palace, Kiki. Yeah, the you told cock. me it was the cock palace. You know, cock block, co cock palace. It all works, I guess. It all works out. Yeah. 
Well, uh, where's Mr. Lang? We had a we have a business meeting with him. You know he is uh he's currently dressing in his Sunday best just to look all nice and good for you, Mr. What was your name, Mr. Whippaloo? My name is Mr. Whippaloo. Mr. Nice Whippaloo, don't forget Wh it again. Whippaloo. Wh Wh no, it's just Mr. Whippaloo. There's no Whippaloo. Whippaloo. You know? Yeah, it's just Mr. Why are you saying it weird? It's just Mr. Whippaloo. Why are you saying it weird? <laughs> exactly. No, I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just using. You insulting my name? I'm not. Are you starting off this meeting by insulting his name? Never, never. I'll yeah. have you know that the Quipaloos is a very proud family, all right? Is it? Over 16 serving members in both world wars. Wow. Mostly, really mostly, in, mostly in postal offices and as dental assistants, but God damn it, it was heroic work. And all of those wars happened right at Burgershot. That's Burgershot. right. Wait, at Burgershot? Indeed, oh we've God. held many wars there at Burgershot. We're very proud of all of it. All within the span of a week? Yep. That's right. That's a lot of war. It conflict. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of war, okay? Battle hardened. And that's just, we bring that same sort of determination to this, okay? We bring that same determination right. to Burger Shot, where if you mm -hmm. step in our AO, we will irradiate your ass like kryptonite. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. So you two are the uh, employees here, or one of? I am the head manager here, sir. I get paid a lot of money. Lots yes, of money. Is, lots of money, at least 75K. 70, week. 75K per week. Correct, correct. Huh. He's a very generous and kind man, that Lang Buddha. Yo. You doing okay? Are you doing okay there? He's he's just so happy that he's he's crying tears of joy. Is it again is it within the your dress code that you're allowed to look like a really really emotional evanescence night? Currently reworking yeah. the guidelines, and the, you know. You, you make so much money, you'd think you'd be able to, you know, buy some really, uh, really nice makeup from the Sephora. Yeah, you know, I might just have to look at the catalog for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, I'm, I'm excited because uh, I want to, I want to see how y'all run things at your business of here course, at the Cox Nest. Of course. Yes, that's at the right. Cox Nest. Yep, yep. I am super excited to have both you and Kiki. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Would it be possible for me to case the area before we go in? It's just a security concern. Oh, just Gotta like make sure a, there aren't any booby traps or, yeah, perimeter, perimeter sweep. Of course, of course. Please be my guest. You have, you have at it. So you guys, uh, you like working here? Yes. I love it. How many, uh, how many customers would you say you get a day? So many, it's hard to count. It is hard to keep count. Well, you, uh, is that because you can't count or because it's so many? I, uh, me, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very smart, so I can't count. Really. Yeah, I know all about hiring people without college education. I run a burger joint. Right, right. You know, I used to work at a bar, so, you know, this is this works for me. So I know how to serve drinks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, $75,000 a week, huh? $75,000 oh, a week. Yep. Man, that's that's a lot of money. That is, that is a lot, a lot of money. A lot of know, money. Yeah, ready to buy my house. I'm sure, you know, no. yes, I'm sure, you know, if you being the owner of Riverside, you, you get a lot more money than that. You know, mine's just sort of yeah. child's play. Yeah, I make a lot more money than, you know, it's, it's manager. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're both looking to try and get promoted here and there. Yep, yeah. you're looking for that well, well, well ma'am, you're, you're a head manager, correct? I am the head manager. Correct. Well, you and I are uh, both the same position in that case. I'm actually not the oh. full-on owner of Burger Shot. Oh, so you're the head manager then? Yes, I am, indeed. Perfect, perfect. You know, uh, it would be really weird if some, uh, someone else came in and took your job. I don't know how you'd feel about that. I would feel absolutely horrible. Rooster's rest is my life. What you... does that say about Luke, honey? What, what, excuse me? Nothing, nothing. Sorry, just uh, just a word for my for my manager there. Nothing to worry about. Uh, yeah. I mean, you might end up crying like your friend here. No, I don't think so. It is a style choice. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Whipple, I believe your car was just involved in a collision. Yes. What? Who the hell hit my car? No, no. What the? Hi. Why? Well, Ah, hello that, there. That's how you want to start the meeting, Mr. Lang? I didn't hit your car. No, I didn't drive didn't. that taxi. I walked over here from my uh, yeah, the parking he, lot from the yes. employee only. Who the hell mm -hmm. hit my car? 
I'll write it up later, oh, Mr. Whippaloo. Don't worry about it for now. Okay, we'll thank get you, insurance to worry about it. What was y'all's names again? Uh, my name is Petunia. Uh, I'm Dewey. Petunia and Dewey? All right, well, I'm going to go fucking Dewey my way on in here. Right, yep. nice one. Welcome. All right, Mr. Mr. Lang. Yes, this Mr. is uh, oh my goodness! Wow! Welcome to the rooster's rest. Jesus! All right, it's actually quite. It's uh, it's it's just all right in here. It's pretty good. A little damp. Yeah, a little damp. Sorry, it's the wood boards. We have no air conditioning. Uh, so w where you want to have this meeting, Mr. Lang? Well, just go over there. Uh, grab a table there on the left side. I'll make us a couple of ramen bowls that we can talk. All right. Uh, what, just a quick thought. This place definitely flammable. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they say uh, right over hither. Yeah, you can sit right over here. Take a seat. All right. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. It's pretty uh, pretty wooden. Lots yeah, I mean, of, we're rich, so we can afford a lot of wood, you know? Yeah, any uh, any splinter issues? Of course not, sir. No, nah, this is all fucking varnished. I don't know what varnished means. What is it? Don't is worry about it. What is, it's, uh, Kiki, what is varnish? It's got a nice mean? Italian varnish I think, uh, on it. I think varnish is when they perform a certain ritual over it to make it imbued by the forest spirits. You think these people work in the spirits? I mean, have you seen the fucking place? It looks like we're in a 15th century Buddhist temple. They definitely cast some sort of spell in here. I, I, I'm not going to say that they didn't. We should work on casting some flame spells. Maybe we could learn I, some spells I, somewhere. I, I can look into that for you. I can look into right, some thank sort you, of Kiki. You so, so uh, what's your name, kind sir? Are oh, you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, you. I'm, I'm Umberto Donato Pecorino. You could call me Don for short. Okay, Don. That's a, that's a nice necklace you got there. You, you work here? Yeah, I do. It's What's... also fucking real. Don't worry about it. Is it typical? Uh, is it typical dress format to have your pants hiked up to your nipples? Sometimes, you know, okay. this is what I like to do. Fair enough. I get the freedom. I get the freedom of wearing whatever the fuck I want because I make so much fucking money working here. That's so it. much money. Speaking of Italians, uh, we recently have rehired uh, someone named Tony because we're not racist. We're not racist. You're not racist. Yeah, last yeah. time. Wait, are you the are you the burger shot guys? Last what? time I fucking went there. Yeah, come grab me your ramen. All right, here on the tray here. Come grab one. One each. One oh, each. Come on. Discriminated against. Uh, you were absolutely not discriminated against because we recently rehired Tony. Yeah, good. It's a good start. Yeah. Mr. Whippolo, I have your ramen here for you. Don, come grab a ramen, motherfucker. I'm oh, you, you got my ramen, Kiki? Yeah, it's right there. So I taste tested it for you. Too. It's probably not poison. Ah, oh, hell, they got ramen. I, You know, the thing about ramen and uh, all the... Uh, hang on. Excuse the, me, the, guys. Uh, you know, the thing about ramen... Come on, follow me. ...and, and uh, a strong belief I have is, uh, you hey, know... Kevin, speak up. We can't hear you. Come the on. Okay, the thing about ramen and all that is I don't know if fish food is natural. Uh, there's no fish in it. It's chicken, you fucking idiot. Okay, now our chicken on hey, land now. and or water. Well, yeah. I've never seen a sea chicken, have you? Uh, yes, I have indeed, actually. Okay, so what is it? You're not gonna eat the ramen? <laughs> uh, listen, <laughs> as, as respect to you, sir, I will eat this ramen. However, I do have a strong belief that eating food from the water is not natural, for we are land animals. In America, we should be eating burgers from land animals. Goddamn right, sir. Oh, I see. This is your whole spiel here, right? Well, it's just, it's a, it's something that came across when I was talking with an officer of the law and, you know, they were in agreement that, you know, as Americans, we shouldn't be eating fish for it's not natural. Well, good thing we've got no fucking fish in our ramen. All right. Well, you have chickens and chickens from what I've seen, I've seen like, you know, birds swoop down. I've been fishing myself. They, uh, they swoop down and they grab the fish. They're, they are fish animals. They are, they are fish based animals. That much is, is indistinguishable. You know what? The crustaceans. Are, how stupid are you? No offense. Crustaceans are almost directly related to insects. So basically you're feeding people bug soup. Is that what you're saying? What are you if, fucking talking about? Well, how, how do you explain fucking sea cows then, huh? There's no such thing as a sea cow, sir. I'm not an idiot. That's a myth. That's an urban legend. Yeah, oh, we're not. Yeah, okay. I'm not my a fan own. of conspiracies, but I do see birds eat fish. Therefore, eating the birds means you're eating the fish. 
And I'm just not a fan of that. But like I said, out of respect for you, Mr. Lang, I'm going to go ahead and eat this ramen and I'll, I'll listen to your spiel. Thank you. Also, like I said, uh, we're just going to put you out of business in about a week and a half when we open up here. Okay. Uh-huh. And like so, serving bug soup. So, so, um, I, you know, I'm not, I don't feel very threatened by someone serving, uh, you know, fish food. Well, I we just, got the ramen, we got the mac and cheese, we got steak, we got salmon, we got fried chicken, we got chicken nuggets, we have, uh, buffalo chicken, we have double burger with cheese, we got double cock meat sandwich with cheese, we have a whole fucking menu here, sir. Well, you know, uh, we've got wine at Burger Shot. You know what they say, Mr. Wimbledon? Jack's right Wimbledon there Wimbledon fucking Wimbledon. behind you. Jack of all trades, master of none. I, I Listen, Mr. Lang, as much as I respect you calling me in here to let me know of your opening ceremony in about a week here, uh, I, I don't feel very threatened because I think oh, the no, American we're opening people... in 24 hours. You go out of business in a week. Okay. Well, I, I trust the American people will know that they should probably stick to eating American food, which, you know, we at Burger Shot tend to supply. You are serving some, I don't know, ramen. <laughs> I don't know where that's from. Italy or something. <laughs> oh, easy there, Mr. Whippaloo. <laughs> Sensitive hey, subject. Remember, you take it easy there. Dial it back. Oh. We are oh, not there. racist no, no, against no, no. Italians. You're from Fifth Remain there. Calm. Whoopsies. Right. We, we even have an Italian working at Burger Shot. So, yeah, just oh, wonderful. Just because Italian hire doesn't change the outlook that the owner has, you know? No, no it, it absolutely true. does. It's like fucking Chick-fil-A saying they hired a gay guy. Well, we also have a, a gay person working at our uh, fine establishment so we're also not homophobic we are we are uh very what's the diverse word diverse and inclusive diverse Three. and inclusive that's great to hear now so you out of business motherfucker so okay. so is it is that why we were called in was we just you just wanted to threaten us and call us poor and and tell us you sell fish food well like i said we have a whole menu we have a whole bar look look behind me motherfucker you see that shit I do see that. It, it, we listen. have alcohol for days. Huh? And well, we got fucking karaoke, too. One, one karaoke, of entertainers, oh, okay? Yeah, Everybody's going to come here is going to get paid more than joint. you pay, a motherfucker. Well, actually, one of our uh, used-to-be managers recently demoted, recently made a song, uh, the Lenny song. Lenny! Have you heard it? Recently going to be my employee, Ball yes. Deep. Yeah, it's yes, pretty we've good. interviewed him. He's going to work here. Oh. Poaching. Poaching employees. So, That's so your business yes. model? So we're poaching, aren't we? Yes, we it's, are. It's going to be like that. Well, I'm going to tell you now that Lenny said he's always going to be loyal to Burger Shot, even though it's going to get burnt down from the inside with our current employees. But Kiki and I, we established that Burger Shot is definitely not flammable. So therefore, yeah. that cannot happen. I look around here. This looks very flammable, Mr. Lang. Oh, you threatening me, motherfucker? Come no. try to burn my shit down, bitch. Come I'm just, try. I'm just saying that it could be burnt from the inside, uh, and Burger Shot cannot because it's not flammable. Oh, really? Listen, we got nice Italian varnish on these fucking things. It's not flammable either. All right. Well, well, what, Kiki? We gotta find out what the fuck varnish means. Yeah, I, I'm. It's I'm when you coat a wood with very expensive paint, so you can't. You get come on your floor. Damaged. Of course, I come on my floor. So what? Okay, so we need to. All right, so you protect your wood with your cum. No, with varnish. Yeah, you varnish your wood with your cum. Yeah, believe me. Yes, my boyfriend kind of varnishes like me all the time. All right, well, we might need to talk with your boyfriend, Kiki. Listen, right. you, you, you come to me with these threats, okay? You tell me you're going to sell fish food. You tell me you're going to put us out of business. You're poaching our employees. I don't feel threatened, Mr. Lang. I see a flammable building that has a thin layer of cum protection. Varnished, if you will. Is that a threat, motherfucker? It, I'm, I'm done. I'm not threatening. I have the police. Do you have an evacuation plan? What happens if there were a fire? Do you have an evacuation plan, or all yeah, of your of customers going to run around? Fire. I don't think right. Burger Shot is invisible to bullets, is it now? Huh? I listen. It's it, first of all, they're called uh, they're called Burger Shots. As I, I just got done making a deal with the police to call bullets Burger Shots from now on. That's right. So viral yeah. marketing. So we're already in the marketing business with the police. Uh, the handcuffs are referred to as Make a meeting with the police after this. Oh, you oh, have a meeting with the police, huh? I think you. Continue. I guarantee. Yeah. Listen, if you're going to try and out sponsor us, you will not win this war, sir. 
Oh, I will win this war, mother. No, you will not. We're gonna fucking be bigger than we are, huh? We we've got the whippaloos, we've got the burger shots, we've got the whippalizers, we've got the 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 rights. When you re you have the right to remain whippaloo, anything said and will be held against your whippaloo. You have the right to a whippaloo that can be used in the court of whippaloo. We have all of that, dab. Dab. You want to mm. fucking remind people of your stupid fucking burgers in the worst moment of their life while they're getting arrested? What are you out of your well, fucking first mind? Of all, That's that bad burger, business sense. That burger is the best moment of their life. They see hope at the end of the tunnel. When they get out of jail and they don't know where to go, they don't know where to work, they're thinking a burger shot. Bingo. It'd be a shame if somebody were to it's die in the back of your kitchen, huh? That or maybe you get infested with fucking rats, huh? If I'm, if I'm being honest with you, that's happened nine times in the last 48 hours. We've yeah, dealt with a lot of bodies. Kill people. Burger shot shoots at the fucking employees, and now they're also they're also reminding them that while they're getting arrested, they're gonna remember the fucking burger. You False. have no proof of that. We don't even need False. to threaten these motherfuckers. They seem to be doing enough on their own. If you're gonna say that it's gonna get burnt down from the inside, uh, we've already established that it's not flammable, sir. Made out of concrete, can't be lit on fire. It would be a shame if somebody caught all these shenanigans on camera and exposed your shitty business, huh? Well, that would be a shame. However, we've already recently hired an Italian who said something like that, and now we're not racist. Yeah, we'll see about that, motherfucker. Well, yeah, what about the fucking, what about the theory that you're using human meat in your fucking burgers? Huh? Well, we are absolutely that? not using human meat, and if we were, uh, no one's complained about that yet. Yeah, and just so you know, due to a legal contract, where we have to tell you that our meat isn't 70% beef, but due to a legal loophole, we don't have to tell you what it is. And it's definitely not fish food. And it's definitely not fish food or humans. Well, <clears throat> I, think, uh, I think we've concluded our business here, Mr. Lang. Just remember my offer. I'll hire all you and your employees at a discounted rate. This is your final offer before your business gets uh, put well, out of business. <laughs> I will... I, I will disrespectfully decline. Disrespectfully? Okay, motherfucker, get the fuck out of my building then. All right, fair. No! Spare no, well. Oh, 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 oh. That's not. No! It's, it's, it's a tick. It's a nervous tick. Hey, no, sir, Bitch. sir, stop this. It's, it's a nervous tick, okay? Get the fuck out of here. Just you remember. Get the fuck out of here. Just what? remember. Just you remember. You're God. messing with the Please. tower of power. Too sweet to be what? sour. What? What? The cobra will strike. Go what ahead and go ahead and varnish your floorboards with that uh, second dose of spit, sirs. You have yourself a lovely day. Get the fuck out of my building. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's not flammable and it fucking protects from spit. Get yeah, out of yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Have a lovely fucking day. Yeah, put a fucking Italian curse on you. Yeah, just like Italian you fucking curse. cast a... I knew they were spellcasters, Kiki. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I, it was we knew fire it. magic. We, we caught it. Get, get out of here. Bastards! Those colors don't even fucking match. <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't, listen, can I just say, first of all, uh, well done. I think that went really well. I think so too. Uh, and I think they, uh, you know, I think they, they know what the deal is. You know, well, they, I, they understand. I, I'm not worried. I, I am worried about the spaghetti curse, but the yeah, fish that's food, fair. that's not threatening. You know, but the, the good news is that I'm pretty sure that if it's if it's some sort of fire-based Italian magic, we could use our our newly hired Italian employee to have like a counter curse. You know what I mean? Okay. We could ask like, the Italian to cast some, some Italian spells. Yes, exactly. Ask some sort of counter spell, okay. some counter curse cleanse, perhaps. All right. Let's go ahead and see if uh, Tony's on staff right now and yeah. ask him about these uh, Italian things that Italians tend to do. Yeah, Ooh, I think so. I need to stop for gas, Kiki. Yeah, that's okay. We can stop for gas. Uh, do you, have a gas do station. You... Do you have, do we have, oh, I can guide you to, I can guide you to one. Uh, it like, could actually be near the burger shot. Is that where you wanted to go next? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, uh, up here, hang, go straight ahead, like, you know, slight Larry, slight Raj. I'm just gonna update that there, GPS, while I'm in the yeah, middle sure. of this uh, area. Yeah, that sounds safe. Ah, hell. So, so we're, at, uh, we're at war now, we've got competition. That's okay, that's all right. This At this intersection coming up, uh, not this one, the next one, you're gonna hang a Larry. Yeah, Larry, 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 Larry. Yep. Yeah. It's a strong Larry. Okay, that's all right. Fuck the mail. Ah, okay. Hell. And uh, go straight through this intersection. And after this intersection, you're gonna hang a Raj at the next intersection. Okay. Yep, Any particular right reason why it's a Raj? It's just, it's just phonetic. It's just army talk. You know, it's just when your security forces just have to realize that you're a real gunfighter now. So here we are. 
All right, let me see if I can get this here done. All right, let me uh, fuel this up. Never done this before. Do you need any help with that, Mr. Whippaloo? Uh, if you wouldn't mind, how the hell do I do this? Yeah, of course. So what you're going to want to do is approach the back here near the fuel cap, and you're going to want to, uh, you know, you're going to want to look through your alt eyes. Uh, you know I, I, mean? I, I see yeah. it. I see it. All right, I need an ATM. ATM. How much? Oh, hold on now. What's the? How much is it going to cost you? One hundred. I'm missing one hundred and seventy dollars. Well, you know, despite that being two and a half days of wage for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover you on that. Give me one sec. Thank you very much, Kiki. Uh, much appreciated. Kind of weird. You're paying me to work for me. Yeah, you know, isn't that isn't that funny how that works out? That's okay though. Politics. I'm sure I'll get a Christmas bonus, right? Yeah, of course. What month is it? Uh, oh God, it's it'll be all blend together now. Uh, Jefeptikok October, Jefemberary, some somewhere in there. Okay, I think, Listen, I think December's coming up pretty soon. The important part is what we need to figure out is a retention plan. Okay, we need to find a way through either positive or negative reinforcement to make sure that our employees are not getting poached by this fucking cock rooster. Absolutely. Cock hole, whatever the fuck, Absolutely. the glory hole. So to... I don't know if we want to write it into their uh, into their contracts, perhaps. Oh, that's great. Ooh, I've got get it. them contractually got locked in. I've got it. We, there are tons of lawyers in the city. What if we got all of them to sign a contract with like 80 pages of legal jargon? But in there, it says that if any of them is, will have a non-compete a non-compete clause. They're not allowed to work for another restaurant for 30 calendar days after working for Burger Shot. And if they do, we're allowed to garnish 95% of their wages. Now, you started saying percentages to me and you lost me. But okay. I do agree with lawyers and locking them in. Yes, uh, let me see if I can simplify the rest of it. Duh! Quit bad! Mm! <laughs> work for Burger Shot, good! If quit, we take <laughs> money! Rawr! All right, now you, you tracking. I'm tracking you now. I like okay. that. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I think that's a. I think it's a strong, strong tactic. So I tell you what, we'll go back to Burger Shot and I'll start poking around for some lawyers. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start taking each of my employees and asking where their loyalty is. Yeah, I think that's. A, I think that's an excellent and uh, important precursor. I was not expecting that kind of aggression. I thought it was like a meet and greet and it That's turned was, into exactly. a literal hey, spitting match. You're down the road and we just wanted to share, you know, our feelings and let you know that we think you're great and we're, we're all gonna be great together. Nope. Nope, turn it up. Hey, motherfucker. And then they spat at us. They yeah. spat. Can you imagine they spat at us? Unbelievable. Can you imagine spitting at someone rude. in a business meeting? They oh my even, God. They even called us poor. Ow! Oh! Man, my vision just, I didn't see <laughs> that there. That's okay. That's all right. We're here now. Ah, oh, hell. Let me repark oh, this. Steel. Hello there, Mr. Steel. Hey, Kiki, what's up? Oh. Well, it's not, Another it's fast fruit. What? No, nah, it's nothing to worry about. It's nothing to worry about. If it's a security. Is that Sheldon? You're goddamn right it is. Oh, wait, what? I need to call Dean too. Fuck. Oh hell, what's going on back here? Hey, Kevo. Evening, uh, you oh, three. Hello, mate of honor. Uh, I'll let right. you in on this. It's Sheldon's birthday, and he hasn't told anybody. Well, that's oh, he... all right. Have, we, have we thought about a burger shot birthday song? Uh, yeah, I think we should maybe come up. With when something. you get a burger, we give you the shot, and. When you don't like that burger, we shoot you with that shot. Happy, happy birthday. You're a stupid bitch. Happy, happy birthday. Wait, I'm bitch. Exactly. But he's not okay, a so bitch. I'm happy, bitch. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, you get your burger shot. Uh, and when it is your birthday, uh, we give you the shot. Uh, and it's your happy, happy birthday. You are a bitch. Happy, happy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, could, that could work. Yeah, it's a good birthday I'm song. song. Happy, happy birthday! You're in the song, bitch. Wow, I'm yeah, so happy! Some, yeah, you made the song. All right, now I wanted to talk to you three. I've Very got you. happy. I'm glad I have you three here. So I just had a meeting with one of our competitors. It seems uh, mm -hmm. ran by Mr. Lang. 
Yes. Listen. Oh, no. I'm not too threatened by them. I, yeah. uh, they sell fish food there, and fish food isn't natural. Land, it smells. Land animals eat land meat, so we're not too That's threatened. Right. But I do want to know uh, where y'all's loyalties lie, because they uh, threaten to poach our members. Mm. What the poaching? We're here. What the uh, poaching? You mean? know I'm here, Bucko. Of course. Like, uh, here. I got a bit Burgers. of an My life's uh, a flipping burger. I only one. do eat burger, sleep burger, drink burger, become well, burger. As long as you don't, uh, you know, dream sushi and ramen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All American meals for me. Understand. Yeah, I'm American. So you might uh, end up getting poached. They're going to offer you some money. Uh, their pay, uh, from what they tell me, is much better, but they have no proof of it. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, Kevo, let me update you on something. That boy, uh, over there at the, uh, Cockass, his name is Lang, right? Uh, yes, sir. You know, Lang happens to be, uh, compatriots with Tony and his goons. Never met a Lang. Who Lang? Hmm. The Cockass guy. How Cock close? Ass? Well, real cock? fucking close. Well, during our negotiations with Mr. Lang, they threatened, uh, to call us racist, and I... I immediately Why defused racist? that situation because I said we have an Italian hired. And also, they cast a protective spell around their uh, building with the, uh, the, what? their, they have their own Italian. Magic! Spell? Yeah, they, they, they cast a spell. Are they role player? Well, they have an Italian who knows spells, and I threatened uh. them with our Italian, which is Tony. They do cosplay? Not cosplay. I think these oh. Italians are powerful. I made a cleric the other day. We could probably get him yeah. to He's come in and cast party. a spell. I'm the monk. Do they do cleric, they casting uh, rage? A barbarian, an archer. Um, are they Italian? A, uh, druid as well. I, I, I met I met a D and D group on the, at the apartment. They say okay. they casting rage and the casting a healing curing well, listen, wound. We might need to threaten this place with spells. Yes. Yes. They uh, right they they that. cast a, again a protective spell around their facility and I threatened them with our Italian. Uh, considering our Italian can also cast curses, etc. Yes, and yes, now you yes. tell me there's more powerful Italians? Yes. Powerful? Uh, well, I'm not sure they're Italian, but they definitely know magic. Yeah, Understood. definitely. Okay, we're oh, gonna... Oh, no magic. Well, as long as your like loyalties are here. Good. Of course. I'm and, sleeping uh, with a burger. We're gonna have burger to use... Very good. We're gonna have to use our Italians and or casters to uh, fight off these competitors, as long as right. we're on the same page. What are they selling again? Fish food. Fish food. Fish food and mac what and cheese. What kind of food? What of mac and cheese? Yeah, chicken. I, I don't, don't like. I don't like. I only like a meat. Good. I only yeah, like a meat. I beat mm -hmm. meat every single day. Eating anything they but a burger no is un-American. They have no meat. I don't beat it. Yeah, we, we got burgers. We got french fries. We got syphilis. We got a lot of stuff they don't oh, yeah. have, so I'm not You're threatened. Right. You're right. Now, about this Sheldon birthday. Yeah. Who wants to be the head singer here? Hmm. Oh, who? Maybe we have a Shelly? singing, a little sitting, singing you and, contest. You and yeah, Sheldon you seem pretty close. Yeah, we we, you we, we definitely. Sing? You want sing? You, you I sing have the a birthday bit song. Of practice. Um, <gasps> I want to see okay, you sing. I always I'm hope we can do it ear. as a group. I always hope we could all do yeah, it together. Yeah, we should definitely do it as a group. Okay. That's all right. Feeling. You want to, Shelly? You want to sing? I opening my ear for you. I always like I said, I think we should do it together. Like, All right, let's happy, go ahead. happy birthday. You need Good your idea. burger shot. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, uh, we'll give you a shot. Let's go ahead and take some notes here. Very right, let's good. This out. I like you voice. Oh, Very thanks. nice. Thanks, bitch. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nice. write this down. So, happy, happy birthday. I'm a sorry. I'm a not nice. I'm a sorry. But you got a very good singing. Very good. I right. like it. Very long time like. So, happy, happy birthday. Welcome to Burger Shot. Is that it? I don't know. Shall I don't we? remember what, anymore. What if it's like... You, I'm gonna go uh, like do you're, If you're feeling sick, we'll give you... Because, like, you know, if you're feeling sick, then we'll give you a shot. Or something like that. Like, what, but what would right. rhyme happy, with that, actually? Happy, happy birthday. If you're feeling sick. Very uh, nice. Happy, happy birthday. We will oh. give you a shot. No, no, no. Like, happy, happy birthday. Nice. Welcome to Burger Shot. If you're feeling sick, then we'll give you a shot. Oh, that works good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay, very good. Okay, I've got that written down. 
happy, happy birthday. Welcome to Burger Shot. If you're feeling sick, we will give you a shot. Okay, that's good. All right, what's next? We can dance to it. Yeah, that's good. I learned that this my husband right. will teach me dance. So, we'll give you a shot. Um, and also, we really like you. Uh, you're really good at cleaning up all of the poo in the floor. Uh, that's, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we really like you. You're really good at cleaning the poo in the floor. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. That, that, yeah, that's good. that rhymes. Right. Happy, good. happy birthday. Welcome to Burger Shot. If you're feeling sick, then we will give you a shot. We really like you. You are the best at cleaning up the poo poo at doing your very best. Very good. I like very much. Very good. Mmm. Okay, we serve him birthday cake. We do, we give him rim job. With extra sprinkle. Yeah, that's very good. I like that, yeah. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Welcome to Burger Ricardo, get over here. Oh, look at y'all having a little dance party we in the van. Yeah. Ricardo, for, get over here. We're we're keep keep, keep your voice down, party. Ricardo. We're, uh, we're writing a song for Sheldon right now. So, oh. So, all right, so let's... Let's Here we go, go over it one more time. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Welcome to Burger Shot. Welcome to if Burger you're feeling Shot. sick, then we will we'll give you a give shot. You a shot. Yeah. We really, yeah, we really, really like, like you. I saw you. someone are run the outside. Very best Who at that? cleaning up the poo poo. We think you're the best. Yeah, something like that. All right. Is that good yeah. enough? We all got it written down? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we really, really like you. Ricardo, you want to get that written down so you can sing it with us? Um, you I'll are just the best. It, I guess. Okay. All right, fair enough. A couple wingers on this one. All right, are we all ready to go do this for Sheldon? Perfect. Oh, yeah. Today? Yeah. Uh, what was the last yeah, right two lines again? We doing right now? All right, all right I'm going I'm to say it again. Okay. Happy, happy birthday. Welcome to Burger Shot. If you're feeling sick, then we will give you a oh, shot. Please. We really, really like you. You are the very best at cleaning up the poo-poo, uh, doing your very best. Okay. Best with best. Amazing. Oh, oh no! I'm oh, sorry. Oh, so sorry, Shelly. Oh, no. Yeah, she probably deserved it. As long as you've got that nice protective mask barrier around yeah, your face. Yeah, your really protects my face. Yeah, yeah sorry very, about that. Very... All oh, right. Dear. Don't ever speak about me beating my employees. Now, are we all ready? Let's okay, go. Okay, let's, all right, do, let's this. go do this. Um, Mr. Bossman, I don't remember anything. All right, sir. That's gonna be right here. Uh, no. All right. I'll try for you. How you doing, sir? Good evening, officer. How you doing? All right. Everything's there for you. And if you need anything else, uh, just let me know, and I'll take care of it for you. This is special. Thank you very much, sir. BK. Nothing to report uh, no at the moment. No problem. You have yourself a uh, great burger shot day. Happy burger, good works. Good evening, Sheldon. We uh, we heard something, and we wanted to do something for you. You ready, team? Ready. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Welcome, ah. to Welcome to Burger Shot. Welcome to Burger Shot. If you're feeling sick, sick, sick then, then we'll, we'll give, give you a shot. shot. We really, 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 like, really, you. really like you. You are the you very are best. The best. Very best. And you clean up the poo poo. poo, -poo. poo. Doing your very Doing best. Doing your very best. best. Yes. Yay. 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 We love you, Sheldon. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Stop, Stop that. Oh, the job, no. Sheldon. Stop that. Stop Sheldon. that right now. Yes, sir. Don't cry, Sheldon. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, happy birthday! It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very happy birthday, happy birthday Sheldon. Sheldon. Always oh, looking out for you, buddy. I even thought that since it's your uh, birthday today, I'm even going to give happy you a bonus. Uh, yeah, you ain't got to do that, uh, Mr. Wibbaloo. Uh, hold on. What's your PayPal? Uh, it's uh, 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 110. There you go, Sheldon. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. I really do appreciate that. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sheldon. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> I gave him 10 bucks. <laughs> uh, I'll go back to uh, clean this. 
<laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God fucking awful. All right. Now, what do I want to do next? Uh, I should probably go bring some more donuts to the fucking PD. Oh, God. Has it, has it, oh my god, it's only been four hours. Holy fuck, work actually takes so long. Oh, I gotta call Dean. Oh, De well, Dean, he'll give me a call back, I'm sure of it. Oh, fuck. Check message from Kiki. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> How do I take a picture? Oh, you need to use computer? Uh, I'm just sitting here thinking about my thoughts right there? now, bitch. Yeah. Okay, uh, you let me know when you're done with your computer. Well, I, I think I'm done. What do you need, bitch? Okay, I need to Google what to, what to do marriage. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, you I don't know, very proud don't know how to do marriage. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I make no fucking money now. Because I have to be fucking clocked in to make money. I know it's your birthday, Sheldon, but make sure you're working. Uh, yes, sir. I'm working uh, harder, uh, harder than ever. <laughs> hey, Captain. What's going on, Jordan? Uh, my fucking goons are assholes, and I hate them. Same. It's it's fine though. Hey, uh, I got some up update for you, Jordan. Oh, yeah, right. So uh, we got a competitor now. Yeah. Over uh, at uh. He told me a bit about that. Yeah. So uh, keep a lookout for Lang. And, uh, also Italians casting spells. Okay, magic Italians, got it. Yeah, we got, we have our own Italians, so at the end of the day, if their Italian comes to attack us, we can fight them off with our Italian. Do not be afraid to use him. Uh, Who's how, our magic Italian? Uh, Tony. Oh, okay. Who's yeah. theirs? Uh, I didn't catch his name. He's just an Italian with a gold chain and a bunch of red clothes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna... Right. We're gonna have to fight fire with fire. All right, yeah, uh, listen, uh, have you... You want me to do a bit of sabotaging over there? What? What do you want well, to do with this? I, I, I will say that, uh, you know, uh, their, their place is flammable and ours isn't, Mr. Steel. Oh, okay. That sounds Hello. good. I was also thinking we could pay homeless people to masturbate in the lobby. That's... Jordan, that's why you're security. Okay. I am not entirely against it at all. Preferably uh, Sunday afternoon when families are getting out of church. Yes. Mr. Steele, you have my permission to do all of that. If you need funds, you let me know. Well, you know, that $1,500 would help that we talked about. All right. Well, I'll, I'm going to go to the ATM and grab it for you right now. Sure. This is Apples, by the way. Uh, he's worked very closely with me on security details for years. He's uh, very hey, good. Hey. He How's is fucking, going? he is stupid as shit. Nice uh, to meet you, Apples. But I'm loyal, too. Loyalty is what we like here. Uh, you might end up, uh, they might try and poach you guys, so if they try and do that, you bring it to me, and, uh, you know, of course, we'll You'll make everything, make money. sure everyone's happy. Yeah. Yeah, money, money makes me happy. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm gonna go grab that money right now. Yeah, right, that sounds good. What's going on, Lenny? Hey, where's the cops go that we're in Jordan? here? How much? How much? Lenny just went to go and put his, uh, the receipts away in the bank. Uh, oh, you got some good payments, did, uh, huh? Ha all right. Yeah, uh, it's all right. It, it's, it's been changed again, hasn't it? So you can only earn a certain, yeah. you can only earn... 24 in an hour. 24 in an hour? Yeah, yeah, so it's like a, a grand and a half every hour, Lenny thinks. Lenny's been trying to do the maths. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not making as much here, Lenny. But it's... Yeah, uh, it's fine, that's fine. It's better than being on the streets, that's for sure. Well, we still probably making more money than most places, in all fairness. Absolutely. Uh, I um, make, how did I make the, a lot uh, less. Rooster, how did the rooster be... Wait, you make less? Well, I usually clock myself out to let other uh, other people work, so I and I, I only make money off my own receipts. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I definitely don't make nearly as much money have now. Have you 
have you spoke to Dean about maybe making taking it back? So Lenny liked it with the you know. I agree. The it, that well, that's the thing. The city didn't like it. We were we were making what? a little what? apparently too much. No, 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 look. No. Keep it the way it is now with the pricing. But we pay the employees rather than the bank doing it. Well, you know, I mean? you know yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. You know, the city made their decisions. It is what it is. We just got to roll with it. it, is it is. Yeah, that so, makes sense. Yeah. Now, the meeting with Lang went uh, a little something like this. I walked in and uh, they immediately started calling us poor and saying they're going to put us out of business. Oh, they, okay, okay. So they had an Italian stance. put a curse on us, and I said that oh. we have our own Italian, and we'll fight your curses with our Italian, who can also use curses. Oh, funny. Who was the Italian that they had? His name was Don. Oh, okay. Just, just Don. Yeah. Did so, you meet this Don? What? Did, did, did you meet this Don? Yeah, guy he or? was. He was there. He put a curse on me. So I, at some wow. point, I need to Wait, talk. Wait, you cursed? Apparently so. We need to find some casters and uh, see how to deal with well, this curse. We need to key casters. Yeah. So we're going to have to fight them fire with fire. They said uh, their building, by the way, is extremely flammable, unlike ours. Yep. Okay. So we could burn it down. Yeah. They also... Uh, Wait, apparent... isn't the dojo just full of wood? Yes. But apparently they lined their, uh, their entire building with protective semen. Well, can we go speak somewhere maybe a little bit so no one's listening in? Well, I, I don't, I'm just keep, I'm keeping my voice down. I don't think they hear, and there's not okay. much more so to the Lenny, conversation. So Lenny just scouted out the whole area. Uh, Lenny didn't actually go and trade in his receipts. Lenny went over there to go and scout around and make sure, see if there's any openings. Lenny's found out there's uh -huh. a side door that we can go into uh, around the left-hand side where the parking is. Oh. Um, they've got the front entrance, and there's also... Oh, that's it. So there's two entrances, but one of them's a bit, like, secret. But Lenny found it, so... Well, I, I was told they were uh, trying to poach you there, Lenny. What, they're poaching Lenny? They didn't try to poach Lenny. That's what they said. Oh, no one's, no one's said anything to Lenny. Well, understand, they're, uh, they're going to try and attack us with everything they got. I'm not too worried, Lenny. Um, they may have some large investors backing them, however. Again, I think the people well, you know, of uh, Los as Santos... As, keep the, uh, as long as you keep the people that are loyal to you close to you, you know... Uh, that would probably benefit and not, you know, the people that are against, against you. I agree, Lenny. And also, yeah. I'm not too worried considering, you know, the American people want American land food and not fish food, and that's what they sell. Wait, what? What's that got to do with anything? Well, I, I don't think the people of this city would like to eat fish food, like sushi Wait, and they... ramen. Oh, oh they're a sushi place? Yeah, they have hey, fish bitch. there and chickens. Damn, hey, okay. That's completely different to what we do. Yeah, we sell burgers. American now, the food. Thing is, what we need to find yeah, out right, is right, if right. there's any benefits. So we have here, I already don't know if you know this, but we have coffee, which is very good. Yes, so we coffee do. Coffee actually speeds up work processes. Now, not a lot of people know that, but then he found it out the other day. Yeah. It no. speeds up work processes. But what do they have? Do they have that? Absolutely not, Lenny. There you go. So we're gonna win either way. Everything's For sure. Okay. All right, now I gotta go pay Jordan Steele. Give me a, give me a moment. Very good. Okay. Oh. And I'm not even reading my chat. I have no idea what the fuck y'all are saying, and I don't care. All right, Jordan. Okay, let's. Uh, me. Hello. Let me get you, you paid. Amazing. Up, what? What? Hello. His name amazing. Oh my! Hello, I'm Mason. Yeah, Jeez. he's with, he's with Bradley Security. Okay, his name is amazing. Which I don't no, approve of. It's, it's Mason. Amazing. So Mason. why is it called Bradley Security? Well, I will tell you later. Jesus Christ. Well, Jordan, you know, I, I came up with the name Bitch for I'm sorry because the name was a little difficult. You ever thought yes, about giving a different name to uh, Amazing here? My name is Mason. Like Amazing. Um, I, I, anyway, Mace, Mason. Maybe. Mason. Might I recommend Dumbass? Well, he's been talking about sucking dick the whole okay, time, so I, I guess we can just call him now. Dick. It's my yeah, Mason. Call him dick. Oh, all right, Jesus. well, Jordan, right, listen, Dick. what's your PayPal number? Oh, my God. Uh, 267. Oh, all right. There you the go, Jordan. Now. Appreciate it. No problem. Right. Keep up the good work. Yep. So where is Rudy?
I need to fucking, like, fix my car. I don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to do that. Dean is crying. I mean, does he want me to call him? Or is he gonna call me back? I don't know. Let's call him and see what happens. He's probably not on. So two things I want to do. One, I want to bring donuts to the PD. Uh, two, I want to upgrade my car so I'm not driving on fucking ice skates. Make it wheelie. Wicked, brother. Where the fuck am I? Vehicle rentals? God damn it. Fuck, I don't know where the hell this goes. I always forget. Where the fuck? There it is. Wait, is there an ATM in here? I don't think there is. I gotta get. I gotta go to the ATM really quick. How much is this gonna cost me? Do you think? To like literally upgrade my handling. Twenty K? You're kidding me. Fuck, let me go see how much it costs. God, I'm just running back and forth here. How you doing, sir? Good evening. What can I help you with? Oh, well, I just wondering if you had time to hear about a potential, uh, you know, mayoral candidate's platform. Oh, another mayor, huh? Yeah, another hopeful aspiring mayor. Yes, sir. All right. What's your, uh, what's your name? Hello. My name is Thomas Dwayne. I'm a voice for you and a voice for action. And this is my daughter, Isabel Carrington. Isabel, is it, okay, D donor Dwayne? Thomas Dwayne. Yes, sir. Thomas Dwayne and Isabel Carrington? Yes, yeah, she, she was right. married. That's why the last name's different. Well, you're running for mayor. Uh, you know, you are the product. Sell me the product. 
All right, sir. Well, let me first tell you that I, as mayor, will be entirely, you know, transparent. Everything I spend as far as city funding, you know, uh, government plans will be posted every week on the city board. You can see it openly. I'm going to lower taxes to 6% with a gradual increase over time, heading whoa, for 10%. Whoa, whoa. Let's, let's calm down with percentages and numbers. It's going to start hurting my head. Okay. All right. Well, let me just say I'm going to lower taxes by more than half. My God. Okay. Yes. Now, what do taxes do? Well, right now, the way taxes uh, work is that sales taxes cut into any time a person buys something, and then there's business taxes, uh, where businesses are taxed for all the business that they actually get. Okay. So, and I am a business, so I'm going to make less money. Uh, no, you'd actually uh, technically make more money. You'd be able to keep more money from what people are paying you, instead of paying more to me. Okay, so they're paying more to you. So, <laughs> all right. The way it would work is if someone comes in and buys a burger, right? Yes. You look like you work at Burger Shop. Yeah, I, I'm, the I'm the manager there. Oh, you're the manager. All right. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, someone comes in to buy a burger. Let's say you guys charge uh, $100 is what I was told last time for a meal. Right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. So currently it's at 15%. Okay. So that's, that's a pretty substantial amount of money that a person pays on top for whatever you're getting, right? Uh, and where does that, that money go that they end up paying? That tax money goes to your hand, goes to your business, but then... Okay, but now I'm pay. losing it. Right, because then you're going to pay a tax to me, the government, for all the business you've had, right? But if I uh, lower yes, taxes, if I lower taxes on the sales tax, it means you're getting less money from them, but if I lower your taxes, it means you get to keep more of that money you're getting. Uh-huh. Well, does that money go to the police? Uh, it goes to the entire infrastructure in general. Doctors, well, lawyers, etc. Well, I, that's the thing, you know, I personally pay the police out of pocket and, uh, you know, you're lowering the taxes, they may make less money and the police are at my establishment more than my actual employees are. So I right. don't know if I yeah, like I've this. Noticed. Well, let me tell you how I've already thought of a way to counter that. Uh, there are All security right. firms attempting to get up and rising. I'm working with a loan company and getting a small business loans for the security companies. We will then be able to pay people to actually have tasers and other you know, equipment they need to effectively work at a place 24 seven, rather than going to answer a call as a police officer, then coming back after someone's been hurt, robbed, murdered, blown up or burned at your establishment, as I've noticed keeps happening. Yeah, that does happen. I, now, I do have three security teams currently working at my establishment already. Sure. Right, but now they'd actually be being paid uh, outside of whatever you might pay them, and they'd have more equipment than, say, a crowbar or a hammer. They'd have uh, access to tasers, proper training from police and the DOC who work at the prison. They'd also have uh, now, know, batons and Now, let me ask you this, cuffs. though. When, uh, when someone does something bad and Kiki beats them with a crowbar, is mm -hmm. that as a is that less effective than a measly taser? It's not less effective, but do we really want to you know condone more and more violence there? Because if she hits them with a crowbar, let's say they go back and get picked up by an EMS, go to the, the hospital, get out, find some guy on the street, buy a gun, and come back and shoot your place up. Do you want but, that to happen? But that's the thing, you know. If you shoot them with a taser, they get back up and ready to rob me in a span of you know five seconds. Sure, but if you shoot them with a taser, that means your security firm will have the chance to cuff them quickly and put them to the side as well, a civilian's well, arrest. First of all, they're not called cuffs. They're called whippaloos. They're called whippaloos? Yeah, they're called whippaloos. I paid for that. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll call them whippaloos, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, then that means that they have a chance to uh, whippaloo them? Is yes, that how sir. saying? All right. A chance to whippaloo them and put them to the side and wait for the police. Okay. And uh, now, from the rest of your whole spiel, you, I have lost everything. So taxes are going to be more expensive? No, taxes are <laughs> going down, meaning you get to keep more money in your pocket and you get to pay me less. Okay, so taxes going down is good for me. Yes. All right, so I like that. I'll also lower gas prices. They're currently Ooh, at $200. I, I like that. I just got done paying $200 for a full yeah. tank. Yeah, I'm going to lower it down to 80. Uh, also, I'll work with businesses and establishing contracts with other businesses to have exclusive deals, such as uh, you need your car repaired at, let's say, Harmony. Maybe they have a, uh, a particular fund that, you know, comes out of it and makes sure all your vehicles are taken care of, which broadens your horizons to deliveries and stuff. Well, you, you know, you bring a lot of really great points and uh, things here to me. Uh, now, what is going to be the cost? This money has to come from somewhere. Who's going to be losing all of it? As far as the money goes, uh, it's going to be coming from the funding of the mayor and the government. So we're going to be losing it by lowering taxes. So that's, you're going to be losing money. 
Yes, I'll lose money, but you my don't plan... seem like a very smart person. I don't know if you want to be running for. <laughs> I don't know if I want you for mayor in that case. Well, let me explain to you. You have to invest, which means you lose money, but your investment <laughs> can kick back and give you more money. And what I want to do is invest in people that run businesses, people who live this city every day. And well, them... if you were smart, you would you would not do that. You would try and huh? keep a lot of the money for yourself. So you don't seem like a smart person. Uh, see, now, if you do that, that causes prices and money to go up and up and up and up to where people are gouging, people are more suffering, criminal rates are going up. First, we gotta set a baseline. There's no baseline, there's no foundation right now. We need a foundation, and then things can change. Taxes can come up later. Maybe, maybe can, I'll go around and talk to everyone about it. Can you, can you upgrade my car as mayor? If you, uh, if you... Okay. You want your car upgraded, like a new vehicle? Yeah, it, it, or like... it, no, it, it just it, when I drive it, it's like I'm on ice skates, and I'm getting tired of this. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, as mayor, I'll work with PDM. My uh, my daughter's uh, boyfriend actually helps run this joint, so I can get you uh, maybe some things favored in. And on top of that, yeah, you know, if I can get your endorsement, get all your employees to vote for me, you tell me what you need, and I'll work actively well, to get that. Now, one of the other uh, contestants to this political party. Uh, said they would build a wall around my facility to keep out the criminals. Yeah, do you really want a wall to keep out your customers? Absolutely, and make the criminals pay for it as well. Okay, so you want a wall around your foundation to prevent criminals. Yes, sir. And you want it uh, to potentially even block customers, though. Absolutely. Well, customers cause crime. But if you lose customers, you lose money. Yeah, but I'll have no criminals there. That, that's a hard argument, to be honest with you. But if you want a wall, you tell me about it, and I'll see if I can you know, fund uh, some, some town constructions to get it. Okay, sir. Well, Mr. Uh, Thomas Dwayne, you've, uh, I'll talk with my employees about voting for you. You provide that wall. You provide my car upgrades. Company car, as you can see. I've got the Burger Shot colors there. Honestly, listen, there's other things I can do for you. You see, you're the manager, right? Yes, sir. Uh, some things I could do for you so you get more money in your pocket to maybe get back to your employees or just keep for yourself and get some delivery vehicles. Uh, funding charities and other events, if you donate to those charities, I'll make sure you can get tax cutbacks or, you know, uh, something that What kind of charities would I want to donate to? It's up to you. I mean, uh, there'll be a lot of charities coming forward after I'm mayor. My daughter actively creates them, be things for PD, be things for PBM, PDM. Uh, your own business, even if you got an employee who's down. Are you the calling the uh, the PDM a charity case? Uh, no, no. I'm just saying that sometimes even uh, you know businesses need bailouts. So you're telling me when I when I give money to the cops, I'm donating to a charity? Technically, if you continue to do it that way once I'm mayor, yes, and I'll make sure you can get some kind of uh, cutback for that. Well, I I like what you're saying here. Okay. Hey. I'm gonna I'm gonna let them know of Thomas Dwayne and I'm gonna go ahead and give you my number, sir. Let me know when you're ready for it and I'll read it out. All right, give me just a second. I was actually about to share my platform with you, but I'll get your number first. Alright, what's your number, sir? Alright, my I'm number ready. is 415-645-3181. And that name is Kevin Quipaloo. Is it Whippaloo or Quipaloo? It's it, it's Whippaloo. W H I P A L O O. Quipaloo. Okay, okay, okay. Quipaloo. Got it. Got it. Uh, do you uh, do you want my documents to see the full platform in more detail, or would you? I wouldn't mind, sir. Go ahead and share that okay. with me. You just sent it to me on my phone. Yeah, I got you. I'll drop it right now. Hey, look! It's that Stonewall guy on the tweet T Witter. Is he the one that wants to build a wall for you? Yeah, it's kind of funny. Stonewall, make a wall. I heard he's the <laughs> uh, he's he's from the Confederate Army. Yeah, you know, I, I've heard that too, but you know, Stonewall also has a positive name to it as well, but you know, either way, I'm not going to judge the guy for his family or anything else like that. It's kind of weird. I don't even know what that means, but yes, sir. I just thought it's crazy. He's a war veteran. Well, from the Civil War, that's a long ass time ago. Yeah, that, probably that like 10 years or something. Uh, like 100, and, I don't know, 80. <sighs> probably not 80. as intense of a war as we have every day at Burger Shot, I'll tell you that much. Honestly, I was there for about 15 minutes, and I was absolutely mind blown by the amount of action that was happening there. I'll be honest, uh, Mr. Dwayne, I don't want to read all this. Hey, that's fair. I put it in there so if people have questions, they can find the talking point and then read it there. But listen, you don't have to read it all. Yeah, well, first of all, I can't read very well. 
And uh, okay. second of all, uh, five sentences in, there's like ten words I can't pronounce. Hey, that's that's all right, sir. You know, it is what it is. Do you is. know we what look. perimeter means? Uh, yes, perimeter or parameters? Which one? Well, perimeter. Yeah, the perimeter around your building is what you want for, uh, protected. Okay. Well, see, because I'm trying to talk to my uh, security, and I told him to protect the inside and the outside. And also, uh, someone said they recommend we protect the perimeter, but I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so uh, that'd be the entire property line that is uh, Burger Shot. So your parking lot, your drive through up to the sidewalk, because that becomes government property. So that's your perimeter. Okay, so it's like... Okay, so explain it again. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Leah. Sorry. How's um, it going? What's up, Leah? Uh, uh, this is going Are you guys well. just coming here to PDM today to pay off your loan? Uh, well, I could actually. Well, that's the thing, uh, Mr. Mayor. Were you gonna upgrade my car for me? <laughs> it's something that we can talk about in the oh. future, Mr. Mayor. Well, well, you know, I don't know if I want to pay my loan off yet because it all yeah. depends on whether this kind uh, future mayor is gonna pay off my loan or upgrade my car. Upgrade his car is what he asked. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He he offered to do it for my vote. I don't quite think that was the exact offer, but yeah, I, I stated that huh. once uh, once I was in position, if he needed something, I'd be more than happy to assist him in working for his business. Well, well also, Mr. Uh, Dwayne, I have something else I need to bring up with you if you got a of second. Course, sir. Yeah, I have time. Well, you see, I, I've I've been getting uh, threatened by our competitor in the food industry, um, Mr. Uh, Cockrest. I don't know if you heard of him. <gasps> Really? Yeah, I don't know if you heard hmm. of Cockrest over in Vinewood Hills, ran by Mr. Lang. Really? Where's it? Oh. Uh, I have never heard of this person. He's got his kid. Yeah, they uh, They said they're oh. going to open up in about a day. And, uh, you know, I walked in and I, rec I I realized that the entire place is wooden. And I said, this this place could get burnt to the ground. And he said, no, they lined it with protective semen. And they also have an Italian who casts spells. So we're not sure oh, how to God. quite... Yeah, so we have an Italian of our own to cast our own spells. However, I was just wondering if there's anything you as mayor could do to help me out in this battle. Do some voodoo? Uh, give him a second, yeah. he might be uh, thinking about some things. Yeah, uh, probably thinking about, <laughs> you know, maybe his family or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm his daughter, but, uh, you know, just, uh, he's yeah. a very oh, family oriented man, you know, or a family uh, business kind of thing. Hello, well, hello. Well, you know, good evening, sir. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing A-OK. -okay. Uh, just talking with the mayor about some politics. Most of it's over my head. Mayor? You have been becoming mayor or not yet, sir? Uh, no, I'm not becoming mayor. I'm a busy man with other things, but this uh, fine Dwayne fellow is. Y you you win the, the mayorship, sir? I, no, no, sir, I am, no, I am, I no, am not no. the mayor. Not you, Habibi, the other man you're speaking to. About oh, no. Him. Post is open today. Yes, yes. Open yes. For the next week. No, we won. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, I think you should be speaking to another candidate as well if you're doing the rounds. I, I have been meaning to do this as well. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a lot of candidates are coming up and offering things to me. Um, they they all <laughs> offered a wall to keep out the criminals. Um, Hell they're gonna, yeah. They're going to lower taxes, which I don't know if that helps me or not. A, mm, not, probably not. Not, no, not, 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 really. not as a business owner. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what I said. And he, he started throwing a bunch of math at me. He's like, no, it would help. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. I think he's oh. trying to swindle me a fast one. Yeah, I mean, I know we want someone who's going to help the people, but as business owners like myself and you yourself, Mr. Ruffalo, we need to keep those taxes up. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. You know, I, again, I don't understand the math, but it, it just it just sounds so sketchy. How else does the state have funding to fund things? Well, no I, think, I think it's more about, you know, the, le the lower the taxes, the more money people have to spend at your businesses. Yeah, I, well, I, I do pay the police. Hey, wait, hey, sir, you are owner Burger Shot? Yes, sir, I, I am the fine owner of uh, Burger Shot. I, I thought it was Mr. Dean who is no, owner, no? Well, well, he is the owner, but I, I own it in his place. Ex excuse me, I, I've got a call. Oh, not a problem. Oh. Uh, good day, Mr. Kickass. Mr. Hey, dog, I got my man. magic men here. Oh, you've got the magic men? Exactly. We can Perfect. dispel this curse. Good. That's what I like to hear. I'm over here talking with a politician, and I'll be there shortly. Copy that. I'll keep them here. Understood, Mr. Kickass. <laughs> uh, 
Hello. Sorry. He, uh, he had to step away from me. He's got some things going on. I have no problem. An emergency, so yeah. Well, if but you I could, uh, your time. could you shoot him some messages for me? Absolutely. Let me, uh... As long as he sticks clear to everything we went over and, uh, you know, sticks on burger shot side over laying, uh, you know, cock rest side, mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, he's got me and I'll make sure he gets my employee's vote as well. Okay, I will definitely let him know. All right. And, uh, ma'am, you have yourself a splendid day. Right. Okay, I've, uh, I've noted that down. All right, thank you very much. I All appreciate right. that. Have a lovely one. Have a good one. All right, let's go talk to some spellcasters. Not gonna repair my car. I can't be bothered right now. I'm gonna get back and handle this. I don't like making other people wait, and I know they're waiting for me, so I'm not gonna fucking repair my car while people are waiting. Like letting Lang wink for you? Yeah, I felt bad about that. But that wasn't on purpose. Almost cool. Hey, Kevin, I think we have a drug addict here. Should I just fucking uh, get him off the property or do we want to take his money? Uh, I would just say get him off the property. Uh, yeah, I'm not listening to that guy. His pants right. look like he's waiting for a flood. I'm not listening to that man. Listen, uh, Jordan. Who are you talking to? I'm waiting for a punchline from your unfunny ass. Not, not, not you. You looking good. <laughs> oh, Listen, this guy. Jordan, if you want to, you, you can take money. I don't care. Just don't let me know about it. Okay. All right. Let's go inside, Samurai. No. Hey, junkie, off the fucking lot. Egg loggy shot you do, bro. Oh, hell. Oh, Jesus. All right, Very Mr. Kickass, are these the there casters? Yes, yep. Sir Whippaloo. This yes. is my party. Oh. Right. Malfurion. What? Yes. Introduce them. I am them. Malfurion, <laughs> Arch Jew of the Wilds, Protector of the Grove. I'm very qualified to take on your quest. Are you I Italian? Multi... Huh? Are you Italian? No, I am not Italian. Can you fight Italians? I should be able to. I'm a multi rank one challenger. Okay. I'm just, I, I need to know that your magic can withstand the magic of an Italian. I can. I can cast Moonfire. Okay. Absolutely. I, I, whatever that means, I love to hear it. And who are the other fine gentlemen? I am Stag Dancer, Holy Paladin of the Storm Lord. Glory to the cock. There's the no cock. magic that the cock cannot break. Okay. I agree. Uh, I'm Tanner, uh, Apprentice Druid, uh, Apprentice to uh, Malfurion. Yes, and, he's my apprentice. Uh, ten, oh, see, oh, oh, see, what's your, what's your like RP name? I, oh, oh, see, oh, oh, see, I, I don't know. I asked, uh, we talked about it, but we didn't get that far yet. Oh, oh okay, good. okay, I see. I see. Out of character. All right. Oh, well, it's our other quest giver. Oh. Hello? I that was a quest you, giver. You, 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 I think remember you. A person who gives us a quest. I'm pretty sure this guy is also oh, a follower of the cock, this, this you know? One, this one, do dungeon, dungeon role play. Oh, oh you are that... master of the dungeon role play? I've heard of this. He did, uh, he okay. did the dungeon role play. He do, he do magic. Well, you follow in the gachi? Dungeon. 
that's uh listen here this is all spectacular but we've got serious business to attend to i don't want any playing around okay this is actual is business no playing. Right. Oh, when there's foul magic afoot the yes. cock will yeah, not yeah I, I guarantee it. you there is foul magic afoot now the enemy is mr lang cockrest okay now Who lang cockrest it's our competitor bitch i've told you about this Oh, okay. Oh, I may understand. Sorry. Now, Mr. Lang has you called in a meeting with me and uh, has informed me that uh, we are going to be their competitors. They serve fish food and we serve American food. Now, oh, no. I, I, yes. I, I checked oh, out their establishment and as you can see, our building is not flammable. Theirs, however, can be burned to the ground. However, they have a protective force field of semen. Also, you they have a powerful them? they have a powerful caster named, named Don and he is an Italian. Italians mm. seem to be powerful casters amongst these parts. Mm. Mr. Right. Kevin, if you needed somebody to help with semen, why did you ask these fools? You have me. Well, that's the thing. It's magical semen. Ah, this isn't okay. The, oh, okay. Yeah, this, magical this semen? This needs to be handled with other magic, and that's why you three have been brought in. Oh, they do magic. They, they do uh, uh, magic. Hey, uh, boss, I'm not sure if I'm intruding over here, but I have a great idea to take down the competition. Uh-huh. You gotta work from the inside out, right? What if we have a man that inside that gathers more intel on them and tells us what's happening, their prices, and what mm. they do, and their secret recipe? And who would that be? I don't know. Maybe you should uh, pick somebody that you, ch you can trust. Okay, well, how about the uh, someone who's willing to take some time away from Burger Shot to go on the inside? Someone that I trust and have known for a while. Who wants to do it? I can do it. I haven't known you long enough. I need someone oh. who's been around for a while. I'm right. thinking the semen you lord. You got it. Bradley? Semen. Yes. Bradley. I'll do it. Are you sure? I'm Good a job, master Bradley. of reconnaissance. Good job. Okay, Mr. Kickass. Mr. Kickass is a high level monk. Yes. All right, Mr. Kickass. You're aware of spellcasting? Yes, I'm aware of spellcasting, though I am an open hand monk, so I mainly deal with melee DPS. Okay. If he needs to get through that barrier, we can get him through. I have the right. spell magic. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you all on this quest here, and Mr. Kickass, I need you to look out for that Italian. Yes, now, I will. He seemed powerful, and I just I don't I don't want to lose you to them. So you want me to get inside with the cockass? Yes, I need you to find out what they're doing. Yes. I need you to dispel the magics that they've put upon our store, and I think you have to do it from the inside. Mm, cockass is their name. Oh yeah. my God, I love. Maybe that. you can cast a curse on their food, so everybody who eats it has a hard uh, can do that. Yes. In order to dispel the curse, I think you need to gather the curse giver, who is Don. And you need to make him retract the curse himself. Do you understand? Mm. Yes, question though. Yes, what? How do we know when the curse has been lifted? Well, you, know, you have to make him lift the curse. And that's when you know, is when he lifts it. We can also place a holy blessing upon these grounds. By the glory of the cock storm lord. What is a holy a blessing? Temporary yeah. fix. A holy blessing will protect these grounds and lessen the effect of the curse. Okay. Oh. I would. I would. Now, it, what do you? What do you all request in return for this work you'll be doing? Well, wait, we all, oh, you're doing it. We would appreciate gold as we are currently on a different quest for the uh, LSPD to raise them money. I mean gold. Okay, so you you want they need gold? Funds. Yes, please. please. All right. Now, how much would you want for this job? That is up to the quest giver. Yeah, it is up to you. All right. Noble. I will give each of you two hundred dollars for fulfilling this here quest. Oh, gold, holy gold, cow! That's a lot gold. of money, guys. Oh. Two hundred gold. Two hundred dollars. Holy oh, shit! You know, be rich. Shot. Actually, money you shots finish you can buy the fundraiser. Now find Many funds in this four. find this Italian. Get him to retract the curse. Place a blessing upon this building and find out more information on Cockrest Farm. Excellent. Understood. Very good. Then, to begin, I'll have to start detecting for evil around you, here in bless these different areas. You will find Cockrest Farm in Vinewood Hills. There is a sign that has Vinewood Cockrest on it. Hills. Mm. Indeed. Understood. I will All right. My location crystals. Um, good luck on your quest, everyone. All right. We, Thank can you. Can we retrieve some supplies? Uh, Brad, let me need to speak. We might get hungry on the way. Yes, I they, just gave you they gave us some the supplies. Fuck? All right, I hopefully I gave them some content. <laughs> That'll be funny.
now I'm gonna go repair my car. ATM money? Oh, fuck, you're right. Whatever. Thank you for the donation, and thank you for the nice message. God, the people at Burger Shot are fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm just thinking, yes, we must capture the curse giver. I don't even think fucking Hassan intended that to turn into such an. We really were bothered by that curse that you put upon us. <laughs> We're gonna abduct him and get him to retract the curse with his Italian powers. <laughs> God damn Italians and their curses. <laughs> I forgot to get money. Shit. I'm literally just repairing my car. That's all I'm doing. Mr. Whippolo, how can I help you? Evening, Leah. I just need to use the ATM really quick. Of course, let me go your way. Sorry about that. All right. Currently, I have twenty-seven dollars. I don't like that. No, I do not. Boo, 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 boo. How many receipts do I have? Wait, don't I have to pay someone? Oh my god, I literally got to pay someone. Got 35 receipts. What's 35 times 60? Fuck. Oh my god, it's literally 64. It's so fucking cheap. But let me see how much this costs. Hang on. Alright, so... Wheels... Like, what do I do? Sport, lowrider, muscle... How do I upgrade my car? You can't tune it here. Oh, I see. Okay. I need to go get some donuts and bring them to the cops. 
And I'm also gonna inform them about uh, an Italian placing curses upon us. If Lang wants war, he's gonna get it. What the fuck? Sir, I just want to let you know if you pull that knife again, uh, we're going to have to hit you with the heart stopper. Hey, what? Hey, this big guy pulled a knife on me. Arrest no, I him. said if he pulls the knife. We're, we're trying to Mr. talk Whitley. to him now, sir. Mr. Whitley, let us also be pulled to show you. Okay, Lenny. Hey, what's the... See, kick ass. All right, Lenny, how's this? So, yep, this is good. This is good. So, um, how would you feel if you uh, if you heard that your uh, some of your security team were wanting to kill you? Are I you wouldn't be angry. I wouldn't be happy about that, Lenny. Okay. Yeah. Who is Lenny, trying to kill uh, me? So, Lenny was speaking to um, Apples. You know, Apples he works with, and also. What's his name? The guy over there. I can see apples right now, Lenny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So both of them, both of them. The steel security, is it? Yes. Yeah, they want you gone. They want you gone. They, 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 for some reason, I think with the whole demotion thing, you're demoting Lenny. They think that Lenny is going to be willing to like murder you. So they keep coming up to Lenny and asking Lenny to put stuff in your drinks and stuff. Like, you know, poison. Okay, um, so... If you so, need proof, Lenny's so, got recording of it on his phone. Okay, so, so Lenny, you're telling me that these people want to kill me because I demoted yes. you. No, no, not because Lenny don't know why they want to kill you, but they're using Lenny because they know that you demoted Lenny. Okay, so they're. If you need proof, Lenny's got Lenny recorded on his phone. They were, they were stupid enough to Lenny literally had his phone out and was and was talking to them about it with his phone out. So. Okay. You want to see it? What's Please. State ID number. State ID number will be uh, motherfucking. Hang on. Three six six four. There you go. Make sure you don't click on it. Just copy and paste it. Don't click on it. Uh, Lenny's already showed uh, the your head of security, your actual head of security. You know the um, uh, uh, Kickass, and he's he's not happy with it all. He asked Lenny to show you. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. They just have a take a look at that and then and then and then let them. Where know did you, you uh think. where'd you send it? You not what's the I, state I, ID I, number? Three six six four. Are you, are you certain that's your state ID number? Yes, I, yes Good. sir. Top left details and then it says state ID number three six six four. Uh let me check again. Yeah, three six six four. Oh. Okay. Then you'll try again. Go check it. Check your documents. See if it's in there. All right. Need to open up documents here. Apple's betrayal. There you go. There it is. That's the one. Dave's also got some more stuff on there as well, but he's going to wait until he gets oh, no, more information cool. before he shows you. It's pretty disturbing, actually. Listen, yeah. ricin is a very deadly poison. Okay, Does yeah. Kevin like to drink soda or something? Does he ask you to, hey, get me money? Go get me a soda. Yeah, 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 he does. Yeah, he likes, he likes that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Slip it into his drink. Oh, okay. And, then, and poison, oh. poison, poison you Kevin? Do? Yes. Wow. So you want no Lenny, so know. can you repeat that? Can you, so you want Lenny to poison Kevin? So all you got to do, Lenny, is poison Kevin. Okay. Is and that then it? you take over. And then we what take, you think? so you want Lenny to take over the business? What do you think? 
Oh, you know what? Liddy's gonna have a word with Kevin right now about that. All right. Hey, keep it cool. Yeah, Lenny's gonna keep it really cool, okay? Okay, now, Lenny? Yep. I watched the recording. Okay. Now, how do we know who that was? It's Apples. How do you know that? They had a mask on. He told Lenny, he always wears the same mask, and he told Lenny it was Apples up before. Okay, but that's not in the recording, Lenny. Go over, he's over there right now. Go over and ask him. Ask him, hey man, uh, Lenny's got this recording say, of that, you. No, 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 say, are you Apples? That's all you have to say. Okay, but how, but a Apples over there doesn't have a mask on. Yes, he does. No, I, I see. That's, that's Jordan Steele. <laughs> there he, is. he just put the mask on. He just put the, he just put the mask on. You're goddamn right they did, Lenny. Well, shit. Why the hell are they trying to take... Y yes, yes, Jerry. Hey, Eugene. Uh, boss, I heard Damage. about... Damage goods. I heard, I heard about the opposition, the enemy. What's yeah. happening? Are we at war? Are we at war? Absolutely. Oh. Ah! ah! Get ready Jerry! for a war. Pull it together. What's You've got to pull it together oh, for a war. Oh, You've got to get ready for this fight. Oh, my You've got to be prepared for this. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, I'm just preparing them for war. We're at war with another. Oh, with another oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh, are okay. you okay? Are you okay? Oh, I think he broke my nose. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Well, we're uh, fucking war. Jerry, Jerry. We're at war, damn it. You, we you, okay, you, you, can't, you can't just punch Kevin, oh. though. Punch oh, 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 fair. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. Learn how to take a punch. Jesus fucking Christ, all right? Thank you, Jordan. We all need to learn how to take a punch. That's yeah. true. Jordan. I took a beating. Then he's not even punched. Yeah. Okay, all right. Now we all got punched. Oh, now we've all been punched. Calling. Jordan. Yeah. No, you're over here. I, I need to talk to you. Hey, Jordan, you okay? What's going on here? Ah, I'm let, let me punch you. Ah, ah, good. Fucking go. nose. We got to get hard. We got to get hard. Ah. We're getting real hard here. Did Jesus you Christ. Punch that yeah. man. Maybe wants to be punched now. I'm getting hard, Malton. We're preparing okay. for war, officer. Yeah, I'll tell you all about war, it soon. Officers. Are you jump for war. Are you jumping him into a gang? No, not we're a gang, sir. For war. <laughs> yeah. This is burger shot. Now, I, I will it's say we are preparing for war. Against who? Against who the cock so rest. Right? No. Yeah, it's a bad situation. I've prepare already. Prepare for war, no, sir. No, 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 no. Wait, sir. Sir. Prepare for war, sir. baby. Let's Le go. Lenny, 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 silence. you just assaulted Lenny, a cop, Lenny. you psycho. You do that again, I'm no, bringing you in, sir. He's, he's put... nah, he's okay. he's Officers, he's I've already hired wizards to fight off their wizards. Uh, they cast a protective spell around their residence. However, uh, we're gonna find the caster on, and we're gonna dispel the curse. Not, not like racist wizards. Not, not like grand wizards. Or anything. Again, we're gonna hit you with no, the whistle. No, absolutely not. We hired Italians. Italian wizards, right? Not, not Alabama wizards. Yeah. Okay. So they, 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 they have a protective force. Alabama wizards. Yes, they have a protective yes, force. Yes, of Alabama magical, wizard. magical semen, and I sent in three, four wizards, including one of my best, uh, to go there, find the spellcaster, and defuse the curse. Okay, and I know it sounds like he's saying that he hired racists to sexually assault our competition. <laughs> That's not. That's that, not actually what's no, we, happening here. I, we've already established that we here at Burger Shot are not racist. We have already hired an Italian. Just, just We're right. going to get some just more right. diversity hires uh, in soon. We're going to find a, I don't know, maybe like a gay Absolutely. account or something. It's going to be oh, great. Just right? letting you know, we're going to go ahead and legally defuse the curse. Just letting you know that's going on. Okay, Everything's yeah, okay, officers. To, yeah, we just saw a man on the ground after getting yeah, what appeared to be oh, punched. Oh, yeah. Well, there's going to be a lot of people on the ground. No charges to press. Wizard war. Yeah, right, it's a big well, wizard if, war. It, if it escalates to an actual war, just make sure to call 911. That is an yeah, actual sure. war. Did you not see the Deathly Hollows? People no. died. Ooh. They did. So I don't know if, listen, officers, if you'd like to jump in on the war, uh, Sir, the you can jump in on our side. Uh, we we are at Lenny, war with the cock No, it's a fake. So I'm going to tase you. Get your hands Touching off. her large pepperoni. Oh, sorry. Get off. Yeah, are you grabbing the hell that? We're going to hit you with the whippalizer. No, Lenny was leading. Yeah, Lenny, you don't want to get hit with the whippalizer. Oh, okay. So, uh, again, if, if, if you, uh, find sirs, ma'am, are not too busy, there is going to be a war going on. Uh, I recommend you bring your most powerful spells. Wait, All right. It's like long barrel seven, rifles. Six, two, back at the yeah, station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, uh, I, I, again, I've already sent the wizards to the, the location. They're going to find the spellcaster, or the curse giver, rather, and defuse it. 
And uh, I would obviously love the help of the police if you have powerful enough spells to defuse such a curse from an Italian, such as Don himself, if you know him. But uh, that is going to be going on. Yep. Um. <laughs> Molten Divine, can I borrow you for a second? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What was wrong with- Ah, these fucking cops. Anyways, did you need to talk you to me? They don't believe in magic. Well, they're- Well, let's- let's not- let's not, uh, jump to conclusions, you know? I don't think the police are that stupid. We in a magical wall? Uh, well, again, I went in to talk with, uh, Mr. Lang, uh, our competition. He- oh. He sent a bunch of threats, called me poor, and one of his Italians placed an Italian curse on oh. me. Oh, is that Tony? Yeah. Tony's Italian? No, Tony is our Italian. So we're going to use Tony against they're him. They're friends, though. Yeah, but they're good yeah, friends. Sure. But Tony but works Italian, for Burger Italian Shot. Blood. For now. Yeah, the Italians are powerful. So for now, are, we have yes. an Italian, and we need to make sure we make a move while we still have him. Oh, okay, good, good. All right, we need to use him in glorious combat. You know, exactly. I, it's probably good odds one oh. of those Sopranos guys is on cameo. Maybe we can get him to do a spell real quick. Are those fake Italians, to though? What if they use Man Bear Pig against us? Well, if they use man, listen, we're not going to talk about man bear pig, okay? Well, we are going to talk about man bear pig, a half man, half bear, half pig there, creature there, that comes down and knocks the damn building down in a second. Absolutely no way man bear pig is going to waste his time of on a war we as have, this. We have a yeti. Why don't we just use him? We do have a Sasquatch. Yeah. I have well, three giraffes and an elephant send I can pull in. Well, like I said, this war is happening. We have a Sasquatch. We don't need to bring out the big guns yet. Let's just see how our spellcasters that I've sent down do. All right, spell cast. It's good. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Good plan. I've I've offered each of them two hundred gold if they complete their quest Ooh. of finding Don and making him dispel the curse. Here, right here on cameo, Mike. The situation: three hundred dollars. We can just get him to do a curse real quick and send it to him. Oh, you mean that crazy homeless guy? Is he no, Italian? Mike, no, Mike. The situation: the guy. Yes, he's from Jersey Shore. Oh, well, oh my God! Made that crazy homeless wizard Italian, that drives around on the push bike. He went to prison for uh, tax uh, fraud. Oh, hello, so wife. We should get him. Oh, yeah, boss, we were getting Stay married sorry. in Burger Shot, all right? Any Italian oh, for the war it will definitely be helpful. Yeah, I'll, boss, I'll, I'll we have your permission? Do uh, also, do we have your... uh, Jordan, oh, I, I had something I wanted to talk to you about. If you, if you got a second. Yeah, I got a second. All right, excuse all right. me. Apples, I need you to guard the meeting. All right, six feet. Guard the meeting. Apples is very good. Guard the meeting. All right. Well, that's who I wanted to talk to you about. Yep. Uh, no, I, I don't want Apples to guard our meeting. I want him to just... It's you and me. Yeah, well, yeah. Now. Well, that, okay, yeah. Mr. Mr. Steele. Uh, Mr. Lenny came to me, and he showed me a recording of a man... <clears throat> what? A man in a mask was uh, going to try and poison my drink. Now, I didn't know who this man was. Uh -huh. And uh, he assured me that it was apples, and I said, well, Lenny, I can't see his face in this recording. And uh, sure enough, as I'm telling him I don't believe him, I see apples uh, way over there put on this mask that looked very similar to the mask in the recording. Now, now I ask you, uh, is apples, can we trust apples? So this was actually a test for Lenny. Really? To, to see if he wanted to kill you, yeah, and to see if you'd go along with it. Yeah, because I got your text, you know, and I'm, I'm just, I'm very confused, Mr. Steele. Well, well, that's all it was. We told, uh, I got briefed about the Lenny situation and how he might shoot up the place. I questioned Who told him. you that? Uh, Kiki told me that. And then Why? I, and, well, I talked to Lenny. He's pissed about this whole demotion thing. And he said that you're hiring the enemy and that he's angry about it. Well, and he could do a better job. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't surprise me Lenny would say something like that. All I right. just, uh, you know, again, uh, he recorded the whole thing. He brought it to me. I, I wasn't sure it was Apples until I saw Apples put that mask on. And Apples is wearing listen, literally right listen. now. Listen, here's the thing, okay? It was 100% a test. Understood. If you want, I tell you what, just come over Excuse here. Coming and, through, bros. Come, coming through. And ask right Apples, here. and he will. Yeah, he'll he'll, right he'll tell you all of them. You can bring him over here ask him right now. My stomach's crumbling over here. Hey, but, Hey, uh, hey, letting y'all know this drive through is out of commission. You're going to have to walk inside. Oh. All right, keep it moving. Apples, come here. Come here. Come here, Apples. Come here. Come here. Hey, did you tell them the big news? All right. Apples, just listen, okay? Mr. Uh, Apples, isn't it? Yeah, that's me. All right, Lenny uh, brought me a recording of uh, him and another man having a discussion about potentially trying to poison me. Now, I wasn't sure who this person was. 
Uh, he insisted that it was you. However, you had he had a mask on, the one you're currently wearing. Sure enough, as soon as I stop watching the recording and I, I point at you, you put that mask on and it kind of, oh man, that really is apples. I talked yep. with Mr. Steele about it and he said it was, uh, wh what is your conclusion about it? All right, that was me. Yeah, you got me. Tell him why, though. You can't just end on that. <laughs> oh, okay, so we, we've, there's been rumors. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Goddamn, you're stupid. Well, listen, there's been rumors Let, that Letty is trying to get you. See? I'm just trying to figure out his true intentions. So I was kind of like, hey, let's get him. Yeah. What, what, do you, what do you say, me and you? I was trying to bait him into a confession. Okay, that's I all see. I was doing. And all right. Poison is standard issue for steel security. We all we, we all carry poison. It's not a. You never know when you're gonna have the chance to poison someone. You Ooh. never know. Okay. All right. So that that kind of rounds everything up. Then Lenny was scared. I was scared. Uh, y'all were just. He passed the test. This is good news. Lenny passed the test. Man, he y'all are, are goddamn good at your job. I tell you. Uh, Thank look, you. Uh, we do what we can. We do what we can. I'm still I mean, keeping man. an eye on Lenny, though. Absolutely. Shit. Uh, I'm probably going to re-promote him. I just wanted to see how he'd react. Uh, also, I wanted to uh, appease the Italian, because they are powerful. Yeah, we could use some good diversity hires. We, we don't need... want any sort of uh, racism spins or anything. Absolutely not. We need some Italians for their powerful spellcasting, um, because right. it's definitely turning into a war here. So do you want me to just, uh, if people ask, you know, if we're hiring, just say, hey, we only hire Italians only. We're only hiring no, Italians No, no, we're right not now. doing that. But I if someone is Italian, uh, ask them if they uh, have the ability to cast any spells. Ask them about their, their spell Like, cast. ask about their heritage and, you know, ask if it, if it runs in the family and all of that thing. Like some water spells or sand spells. Would be yeah, good. Uh, like, you know, there's different types of casters. From what I hear, there's there's uh, spaghettification, there's water. There's all sorts, all sorts. That could be good, and then we could just put our enemies Ooh. on the menu. Oh, hey, that would work a out well, meeting. I think. Exactly. Ooh, what are you guys doing? All right, well, I'm glad we got this all uh, sorted out, hook. Mr. Steele. All sorted. By the way, um, so I'm sure you're aware... Hey, six uh, feet! The Lost tried to rob this place a few days ago. The who? The Lost MC, oh, they're a biker club. God damn it. Okay. I got my goons on it right now, okay? They're looking for someone in a lost cut. We're gonna- I'm gonna trunk them and torture them. Now, do you want to be there for the torturing? Or do you just uh, want me to- you know, uh, I wouldn't mind. If, if you wanna- if you wanna bring me in, if I'm not too busy, I'd like to no, see how y'all do things. Yeah, probably just gonna cut some fingernails off. Yeah, uh, I'm a- You know, pry some teeth no, I'm out. working. <laughs> Good sure. old fashioned. Ah. That sounds like- that sounds like a lot of fun, Mr. Steel. Yep. What do you mean All right, I'll bring- I'll bring you, uh, I'll bring you in on the- on the torture. Maybe you can do like a- like a it's cool just, entrance and listen, deliver like a yeah. final. That'd be cool. God, I Fine, want them to look okay at my bike. burger shot okay uniform bike. and fear it. Yes. All right, Mr. Yes. Steele. Thank I'll you so set much. It up. I'll, I'll let you know. Hey, did you <laughs> Hey, Lenny. I talked uh, yep. with the I talked with the uh talked with them. So okay. they were they were testing you. Oh, and, boy, okay. They were and you Lenny. passed. And you know what? Oh, that's good. You got your job back, Lenny. Guys, there, there happens to be a... Wait, seriously? Kevin, Kevin, you're goddamn man, right. The, the register oh, just introduced wait, himself what? as a shaman. He's a what shaman. We can oh. use him. Excuse me, Lenny, this is important. In, in, in the front, in the front, he's a shaman. He said he's not a wizard. Know, to be honest, i never, I never been there. Excuse All me, right. shaman. Yes, yes, what is it? Sir, mm. are, you, uh, are you Italian by chance? Italian? No, no, I'm Could you shaman. pretend to be Italian? Pretend to be Italian. For what for? Well, there's a there's a war of spellcasters going on, and I understand that Italians have the power of spells running through their blood. You may not be Italian or know it, but you may have Italian blood if you truly are a shaman, as you say. Italian blood, you say? Indeed. Yes, I believe uh -huh. I believe that I am uh, indeed Italian. Okay. Well, uh, I've, I've already seen the sent. Sopranos twice through with my mother that's well that that probably enhanced your spell casting abilities sir we are at war versus uh the cock residents oh uh -huh. i've already what sent three saying? yes i uh i already sent three casters along with one of my best men mr kickass to the premises mr. Kickass, the monk my party exactly my party member. yes sir and uh well they're going there to find the they have their own italian named don he uh he cast a, a curse upon me and uh, the only way to defuse the curse, as you know, is to get him to dispel it himself. So they're looking for this man right now, trying to defuse it. I could take the next customer over Come here. Over. What sort of curse is this? <clears throat> level curse? Let's, uh, let's talk about this about back. I'll, I'll be out. 
if I also ask something of you. Sure thing. What's going on? Me, me and bitch need your. We need your. We need to use the restaurant at some point for a wedding. My We're getting friend. married. Oh Jesus. We also need your blessing, since Hi, you're her father. Friend, he I am not her father, uh, and you have my that? blessing. Oh, thank you. All right, cool. Absolutely. Now give me a moment. Excuse me. All right, no problem. Thank you. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, sir, now what is your name? Greetings. My name is Lando Stormborn of the Mountain Kingdom in the North. By God, you are Italian. Level three wizard. Okay. German, rather. Well, I have not offered, a wizard yet. I have offered 200 gold to each of your party members. 200 gold? Yes. To achieve and finish this quest, to get this curse dispelled, also to inspect their residence for all their spellcasters and what their capabilities are. Okay. Now, I don't yes. know if you have a... Uh, the ability to contact your party members, but if you were to join with them, you may join them on this quest, uh, and your 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 reward will be the same. All right. Two hundred well, gold pieces, you say? That will work wonders for the LSPD. Have you heard of them and the work that they're doing in this town? Absolutely, I'm a big fan of the uh, Incredible. LSPD. Incredible. Have you ever considered making a donation? Actually, I already have. I've given them five thousand dollars. Hey, <clears throat> well, that is. That is quite the investment, I do Indeed. have to say so. Now, could you, if, if you hey, would, hey, uh, uh, if you would like, hey, uh, OC, could you, uh, could you, could you tell them that that was us, that 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 we we uh we told you to donate to them? Um. Yes. Well. No, okay. I listen. If you complete this quest, I will make sure they know that that donation was encouraged by you. Very well, sir. Yes, I I will do that. I'm doing it. Hold on, bitch. Okay, so, holding. What I'm Mr. holding? You're, 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 you're just, you're, you're shutting the fuck up for a second while I do business with a fucking powerful wizard. Okay. I believe, I believe that there was a curse that you just put upon this woman. That was a curse? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, am I powerful? By the nine, she has passed out. I think I've seen this before. <sighs> I have IBS as well. I believe she, her bowels are acting up. I shall cast healing rain on her. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you are cured, ma'am. Your IBS <laughs> is gone. Where am I? Why are you Jeez. doing? That, you this man here put a curse upon you. It is I the curse of the B word. I, ma'am, I did not mean to do that, but God, it was an honor to see you work in action, sir. Yes, yes, I'm quite powerful. I'm only what level three, but I have the skills of a level seven. Why, why I floor? Why I tasting floor? I cast a powerful bitch spell upon you, uh, apparently. He did it again! Are you gonna give <laughs> I feel a tingling in my body. Worry not, I shall, I shall cast into your mind and I shall cleanse you of this sin. <laughs> Sad, don't be scared. You are cleansed. It's just it. He's just casting spells. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. Wow. Feels so clean. Yeah. Yeah. So now, how can I avoid uh, casting the bitch spell on her? There it is again. What? You casting the little bitch? <clears throat> You're doing fail RP, bitch. There we go. Healing rain once more. <laughs> Your pen. <laughs> that was that was just a little excess gas buildup. Okay. So, what if I were to call her a batch? Then you would be on the spell batching, which is also quite cringe, but at least it is not to the other one. It's true. Okay. Understood. Well, sir, uh... The, the, the offer still remains if you would like to join your other party members on this Very quest. Very well. Hey. I shall indeed join them, and I shall find all the information you need, for all I right. am Italian by nature. My oh. parents descended from... <clears throat> Italy? The, uh, oh, see, what's a, what's a place in Italy? I, I, I don't know anything uh, outside here. Romania? 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 Yes, Romania. Rom yeah, yeah. Is it Romania? Romania. Romania, Italy, yes. Okay. Well, Mr. Uh, Stormbreaker, 
I'm yeah from mozzarella. I'm gonna need your I'm gonna need your uh, your phone number so you can contact me and keep me updated. Ah, uh, my pigeon system. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the, the the pigeon system. There's my pigeon there. <laughs> Wait. Go. You can just read it to me. There. There's my pigeon. Six two eight. <laughs> Two five eight seven four eight one. That is my pigeon. Yeah, he All right, Stormbreaker. I have you added to my pigeon Stormborn. service. Stormborn. Stormborn. Watch yourself, peasant. Okay. Well, I have you on my phone as Stormbreaker. So please oh, forgive me if I if I mishap it. Very well. I believe I believe you. The the curse you have put upon this woman is too strong. Okay. Uh, she might have to be taken out to back and put down. I don't know if she can survive. Well, well, sir. If you have the time, would you mind casting one more healing rain upon her? Yes, I will try my best, but I am low on mana. <laughs> Allow me to drink a mana potion. <laughs> yes, I have recovered enough mana for one last healing rain. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh, very well. All right. She has arisen. Welcome What's back, I'm What's happening? Uh, you listen. must be careful. This one continues to curse you. I'm uh, I'm okay. not going to be able to call you the B word anymore, I'm Musari. I'm going to okay, have to call you, you uh, a batch. Call? Yes. Batch? Any, okay. Any, uh, any, like, you know, the B word, but with a different, uh, you know, vowel in that okay. second okay. letter placement. I'm batch, bitch. Batch. Like yes. Butch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Butch. Butch. Botch. Yes. Okay, understand. Uh, okay, it seems to me I me... have Italian blood. I didn't know it. So, anyways, yes, yes. Uh, you get back to work. Introduce of course. myself. A new name. Uh, I mean, no. Everyone else can still call it. I just I have to call you Batch from now on, or you're you're gonna okay, have to. Okay, understand. I'm gonna have to get one of these casters to uh, oh, cast healing rain a... upon you. That's what Ricardo say. Ricardo say all the time. He call me Batch. Storically dickily period. All right, get back to work, Batch. Okay. On Hi, your Batch. way. Hey, uh, Kevin. What's going on, Sab? <sighs> Listen, I just want to say I really Wait, appreciate Mr. the Bruce opportunity. Ask you one more question. Of course. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, what, what do you need, Batch? Okay, you made my. You made the honor. You want to come to my bachelorette party? All right, Mr. Mr. Jerry has already asked if you can use my premises for a wedding, and I said that's fine. Just do not interfere with the customers. Okay, you want to come to my bachelorette party? Sure, I will go to your okay, fucking you, wedding. You come to my bachelorette party with the with the rest of the women. Jesus. Yeah, you, yeah, you my I maid will. Honor. I sure. I oh, will be oh, your maid. Cute. I will be your maid of honor. Whatever the hell that means. Okay, very good, very good. I go flip a burger. Sorry. Good job. All right, Sab. Sorry about that. Listen, Kevin, I really appreciate the opportunity. You know, ever since I walked into Burger Shot, it's just not been the same. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much well, for giving me this job. You're if there's very... anything I can do to help out in any way, shape, or form, you let me know, okay? I'm your well, guy. Well, uh, you know, I, I, I tend to, you know, send the more trusted employees on uh, a lot of my personal tasks. But I will keep you in mind for the uh, for the next one, as most of my trusted employees are already busy. Sounds good. I'll be here. Okay. All right, Mr. Sepp. Let me give you my phone number, right? All righty. Sure thing. Go ahead and uh, read it to me. Okay. Phone number 415-282-1770. All right, Mr. Sab. All right. I, uh, I'll go ahead and send you a text right now. Oh, Reuter, Eugene. Reuter. As my father told me, trust is like a bucket of water. You earn it drop by drop, and you can lose it all at once. Just that's, like home. That's, that's cool and all sad, but what's our slogan here? Uh, our slogan here, a burger shot, eat a burger, don't have to make a murder. No. And? It's closer. And? Um, and? Welcome to Burger Shot? Sab. Sir, Sorry. could you please not I hold my been... hand while I regenerate mana? It is inferior. It is interfering. Right, Lenny can't make it any more obvious. Kevin, Sorry, um, Lenny can't make boss, it any more obvious. Mr. Boss, man, I, with, listen. I just he rhymes with your name, Sab. He rhymes with your name. There's been a lot of holy oh, shit. For what fuck's the sake. fuck? <sighs> I shall deal with this intrusion. Jesus fucking Christ! Is everything okay? Get out! 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 Get out!
Oh. Look, Aldo! Look, Aldo! Oh, Cold Jesus red! Cold Christ, red! Man. Cold red! He's gonna drive the goddamn the burger sales down! Murder! Oh! Oh! Slogan, guys! Our slogan! Misfire! What is the situation? Shall I handle this? Don't die before you finish the task. I put the quest on you. Very well. Where is my party once more? I know not how to get there. Okay, that'll Shouldn't be. Shouldn't you be doing a spell on this place? What the one fuck? Ball, right? Guys, yeah. guys, it's, it's, it's already a protective barrier. Uh, guys, no, no, don't commit a murder. Eat a burger. But you may have cursed it. With one. One. And what else, Sab? All right, that'll be one dollar for your. Welcome to the burger shop. You dab, Sab. I will not let this slip up happen again. It's okay now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got it. No more. I think, uh, employees. I think we're in the clear. I think we're all good. Security's handled it. Okay, Listen, sorry, sorry, Kevin, sorry, sorry, sorry. very well. If this guy doesn't work, let me know and I will call up my mother and get the Santeros up in here. Dude, they will what? do some Christian voodoo Daddy. shit up in here and they will fix it all. all right, now, I don't know oh, what a Christian please. is, but are they as Daddy. powerful as an Italian? I, I can't open the Santeros, they're even more powerful. Them Colombian, oh, the Colombian Santeros trust. Ow! Oh. Um, uh, boss, oh, uh, are you okay? <laughs> I think I shall cast healing rain. Everyone, move back. I think. Oh, oh, oh. shit! Go on, do it, do it, do it. Cast bring, bring him into the into the open. I need okay, more okay. I just, the fuck? Yep. It must be the curse. <laughs> it's oh, the curse. The curse. The curse. The words Wait, are you spoken actually, are you actually are hurt? Are you actually hurt, boss? I just, I just randomly passed out. It's the curse. I think. Um, let me just get you a little burger real quick. Maybe that'll word. fix it everything. Truly horrific. <sighs> I said, uh, cast healing rain on you one time. Spell, mm -hmm. I think, Lenny, you might need to call the EMS. Like, OC, oh. like, honestly, OC, okay. oh, I think no. you're going to have to call yep. the EMS. <laughs> okay, we're going to call the oh EMS. God. We're going to call wait, the EMS. Oh, you're, you're, are you okay, OC? I, OC, I don't think I am. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, God. I'm going to call the EMS. <laughs> hey, hey please, please don't tell my mom about this, okay? I can't let her know that. I won't. I won't. I'm, I won't. Like, <laughs> it, it, this is really bad. Like we're we're just have we're just playing for fun, you know. It's, it's, this isn't like this isn't supposed to be like dangerous. But uh, I really, it really, it really was the curse. <clears throat> it's it's truly horrific <laughs> curse. I learned about it last night. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the police all about this. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, hey there. What just Lenny's, happened? Uh, Mr. Whipple is injured. Come and help us. It is the curse. It is the damn curse of the B word. It has you ridden this? his you mind and corrupted you, him. You, 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 you the, hit him? I the mice. No, I did not hit him. I tried to heal him and I shall do one small healing rain. Get oh, back. No, this is ineffective. Man. Get this back to work. <clears throat> I shall, I shall, oh, I shall go oh, find my party, sir. Godspeed, Please Mr. send Italian. me a pigeon so I can reply to you if we They're have here anyway, Mr. Whipple. Understood. So. Can someone Sheldon. unlock the door so they can get in? Go. Uh, I got some happened? ice for you. Oh my god. Thank you. Uh, the he, was he was attacked. He was attacked. Boy, come and seaman. Who's that? No. The, the warlock? It was the Italian. His curse. Oh, well, Italian. Oh, no. oh, we didn't, oh, we didn't reach it in time. Italian curse has corrupted the building. Oh, panic. He slept on a, a, a puddle of cum left by I, Don. I oh, actually. God. Santa Maria Madre de Dios. Oh, my gosh. Get rid of that curse from here. Uh uh. Stream, I think my character actually just passed out from stress. I unironically overworked my character. I'll be okay. Okay, she's here. Oh uh, lady, keep the oh, good oh, oh, you just, semen you know, on. Might have lots of semen on. Now. Okay, what happened? Ma'am, there's no semen. Foul. It was a, it was a curse placed on me by an Italian, a okay, powerful so Italian wizard. I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't know what's hurting. Okay, um, do you want me to try to help you up and see if you're feeling okay? Or yeah, please. I think. Okay, ready? I think I was overworked and really stressed out, and I just oh, passed out. Oh, okay. Ready, three. Two, one. Oh, thank you. Okay, so how are you feeling? Scale of zero to 100. I'm feeling a lot better now that okay. you've uh, helped me relieve my stress, ma'am. Okay. Um, <laughs> so if you need to relieve stress, um, I you can go fishing. Um, I would recommend yoga, though. There's a hot yoga place over in Mirror Park. Yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah, and then you can do yoga, or you can also, if it's your jam, you can also smoke weed. Okay, but what about cigarettes? No, that actually, I think, gives you stress. How does that make sense? I don't know. But, um, 
What about yeah. drinking wine? I don't know, but here, if you happen again, you can uh, have that if it shows up on the floor. Ma'am, did you just give me weed? Yeah, I had. I won one in Bog's uh his uh Go loot ahead. packs. What are those? Oh, he like you pay twenty, not twenty. You pay two hundred and fifty dollars, and um, he gives you a bag, and it has random stuff in it. I had uh, a joint, a cherry, and a lockpick. Ah, oh, well, that's spectacular, ma'am. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for this illegal substance. <laughs> it does help, though. All right. Well, I I appreciate that, and I sh I I definitely will not tell the cops about what you've just done. <laughs> What's your name again? Misa. All right, Misa. Thank you so much for coming in and helping me out. Mm-hmm. I can take the next customer over here. I clocked out. Oh no, that's alright, Sheldon. You can stay clocked in. I might, um... Come over here. Now, I might have clocked someone out, by the way, but you're going to be welcome to clock back in in a moment. I'm just going to be checking. Sorry, sir. Wait, you clocked people out? Sorry, sir. Yes, sir? I, uh, I did discharge one bullet by mistake. Oh, okay. So, so yes, there was a weapon was, discharge uh, It was there. around. Okay. I can take the next customer here. I, me, you want me to Okay. Yeah. But I got a picture of that. Officer? If, if there was an accident, oh, discharge. All right, we're going to make some donuts. We're going to bring this to the police. Ugh. I need to get a drink, too. Yeah. I'm getting married, though, by the way. That's good news. Yes, we're getting married. Hey, uh, oh, hey, Lenny. I love you a long time. Hey, Lenny. Love you a long time. Okay, what are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm grabbing donuts for the police. Are you clocked in right now? Yeah, ladies, clocked in here. What do All you right. need? Could you do me a favor and could you fill up these uh, some bags of donuts for me, and I'll go ahead and clock yeah, out so no someone else can get in. You, you get the donuts. You start. You just start preparing the donuts, and then. Oh no, you get to clock out. Okay, yeah, yeah I want to clock take out over so, from you. so other people can work. Hey, uh, yeah, and then you uh, take over. I can take the next customer over here. Just uh, give me about. I need to. Uh, Mr. Kevin, uh, we're, we're leaving. Uh, we're going to let everybody else get a chance to uh, uh, don't worry. All right, well, hey, water? I very Did much appreciate that. Uh, could you do me a favor? Could you just help out Lenny uh, and get me some donuts? Yeah, uh, oh, sure. I want some ingredients for our go to. Yeah, please. I, I want about four bags of donuts if possible. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Maybe even more. Uh, no problem. We got it. All right, excuse me. Oh god. There's these fucking casters. I gotta go pee. What are they doing over there? Are they fucking doing pirate RP?
Okay. Let's go ask these guys how everything's going. Evening, uh, gentlemen. How's it going, dude? How did you see us in stealth mode? Uh, uh, we stealth, Mount oh, we were stealth. We're crouch. We're stealth. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to be able to see you guys. Yeah, you're no, supposed okay. to roll your perception check first. Okay. All right. Let me. How do I? Let me do that. Yeah. Try a roll one twenty. Stand him your dice. Oh, he's got one. Ah. Yeah, see, you weren't supposed to see us, but that's okay. We reveal ourselves right now. Okay. All right. No, well, well, there you guys are. Uh, how goes the quest? Excellent. Sir, uh, Sir Kickass has actually the premises, and he is on his way back currently. Once he reattains his attire. For yeah, but we made a we made an entryway, so that way, whenever they come by, we can come inside whenever we want. Yes, I put a hole in your barrier. My yep. That we lesson. enter in from. That well, hole. that's. That is Excelsior. What did he say? Dude, he can't, you can't call him that. I yeah, I said we, that is Excelsior. Oh, see, we try not to use that. That's actually extremely offensive. Yeah, okay. I, oh, oh, I, yeah, I apologize. He, okay. Well, I just wanted an update on the situation. I'm going to head down to the uh, to the police station uh, to handle some stuff, and I'm glad everything's going smoothly. Yes, yeah, so far, so good. We will be putting in... Understood. Hey, uh, Lenny, you got those donuts? Yeah, Lenny's done a bunch. Sheldon's got a bunch as well. You want Lenny to come down with you? No, no, I was going to do this on my own because I have some private business I want to handle with him as well. Okay. Uh, where do you want the bags in your car? You just, you just give them to me right here. And then I'll head to Sheldon and get them from him. Also, let me promote you. I forgot yeah, got to. I got bags. distracted. Should be eight donuts there in total. All right, Lenny, you are back to assistant to the regional manager. Oh, thank you so much. It's been so much to Lenny. I hope you be, hope your meeting goes well, uh, Mr. Whippaloo. Well, thank you I so remember much, Lenny. You can always confide in Lenny. Lenny's starting his a new thing up called Lenny Listens, where Lenny oh, takes yeah? people that are troubled, that, like mentally, like they're, they're going through a rough time, takes them into the office, and we have a nice discussion. And Lenny gets some extra, you know, extra business, extra money. Oh, well, that is. That is awesome to hear, Lenny. And thank you for uh, for letting me uh, clear my name as a racist. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. good. That's okay. good. And Lenny's name as well, because Lenny was also being claimed as a racist. Yeah, our name is cleared. We are not racist. So. I remember this whole competition thing that's going to go on with this other business. It's going to be pretty chaotic, and Lenny's got your back. Absolutely, Lenny. Good to hear it. Now I'm going to go uh, pay okay. off the police. Okie dokie. Oh, go, go talk to Sheldon. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go make the run. Hey, Sheldon, you got those donuts? Good. I sure do. I got 24 on me. Let me put them in bags for you. All right, you want my bags? All right, uh, put them in bags, please. I got you. If you want to just uh, pull your car around back and I'll load it all up for you. Okay, sounds perfect. Oh, right. no. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta go make a supply run since we're low on supplies. Oh, okay. Great work, Sap. Absolutely, boss. Okay. Apparently, there's a big event taking place at the VU. I'm not sure if um, uh, we want to close down the place and go down there for a little bit. Uh, I've got to. I've got. I got to go pay off the police, Sab. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's important. Okay? Ma ma uh, uh, absolutely okay. I just want to, you know, give them some donuts. Let them know oh, that we're on their side. Exactly. Community outreach. I like it. I like it. I like absolutely, it. Absolutely, Sab. Now, if you'll you know excuse what, me. Kevin. You're a smart businessman. I'm learning a lot you know, I really appreciate that. You know, I'm not great with numbers. I'm not great with math. But, you know, if someone attacks me with a curse, I know to, you know, get another curse caster to handle it. Isn't that right? Right, Mr. Italian? Yes, yes, of course. How, uh, how goes things, by the way? Well, I was just interviewed by the local city guard here. And then I told them of the good work we have been doing. And well, that's spreading good their word. But um, I seem to not know... Where this place is? Where is this raid? The the raid? Yes, the Red Rooster raid. Oh, it's the red. It's some cock place. Listen, it's in Vinewood Hills. Uh, your your party members are out back on a boat. I think they're doing out pirate back RP. On a boat. Yeah, back of the burger shop. <laughs> oh. Hey, so. By the night. 
whatever. I'll yeah, they're they're busy people, I guess. Seems like it. All right, Kevin, I won't bother you. Good luck with that, right? Thank you, Sap. I got a, a 24, I think it's a, a five or six bags. I'm not quite sure, but uh, that's what I got loaded in there. All right, give me, I got a couple I got to put in here too. Uh, very good. Uh, uh, we're going to go uh, fishing. Uh, would you like me to catch you a big old tasty uh, trout? Well, that's the thing. I, I believe fish are not meant to be ingested by land animals such as ourselves. Uh, so uh, really? You keep that trout for yourself and you sell it and you better better not ingest uh, it. I'm just going to sell it. I don't eat fish. I just eat burgers, uh, fries, and macaroni and cheese. And I only Valvita macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese kind. is, no, no macaroni and cheese. They sell that at Lang's. Oh, what's Lang's? Lang's is our competitor. It's called the Cockrest. I didn't know about that. Yeah. I didn't know it, we had a competitor. Mr. Sheldon, we are at war with the Cockrest. Now, they placed a curse upon me, which actually made me faint from pure exhaustion. Uh, one of their powerful Italians named Don did it. So as a result, I hired myself some personal Italians, as you can see over there. They, uh... Oh, they're, they're Italian? Yeah, they're, they're, they have Italian blood and they are powerful spellcasters. And I've sent them on a quest. Uh, in return, I'll give them each 200 gold to, one, force this other Italian named Don to relieve me and this facility of the curse, and uh, also place a curse themselves upon Langs. Well, why don't you uh, so find someone to, that can infiltrate uh, their Italians? Uh, maybe like a, have someone dress up like uh, Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee, huh? Uh, yeah, oh. I guess they'll dress up and go in there and say they want to join and see how, how they do stuff. Well, that's a really good idea, and I put Bradley Kickass on the case. He's going to do a real good job. Uh, he's really, uh, really good at doing all kinds of stuff. He, You're goddamn right he is, Sheldon. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go give these to the police. Also, I'm extremely parched, so give me, give me a second. <laughs> I know what you gotta do. Oh, it's Kevin. Holy fuck. Okay, let me put up these bags I don't care about. You guys are getting no business. Absolutely not. I'm pretty sure... Well, first of all, let me see what the fuck's in here. Is there anything in here? No. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's, like, some party going on right now. going on over here? Is that Johnny Silverhand? Oh my god. Alright, where the hell are the fucking police? What is the main one again? I think it's that one.
You guys want to see a wheelie? <laughs> Hang on tight, brother. Jesus Christ. Why is my phone permanently out? I actually hate it. Oh, the donuts, right. Oops. Four forty four is going to be ten. Eight. Me, it's around that time. Well, it's around that time, isn't it? Uh, get real sleepy. Excuse me, oh, officers. Oh, yeah. It is, isn't it? Might I interest you in a couple of free donuts? Why is it always donuts? Yeah, I'll take a donut. Wait, you guys want a donut? Are you serious? Ma'am? What? It's not me. Do you have, like, I don't know, something that isn't a donut? Ma'am, all we have are donuts. I'll, I'll fuck. Okay, I'll take a donut. Yeah, yeah, I can give you guys one bag of donuts. It's not steak. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm sick of the fucking stereotype. This is coffee and donuts. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it might be a stereotype, but donuts are fine. They're good. And it's well, not a steak. So. There you are. Have yourself a nice uh, bag of donuts ho off of Burger Shot. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you so much for upholding the law, and you keep our uh, streets safe. Remember, have a burger and don't do murder. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't do murder. I'm a cop. Uh, well, maybe you might have to murder, sir. In which case, do it uh, with honor and dignity. No, we don't murder. Do not murder. But if it does happen, I don't want you to be hungry, sir. Ma'am. Sorry, sir. You have to excuse me. I need to speak with Divine for a second. Sure. All right. Well, hey, I was going to bring a bunch of other bags of donuts to the other kind officers inside, ma'am. Okay. Understood. And... Oh, oh, actually, uh, the guy running security in the parking lot, um, you might need to have a chat with him. He's quite rude to customers. The guy who, uh, who? Um, Steel, where's the best? Mis Mr. Steel? Mm. Well, he's been, he's been nothing but great, uh, from what I've seen overall. What, what, what happened? Seeing you here, Kevin, um, you getting in trouble for being a dirty criminal. What? Uh, no, no, Mr. Lang. In fact, uh, ma'am, Mr. Lang here had one of his Italians place a curse upon me. I don't know what any of that means. I don't yeah. believe in curses. This you. fucking guy. And there's this the curse caster guy. right there. He thinks, he thinks Italians can fucking put curses they on people. What do you think my people can. are fucking witches? Well, I just had an EMS come by because your curse just, abs just made me faint in the middle of my work hour. Maybe you um, fucking fainted because you've been fucking serving. And eating that human meat garbage you fucking put in Absolutely people's brains not and mouths. Human. Very true. Absolutely Very true. not human. In fact, in fact, I just gave these kind officers some donuts, which in fact do not have human meat in them. Wow, what a they fucking stereotype! Meat, right? yeah, donuts. They don't have meat, Man, right? I assure you that this I'm Italian can cast spells. 
I'm willing to bet these fucking cops are sick and tired of you stereotyping them as donut eaters, huh? You fucking... I... Yeah. Well, is, is that true, officers? Well, I don't mind donuts. Well, but yeah, it is, but but that being said, you know, it would be nice to be handed a few salads or something. Yeah, yeah. you see, maybe a you can equal it out and give them salads. But no, you don't do that, do you? What were y'all here for? It sure as hell wasn't to bring them salads. You were just that, we just that talking <gasps> to the head officers? chief of police about some sponsorship opportunities with the, the restaurant that is opening. Hmm? Oh, something that oh. I'm already doing. Officers, I I am led to believe that these men were here to put a curse upon your uh, fine establishment. Listen, this guy, officers, I'm here to fucking tell you that this guy discriminates against Italians. He thinks Italians are capable of fucking doing witchcraft or they something. They absolutely are. That is a dangerous and negative stereotype against my fucking people. Absol Haven't we suffered enough? Well, first of all, I'm not racist because I have an Italian working at my establishment and he can, in fact, cast spells. Officers, I'd like to file a formal complaint. <laughs> this is a fucking hate crime. It's an anti-Italian hate crime over here. It's absolutely not. I hired an Italian. It cannot be that. Look at him. He hired one token Italian. Now he thinks he can fucking say all sorts of things like gabagool and meatball and well, fucking Italian curses. Sir, I say anything but the truth. Yeah, exactly. What? Exactly, you're a liar. That's, yeah, he I fucking am not a liar. Wait, wait, hold up, wait. <laughs> you did just say you say anything but the truth. Exactly. I am an honest man, trying to make no, an honest living here. No, you fucking lie. You Who just said, said I lie? You, lie. you just said it. That is not true. I do you not said lie. You say anything but the truth. Exactly. So you say everything but it, which means you're not saying the truth, sir. Sir, you are confusing me. I, I don't know how. Officer, how are you gonna trust a guy who wears fucking flip flops out like this? First with of all, white paint? let's let's not be, uh, you know, there's some sort sort of like racism against flip. What's what is racism against people who wear flip flops, sir? I don't, what do you mean, dude bros? What? You think I'm fucking racist against dude bros? Absolutely. Are oh, you definitely that's not, not a dude real bro. thing? You're, you're too feminine, I think. Well, whatever it is, stop it, because that's not cool. Me, I'm not a racist, and I prove it by hiring an Italian. You don't have anyone who wears flip flops at your establishment, do you? Yeah, because that's not a fucking that's I'm not a wear, fucking ethnic group Gucci that you can discriminate sometimes. against. I'm gonna make it a group. You just watch me, and then you're gonna be racist. Yeah, you take your fucking flip flops off. You wear some regular fucking tennis shoes. Nobody knows. I can't stop being Italian, though. All right, this fucking. Well, you chest can sure as hell stop casting spells on my establishment. Okay, um, sirs. I don't know how to fucking cast spells. I'm oh. just here to give you donuts, and these men have. They called me in. They called me poor, and they cast a spell upon me. I tried to stop it, uh, and I also sent in some wizards of my own to their establishment. Uh, to dispel the curse of, you know, apparently protective semen that they have amongst their wooden beams. And uh, they're, they're coming back with information, but I have yet to get it. What are you talking about? You fucking hired wizards. Is that legal, officer? Absolutely, sir. How is sir, that legal? Okay, how about, how about we, we quit talking about the wizard, about, about, about Italians casting spells. We quit talking it's about in wizards. Their, it's in okay. their Italian blood. I don't, I don't, I don't think it, it is, sir. crazy, sir. I think it, you should yeah, be you, capable of running a business. Absolutely, I've been, I have been running Burger Shot for many, many days now, and I've been even kind enough to bring donuts to these officers because I know they're constantly having to run down. The sir, would you like a donut? Absolutely. Yes. Of oh, course, sir. Yeah, I need to ask you a quick question, Mr. Whippalo. Did yes, you officer. ban uh, Carmen, uh, purple jumpsuit woman from your uh, establishment? I think I might have, sir. Okay, because uh, Lenny is, she is, is now elderly? saying she isn't. Yes. Elderly woman? Yes. Yeah, oh, we, we, uh, struggles, Mr. Whipper yeah, too, we, huh? we banned old people. Oh, Whoa, first he discriminated okay. against Italians, now he's right. discriminated against the old. Don't you have no? an old person that works there? Mr. That's not fucking yeah, exactly. Wait, so, who's discriminating no, we, against we, Italians? Uh, this sir, fucking guy is trying to say, fucking guy sir, over sir, here. sir, yeah, you're this Italian. Fucking guy you're gonna, make me, you're gonna make it come, don't make it come out. Sir, now you're Italian. Do you have the ability to cast spells? What? Yeah, that, yeah it, he says Italians don't want to fucking ludicrous, cast spells sir. and shit. Yeah, you're... The, no. It's, it, first of all, being able to cast spells is a compliment. So you should be thankful of your heritage. That's a very okay. negative stereotype. Where did you hear this from? People. Well, uh, I, I walked into Mr. Lang's establishment, and this Italian named Don here cast a curse upon Don Julio. me. Oh, Don Julio. my name's Dom. Well, Don hey, here nice is, uh, you, Dom. he's nice casting curses on people that don't deserve it. I don't know what your uh, Italian blood says about that, but I'm offended. 
Look at him talking about Italian blood and shit. Every time I say, what are you doing? It, 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 one, one time I went to his fucking restaurant and they were like telling me I look like Mario and Luigi, saying we like mushrooms and shit. That oh. is not true, sir. What are you saying? All Italians look like Mario and Luigi? Yeah. I, I, I never said that. I just know that you can cast spells and you're powerful. We cannot cast Good spells. I have never cast, cannot cast spells. spells. Where That's did you great. hear that we could cast spells? Well, this, this, fine so gentleman, this gentleman here cast our curse on me, and I know he you did You cast it. a curse on him? I don't know how to you're fucking cast a curse. It's a curse. It's a curse. It's a curse. If huh? I could have cast a fucking spell on him, I'd make him not hate Italians this much. I don't hate Italians. I respect Italians yes, and fear do. them. Liar. You just Nobody. said you banned all Liar. Italians. No, I banned old people. And Italians. I heard I, it. Not true. I have an what? Italian working. You are uh, a my terrible salary. liar, sir. Yeah, I'm he keeps not saying he's got one Italian in his I, fucking business. I, so now all of a sudden we're supposed to forget oh. the racism. Sir, Exploiting I, the labor of my fucking people, it, it, too. If I hated Italians, would I have just brought an Italian a full bag of donuts? Because you're trying to fucking bribe everybody over here. That's why. I'm not because, bribing. I'm just trying to help out. Because forget that you're putting fucking human meat in your fucking food. What? I do not put Whoa. human meat in Hold my food. Here. You're putting human meat in your foods? Absolutely not, sir. And there is What's no the proof 70 of that. What's the 70%, huh? What's the 70% of your fucking meat? You can't say, right? Legal oh, obligations. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The a politician bringing in percentages like that one. Oh, I don't know anything about you, fucking you politics. You running for mayor? I hate You're going to reduce taxes? Oh, I'm going to reduce it by 6%. I don't... Man, that's all over my head. I work at Burger Shot. I don't understand percentages. This man is obviously putting up a you front. You own an establishment. And you don't understand basic percentages, sir. Absolutely not. No, uh, the flip okay, makes sense. Okay, you shouldn't admit to that even if it was true. Well, I, I talked to a mayor and he said he's going to reduce taxes and I uh, declined. Wait, doesn't that mean that uh, these these nice cops over here won't get the fucking exactly. uh, new cruises yes. then? I I'll tell you what, oh, a bunch declined. of these politicians are dumb. They don't understand that if they reduce the taxes, we're going to get fucked in the ass and this city's going to be screwed. I mean, you're yeah, already under budget. We need our boys in the blue How? and our and women and, I just and the non-binary. Uh, ladies yes, and gentlemen exactly. in blue, very I, much. I just made a very generous $5,500 donation because I understand your pain. All right, tell you Was what, doctors, I'm going to make a $50,000 donation. How's that oh. sound? You are Whoa. not making no $50,000 oh. oh. donation. Oh, my God. He's oh all God, talk. He so does generous. not have that kind of money. Oh, that is so generous, wow. Mr. Lang. He's all talk. Is he? Absolutely. Know, he looks like Sick, a really I'll make a sixty. If he does a $55,000, i will do a $60,000 donation. <gasps> oh. I'll do a oh, my God. God. I'm I'm sure. Whatever he does, I'll be five higher, yeah. sir. That's enough to pay for another car. I will buy 10 cop cars for the police force. Oh, oh I will God. buy 11. All 11. I ask is you watch out for this Italian and his damn you curses. Assholes. Okay, why did you have to include Italian in that? Yeah, you see yeah, that? What does he have to do well, with anything? Look, because he's going to use some curses, of... not just because you're Italian. You're saying only Italians can do curses? No, yeah, no. He's giving me fucking agita over here. I just know Italians have very powerful wizard blood. I have Shh. never committed what? any type of curses hexes that's because you haven't unleashed your full potential sir okay i think you need to be a little more careful with how you talk to us you don't want to you know what do you me mean the sir? wrong way you can do you can do shaman spells you can do wizard spells mage spells shaman of course this sir guy is still fucking talking about spells over here you we have don't magical make... blood okay I I do not have magical blood, sir. Absolutely, you do, sir. I I I, I with respect, I you do. How do you I'm know? I'm sick and tired of this guy's I, fucking microaggressions I, sir, over here. If you if you would are like, you, are you microaggressing me? Absolutely not. If you would like to meet some of my magical casters that I have hired uh, to dispel the curse that this local Italian has placed upon me and my establishment, I would gladly introduce you. I can't. I can't be fucking legal to uh, the highest spellcast. Hey, right? right in. I'm, 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 I'm crazy for the cops forever. For free. Oh. Sorry, what did you say, sir? You got a fucking free license ramen. for the spell. For, for the cops for all I know, ramen? this oh man God. might be casting a mind control spell upon you right now. I don't think that's the case. Well, you wouldn't know it, would you? Hey, yes, you I would. I have a strong mental fortitude. You're doing fucking mind control. You think I'm mind controlling you, sir? No, no, no. I'm saying he, Mr. Don, might be mind controlling you, and you don't even know it. Can you tell us apart? Absolutely. Okay, one's an officer one? of the law, and which one is Don, uh, and which one's Dom? Well, yeah, Miss, what if, 
Okay. One of you is Dom and the other is Don, and I'm gonna- I knew it! I knew oh, it! This can't piece fucking of shit! Do it. Oh, this my is... goodness oh, gracious, you're gonna stuff get real bad it. here, Mr. Sir, sir, he is mind controlling me right now, and that's why I can't answer no, the question. I've not no. mind controlled you. I'm just standing here. You don't see me waving my hand around or anything. Well, you exactly. know, he mind controlled me, sir, and I, I couldn't answer the question. And I, I couldn't do anything about it. I don't oh, know if this I is Fugazi. Exactly. This is absolutely <laughs> Fugazi. This I don't, guy's out of sir, his fucking mind. I don't know what that means. It's like a theory. It doesn't fake. exist. Give me yeah, fake. Exactly. Uh, I thought it was Fugazi. I thought that's how it's pronounced. No, no, no. Well, it depends. Well, but no. See, hey, boys, we're gonna go to the strip club. You know. You're trying to mind control with me, with all your big minds now, sir. I, I'll be in, honest. You may even be in on it now. In on it. Me uh, thinks yeah. He thinks all Italians are a monolith. We are not a fucking monolith. All right. I don't know what a monolith opinions, means. You know. Again, there you go with your mind control and your big words, Mr. That Dictionary. That monolith isn't even that big of a word. It absolutely is. Can you it's spell like it? It's a $2 word, motherfucker. What do you mean? Can you spell monolith? Of course I can. Can well, you? No, absolutely not. M-O-N-O-T-Y-L-Y-T-H. Well, was that right? Yes. I, I don't think that's right. What? It's all right. He how tried do we, at least. How do we know yeah, what's right? Yeah, at least he right? tried. Uh, yeah, no, that's definitely not right. I just Googled I mean, it. I mean, for it. all we know, you know, the... Yeah, at uh, least he tried. Like, Mr. Don over here probably wrote the dictionary. Which one? Which one are you talking to? I, Me or him? I'm talking yeah. I'm talking to this one, Mr. Don. Oh, what oh. do you mean this one over here? Whoa. This one? Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, oh whoa, here we go again. Get away from this saying you people. Ma'am, I come here to deliver donuts to help the officers in blue and, and help them solve crime. And here I am. By uh, by these three getting held up, slowing down, oh, and increasing now the crime. Oh, he's him into the fucking Hell, pile. Oh, over wait, you see that? Ma'am, Mr. Whipper, I'm a police yes, officer. Ma'am, this is absolutely yes, ridiculous. You you have to see what's going on. I I clearly see this, but I just wanted to say, you know, while while I'm thinking about it, before I'm I forget, I wanted to thank you so much for your generous donation of eight hundred eighty thousand dollars worth of vehicles to the police department. It is I so incredibly that, generous of you. Lady. Oh, the, m listen. I'm telling you, they're not gonna come up with no, no. What's what's 880 times two? 1.72 million dollars. Point four. Oh. Something, so, whatever the math is. That, that, listen, the only way they come up with that money is they either do crime or they're gonna cast some sort of Italian or spell we to own conjure a very it. successful Italian. restaurant that's way better than fucking dog shit. First of all, the shop, American people are not gonna eat fish food. P human land animals. Chicken chicken and broth. Fish food. Chicken land broth. land chicken animals broth. do not eat seafood. It's this not natural. This thinks chicken are fucking fish. Chicken eat fish, and that's not natural. Fish are the chicken of the sea. That, what? What? Humans it's should not true. eat fish food. Again, land animals such as us should eat land food, like a steak or a burger. That's American. Chicken we are do not in eat America. Fish, motherfucker. What kind of chicken are you working with? I have seen birds swoop down and eat fish. That's a chicken. What? No, chicken can't fucking fly over here. What are you talking this about? This guy thinks chickens can't fly. <laughs> chickens can't fly. Oh, what a it's dumbass. Chicken. It actually is true. Oh, yeah. Where's where's your magic now, Mr. Italian? Doesn't help your brain, does it? <laughs> what do you think all birds are fucking chicken? <laughs> Absolutely. This guy. Officers, listen. We're, uh, th th Lang's going to have a restaurant coming out. I, I, I encourage you to try out their <laughs> fish food. But I'm going to go bring in some real food, some donuts to the to the other officers in blue. <laughs> Yeah, right, you want to know that guy's yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, face because he's a slut officer, you, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, Mr. Before Whipper, you go, you. sir, I'd like to, you'd be happy to know that uh, we did deploy the, what was it called again, Teddy? I forgot. A free the ramen for all the cops. All right, the rooster's rest. The ripple that's right. We the ripple eyes, that's right. Yeah, free. Yeah. and uh, they, they were also served advertisements directly uh, while they were being arrested and placed in the blue cuffs, and it was very, very good. So. Well, sounds to me like my uh, my donation has gone to good use, ma'am. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, absolutely. We've been we've been whippleizing people all day long. Did you only yeah. give us five grand for that because I'm Italian? Did that have anything oh, to do with their amount of money? Absolutely not. No, they. Uh, they they called me a meeting uh, after I made that donation. See, they're trying to put me out of business, but I'm not too threatened considering they're going to be selling fish food to humans. Um, fish food? Okay. Yeah. So I'm not too threatened, but I just don't like the way they talk to me. I, and also, that Italian really did put a curse upon me, sir. Look, do you I, think it's because he's geez. Italian or because he can 
and no, curses. everyone can cast spells, but Italians okay. have powerful, powerful mage blood. I've never... Okay. I, I can introduce you to some of my uh, fellow casters that I've hired that dispelled the curse, or are uh, trying to dispel the curse. I've, uh, I've sent that the only way to dispel the curse is to get the curse creator and uh, force them to dispel it. So they're going to be uh, trying to subdue Mr. Don over there. And Oh, and so, speak of the Jesus devil. Christ. These oh my are God. my local casters. Greetings. Uh, Hello. What good the days. Hell? Uh, good welcome. Has he Thank told you. you of the donation that he made in our name to the LSD? Indeed. Yes, they... Uh, they, they absolutely came to me and encouraged me to make a much larger donation. Yes, oh. yes. Make and, sure if you see any of your wizard friends who come on and get on duty that you alert the them. F you have some powerful absolutely. wizards here. Introduce, a female with in, red hair. Introduce yourselves. Greetings. I am Lando Stormborn of the Mountain Kingdom in the Land North. Okay. I'm a level three shaman aspiring to become a wizard someday. Like the like the ones that work here at this guard tower. Guard tower. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, I get it. Okay. I am Mouth Fuyan. Oh, go ahead. No, you're fine. Absolutely. Mal what, what? I am Malfurion, arch druid of the grove, protector of the wild and all animals that, and all and protecting them from the hunters that might hurt them. And this is my apprentice. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Tanner. I'm a, a druid apprentice and tender of the grove. Yeah, um, oh, see, he's he's still working on his 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 campaign name. He doesn't quite have it yet, so uh, we're just right. letting it slide oh, for now. Oh, see, oh, see. Yeah, yeah. If he, if he keeps messing up his RP, we're gonna make right mean comments about him on the internet. All right. yeah, I didn't yeah. even fuck up my RP, dude. Well, it's yeah. a pleasure to meet you. Tanner, uh, Tanner is not. So, Tanner is so not as, a as you can name. see, I don't this is all one. legit. And uh, okay. they're going to go ahead and get that curse removed. I'm yeah, handling it on my own. Yeah, this is definitely very legit. Yes, we okay, are handling I'm, a curse. A great curse of the Italians. That's what I've heard of. Okay. I don't like the way you said that. That what? The Italians. The well, Italians? I apologize. I did not mean to bring offense to anyone. I am just strictly repeating what I have been informed of. It's the Italians. <laughs> no. Not the, the Italians? It's the simply Italian. Don. Don is yes. who we're worried about. Yes, Don. So... Remove his curse from our establishment, and uh, again, you will get your quest reward. What kind of curse like, was it? Well, I'd like to do? apologize once more. I did not wish to bring offense right. to anyone. It's a curse of overwhelming stress that uh, that has made me and my co-workers yes. continuously pass out from pure exhaustion. Do you think that has anything to do with the, uh, the constant robberies and shooting and women who come over there and uh, try to punch Jordan Steele in the face? Absolutely. Everything bad happening at Burger Shot is a direct cause of this curse. Jesus. Yes. Okay. I'm not a very superstitious guy, but I mean, I guess I, I'm, I guess that's possible. I don't know. This... Well, again, you don't have to worry about it, officer. I'm handling everything on my end. I just wanted to inform you. That's okay. all. Okay. All right. Well, just just to be clear here, I just need to circle back. That woman in the pantsuit, is she banned or is she not banned? Because Lenny uh, let it is, uh, did not press charges on her, and Jordan shot her, so... Yeah, uh, listen, I, I, I don't even... This, I, I banned old people for a while, but then I was told that was ageist, so I... Yeah, uh, that's not good. Yeah, yeah. same thing okay. with the, these Italian remarks. You be careful. Yes, well, sir. I, I, yes, once again, I, I, do, I do apologize for the misinformation. I forgot his name it was done okay indeed so uh oh overall uh we we hired an old man uh he's working and this woman i trust my manager's opinion on the situation uh if she's banned she's banned okay he unbanned her right yeah. after we shot and they i shot also have her. a question about your security too they've been uh they've been acting up a little bit lately and it's it's a cause for concern okay uh what are they doing well, they're shooting unarmed people with their guns when they swing a punch or two, and that's no way to respond to violence. Uh, so they're getting getting swung at, and they pull out their guns. Yeah, they get your security gets punched, and then they'll pull out their guns and start shooting them instead. You need to uh, hire some bruisers that can rough people up and toss them out the front door. Okay, so they have to battle their punches with punches. 
Yes, they do. You can't just shoot someone for punching you. Well, you know, here in America, on uh, at least I like to believe, if that is the case, I think we, we have the right to withdraw uh, arms in self-defense and shoot them. I mean, if you fear your life is in danger, yeah, well, you do. Well, their lives are definitely in danger, ma'am, at all times. Have you seen Burger Shot? I have. It's it's a pretty nice establishment. It's, it's a literal war zone, ma'am. Yeah, he's he might be he might be right there, Angel. It's it's not. It's, it's only been a war zone for the last four days. It used to be a really quiet and, and normal establishment. But now it's a war zone. I've in yeah. the last four days, I've hired three teams of security, and if if those security officers feel the need to shoot these people, well, you know, it's it's self defense, ma'am. I understand. Would you like us to call in the National Guard to help you get it under control? Well, you know, I'll be honest. It we seems that you have a tank out front. That might be helpful, ma'am. You know, someone you comes in, they start swinging, just <laughs> put a heat round through their head. You, know? I, if you, you need would... us to cast lightning bolts at them. We yes, can. or if you need Actually, me to claw them away. I, I would like it if you oh, guys hey. would continue oh, your quest. That, that, that is I just his claws. I know what yeah, it looks like, but it is but his claws. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey, right, Mr. Whippleo. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, we'll keep an eye on those guys. And make sure that woman doesn't come back and attack somebody for the fifteenth time in three days. So absolutely, sir. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I, I actually have more donuts I'd like to bring to the other officers. That's my yeah, reason of coming ahead. here. That's that's fine. There's uh, some dispatchers in there you can give to too. All right, fellow casters, yeah, continue with your quest. Very well. You got Very it. Well. Very well, Lando and um, the other two. Of you. Tanner oh, and. Meow. Thank you for saving my soul the other day. I saved your soul. Yeah, you we got a little, we got a little sketchy example. there with the word oh, wizard. Oh, right. I did save your soul. Because I think people you know. think they were talking about the word like the like the KKK very, or something. Well, and well, I'm like, oh god, we're not trying to walk no, on those no, no, waters. No. On top of that, we're we're not trying to fucking walk the waters of any actual racism. Dispatch, four six seven back at seven. Gonna be okay. Yep. Take care, Mr. Lando. Brothers. Everyone's Preaching. question marking, but it I have a feeling that's how some people are taking this. It's, it's scary. The the Arthas Minethal? Wait, did I actually just put it away? Am I dumb? Oh, that's why people are question marking. Oh. Oops. Sorry, I was an autopilot. God fucking damn it! Good evening, sir. Hello, welcome to the Lily Heart Lobby of the Mission Row Police Department, sponsored by Burger Shot. Why don't make murder <laughs> uh, eat a burger? And <laughs> there it is, sir. Ah, uh, well, hey, listen. Uh, I would. I, I brought in some donuts for you and your officers. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I'll uh, come around and grab those. I got a lot of bags here. Uh, let me see if you want to take all of them. Okay. All right. All right. And there's all those bags. They are all filled with donuts, sir. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. That is a lot of bags. We'll put those in the fridge in the back. Absolutely. And I just wanted to, uh, you know, come down and extend uh, our little friendship. Yeah, absolutely, and we uh, we greatly uh, you know appreciate you know Burger Shot's uh, sponsorship through these trying times. Of course, sir. Remember, eat a burger, don't do murder. <laughs> dab. Yep, <Yeah>, dab. <laughs> he hates it so much. <laughs>
Sponsor. Good evening. You want come vanilla, you come celebrate, promote. What the? The fuck? Tired as fuck. And I think I'm gonna call it a day for now. Because I wanna watch Moonstream. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. The wedding? Ah, oh, hell. Is that happening today? Do I fucking have to stay on? Hang on. God damn it. Let me call her. Where's Imusari? Am I blind? Amir Sultani. Where's Imusari? Do I have her named as bitch? Do I actually? No way. Oh my god. I actually do. Um, I'm Usari. Uh, is that wedding happening today? Oh, maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. Today we're thinking we're having bachelorette party. Okay. At a, at a vanilla unicorn, a very special event, maybe. All right. Well, that's the thing, cause I'm uh, I'm I'm getting ready to go to bed here, and I was just wondering if you needed me there for it. Oh, you want you come to see stripper? I that's that's the thing. I have no interest in seeing strippers, uh, bitch. You even you male stripper? E no, li I have zero interest in strippers. Cock? No cock, bitch. No cock. Oh, you say? No. Hey, uh, hey, hey! Stop it now. I'm going to bed. If you're going to bed. God damn it! Good fucking night. God damn. I cursed her, I really did. the goddamn apartments. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Set XQC. God. Stream. I'm done streaming for the day. That is it. Everyone, have a lovely night. I'm gonna fucking walk in. I had fun, but I am tired. RP is exhausting, and this is a literal job.
Uh, I, I have no other way to fucking word it. It is literally constant fucking shit. Uh, I'm gonna go watch Moonstream. I, I recommend if you guys like watching RP, you watch his stream as well. Uh, he recently got a job as a cop, and it's gonna be hilarious. And his buddy Kenny is having his interview. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. I don't know when he's gonna start his RP, sometime after his D&D session. Uh, I'm probably gonna host Shrimp, see how Shrimp's doing. Uh, until then... Mr. Dean? Oh, hey, what's oh, up? Oh, look at you. Look that was... at the fucking fit, man. I like yeah. It looks goddamn good, Dean, and it feels good, too. Yeah. Oof. So, uh, fire in you. I was about to head to bed, Dean. You, uh, you had it. You wanted to call me at some point. Uh, no, if you're going to bed, mate, can wait. Wait's no okay. Problem. Well, uh, I'll be up tomorrow, uh, fresh and early, and you give me a call then. We can talk. Yeah, why? Why? I know why it's mine. All right. right. Hey, see you tomorrow, Dean. Like, like, All right, so as I was saying, uh, gonna host Shrimp. Uh, I highly recommend watching Moon tonight. He's gonna have some hilarious shit. I've never laughed harder in my life watching him last night. Everyone, have a great night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, being here. Yada, yada, yada. Peace out and all that jazz. Bye-bye.